I've killed quite a few elves. I think the conjurer was doing pretty well, so I might try another one of those. Because the elves are a lot better at the conjuration than they are, um, anything else. What was that saying? Oh, it was just telling me that my keybind doesn't work, but that doesn't seem to matter, so. Oh, wait, I've got magic dart, which has a good range. I'm not uh, doing the stone arrow anymore or anything. Ooh, ration. Hold on, I should grab that. It's weird how like, I don't know how to put the food in auto-pickup. It probably doesn't matter, because I'm not going to be playing... Hopefully not going to be playing this version of the game for too much longer. Oh. oh, come on. Magic dot this guy. I don't think the magic dot does too much to those guys. Maybe... Well, it should. I don't think they have much armor class. Okay, well, I can wear the boots. I can eat the grapes when I want to. Hey, Andre! How are the runs going? Ah, oh, they're actually going kind of disastrous today, Andre. Yeah, I just don't understand this whole version of the game. It's uh, absolutely killing me. But I've had something that went all right. Like, I had a character that got to... Well, they get to, they got to, like, a gauntlet, and then unfortunately died because I, misund I underestimated a formative prism that... A random ghost cast next to me. Because apparently ghosts inside, um... Or just wandering around the dungeon inside portal vaults is apparently a thing in this version of the game. What's that little dagger? I should probably grab it. There's no vaults for the ghosts? No, I think all the vaults have, um... Like, the ones that do have doors, they have non-transparent ones. I guess that grabs a short sort of draining. Ah, that's alright. Like, I saw a crazy youth one that had a door, but you couldn't see through it, but it was very obvious crazy youth, because it was down in the middle of a forest. Right, well, a little, uh... Yellow path through the forest that led to it. Oh, you think you started playing around this version? Yeah, I, I technically started playing before this version, but I didn't really play magic characters back in this version. I just played, like, I don't know, Minotaur Fighters and Minotaur Abyssal Knights, mainly, I think. I also played some Human Fighters, but I never got very far with those. Oh, you only played Minotaur Berserkers? Yeah, fair enough. No, I, I think I started with the Minotaur Fighters, but I might have done a few Minotaur Berserkers. I think I didn't know how to use them properly, though. Wait, why did I get one intelligence? Oh, right. Because every three levels, is it, that you get a, get a stat increase or something? My next... Oh, what's... I didn't get my magic points back. I didn't even notice that that was, like, at different intervals than normal, but I think it is. Yeah, it's the old school one where you only increase by one every three levels instead of two every six levels. Oh, you also won the Naga Chaos Knight with the Naga Porcupine title? Excellent. Yeah, now we both have the Naga Porcupine title. That was a fun combo, though. Thanks for recommending that one. I really enjoyed that one. Did you manage to stick with Zom? Because if you did, you'd uh, be doing better than you me. Took five tries? Yeah, that's not too bad either. Ooh, Terrence. Drink the potion seems unusually resistant. Okay, that's fine. I might just back up, though. I don't really have the spells to deal with them right now. Oh, Niger is much more fun than you thought. Yeah, because they, they're kind of robust and stuff, but I mean, I guess the uh, slow movement delay definitely does make the early game harder, but once you get kind of a bit further into the game, it kind of works fairly well. Not the one in Flame, but the ones actually have to be identified in this version, otherwise they don't work properly. They use, like, multiple charges or something. Um... So you kind of like start off knowing what they are, they just don't work properly. And it's kind of an interesting way of doing it. Anyway, I want to get to the stack. Oh, bad my way. I just want to get to the staircase so I can go kill the adder. It's a um, steering ray does the trick. Oh, a ring of flight. Okay. Whoa, ow. I gotta kill this goblin before it takes me out with that slag. Wonder if that's magic or just a just a general hunting slag, but it does enough damage, so it's definitely a worry. Are you stuck with Zom till the end? 
Hey, that's better than what I did. I, uh, what did I ban for, like, Captain Aquata or something? I think I went with a decent god. Okay. Uh-oh. This is a dead end. Um... Okay, it's mighted up. How many potions does he even have? Unless that's just a normal thing he does. No, I think he got it off a potion. Did happy? Yeah, I did happy, and then I did Gozag, right? So I did happy the Aquata for three runes, or four runes, or whatever it was. And I think I did Gozag for the rest. Uh, actually, I might have taken happy the Aquata to Pandemonium for a while. Um, can't remember. I did uh get to watch till uh, till the end. Yeah, it was um getting fifteen runes was kind of fun because once you get a character going, setting them to fifteen runes can be a lot of fun. I don't know if I'll set this character to fifteen runes though, because the uh, hells are completely different from what I'm used to. So I don't know if I do very well. Also, the steering rank not hitting a line of creatures is bothering me. And there are these elves that go with swords, but I like try one with a sword and it just absolutely did not work. Um, I mean, maybe I could make it work somehow, but yeah, it just felt really painful. Did I try one with a bow? And, like, it was slightly better, but um, the fact that there's still ammo in the game was kind of annoying. So I think I just, I think it best was just the spellcasters. Oh, 0 uh, no, it's not, 0 0.19 is not host on my server, so I'm playing on a crazy deck at the moment, which is why things are just a little laggy here. Oh, you thought, uh, older versions had some lure vulnerabilities or something? I mean, possibly. I know some of the older versions got, like, patched, um, to get rid of, like, the worst vulnerabilities. Alright, well, I can try an ablet, see what we've got here. Regen? That's alright. I'll try the other one, see what it is. Reflection plus three. I might go with the regen tablet. Probably that magic regen, but oh, hold on. Does regen. Does that make you eat more? Let me just check on that. Increases the uh, natural regen rate. In order to fudge it, it must first attune itself to the wearer's body. No, it doesn't. I vaguely remember, like, some point. So it's um, increasing how much you had to eat. But. I don't know, it's description doesn't mention anything about it, so I'm gonna presume that it doesn't. Alright, well, I can finally get the. the where is it? Mystic Blast. I didn't find the Searing Spray that great when I tried it, it just doesn't seem to do, like, adequate damage. Um, oh, whoops, what'd I do there? I think that was fine. I think it just cancelled out of me trying to cast the spell. Alright, where's the way down? In fact, the crazy thing I think, uh, Toast Games all the way back to 0 0.11, so you can get some pretty old games. In fact, I think before that, wasn't there, like, no web tiles or something? Although it might have actually been, I don't know, that might not be the exact version. I know that uh, if you go back old enough, there was no web tiles. Distant, very distant rain. Hmm. I had to listen out for that, but I'm obviously on the wrong side of the level. Okay. Oh, whoops. Ah, I was shooting the wrong direction. Man, that wasted a couple of my turns. I guess a couple of my magic points, but I'm fine now. Just a staircase up. Not quite what I'm after. I think these scorpions can be kind of bad, although that seemed to die really quickly to the conjuration. I know what I was trying, like, with the melee character. I was almost dying to any of the scorpions I found. How are the skills going? It's really... It feels really wrong not having limits on the skills, but apparently those don't just, uh, exist yet. Or at least they don't... that I know of. Alright, well, I might as well... Oh! Hey, that was a random... Okay, that was a random teleport trap. 
That was kind of funny. Yeah, just stood on a random piece of train and teleported me. Apparently my warning for getting teleported doesn't, didn't come up, did it? At least it didn't seem to. Uh... Yeah, I want to, obviously want to get some intelligence. So that increased it twice. Did that increase it? It wasn't sixth level. I don't know what's going on there. It might just be because I'm a deep, uh, high elf or something to get more intelligence. I'm not quite sure. I want to get my magic back before I go in the sewer. There we go. Oh, is this one again? Is there only one sewer or something in this game? Or there's surely there's more than one sewer. Um... <laughs> It was like the one I got last time as well, so I don't know. Uh-oh. Just stab the little rats and then use my spells on the bigger rats. There we go. Uh... This is when I start like, going through a ton of food. Yeah, like I'm hungry already because I'm... Oh, that's not the right thing to be doing. Uh, I guess I'll see and raid these guys. Got them in a corridor, which makes that kind of effective. Um... Oh, also something I do want to check is... Uh... Mystic Blast is... Oh, I know why my Mystic Blast got the last range last time. It's because I was a human and human extended my range. No, that makes perfect sense, actually. So can I identify some of the stuff? Not easily. Um, yeah, let's get out of the sewer. I think there are multiple sewers. I just keep on getting the same one. I'm going to read the scrolls. You want to get identify. Right, so I got a potion of invisibility. A heal wounds. I might do my Wand of Flame. Okay, so he's got 16, uh, 16 of them. There is an obelisk. Um, I mean, it wouldn't be too late to switch to range, but I don't think I will. Wait, what's going on here? I don't know that spell. Oh, also, I don't think I'm actually good with that obelisk on, uh, because it's crossbows, which got plus zero. It's only, um, bows they have plus two. How's block the orc? It's not blockula the orcula, the new one. Uh, he has a haste spell, right? Yeah, he does. And I'm gonna run on magic points. I don't know if I'm making it back to the staircase. Okay, good, I am. Blocky the Oculus is scary? Yeah, Blocky is very scary. Because he does, like, well, he's, even his butterflies can do a lot of damage to you. I've had that be a problem before, like, after I killed him and his butterflies almost took me out. And then, like, drink some potions or something just to survive the butterflies. But no, Block the Orc isn't as bad, thankfully. I still wounded from last time I fought him as well. I gotta even eat him? Oh, I'm probably just gonna eat a ration or something. Now I eat a fruit. That'll keep me going. Whoa. Uh, Alright, we can eat this guy. There we go. Looks like something I can eat. Let me rest up my magic points. Man, I really need a magic regen emblem, so it's uh, harder for me to forget to rest those ones up. Uh oh. I think I just miscast that last attempt to blast that guy down. I'm gonna have to eat another one of my fruit, I think. Uh, yeah, because I gotta have to try and heal up a little bit, get my magic points back, actually. I don't think my health is missing. Uh, I might as well just go... Where's the way back to the staircase? It's not the easiest to get to, but I think I can just go around this way and get back to the staircase. I want the ice beast to sneak up on me. I want to see it like uh, almost at max distance. On, like, yeah, that'll do. 
Actually, because I don't think I have any cords. This is this character. I got like a ring of flyness about it, unfortunately. Okay, how am I going with Long Silver Armor? I don't think I'm going to help it. In fact, I got boots, I'm going to help it. Still got plenty more stuff to go. Like, I got a cloak and I got gloves. And I'll hopefully, in some stage, I get a shield, although I'm not entirely sure how shields work in this version, which is something. Um. They seem to have, like, a skill that completely gets rid of their penalty, which I think is how this game was for a pretty long time. Ushkeo is the only thing that's going to be the most helpful. It has bolts for that obelisk, but I don't think I'm going to use it. The obelisks don't really, well, the crossbows don't really become that usable until you get to bolts, unfortunately. Uh oh. There we go. I wanted to see the orc, um, priest, okay. What's up with this guy's axe? It's a hand axe of electric fusion. That's actually a bit of a worry. Uh oh. Come on, hit it. There we go. I was missing that guy so much that it was a bit of a worry. Um, I don't know what the electric huge I could do was it, like 20 damage or something in one hit. It could be quite a lot. Nah, that's not going to kill, is it? Nah, not quite. That's going to have to go. I mean, I, oh, I don't, can't even do one more attempt at killing this guy, can I? Guess I can. There we go. Because it probably would have gone up to me, but I was just a bit worried that it might have had a chance of, like, random managing up to me or something in that last turn. Well, I think that things have random energy in this version of the game. I think that's how it works. There's certainly no attacks of opportunity, which I've definitely noticed. Uh oh. How many deaths has this dude got? Okay, just uh. Wait, did he actually need to worry about that guy as much as they do? Because it didn't actually have a tanks of maturity with his pole arm. Like, I was uh, thinking I could actually run away there because it would get me with tanks of maturity on his pole arm, but no. Got Rue. Which cards have I got? I got Rue, Dismantle, Manos, and Ushkeo, so not quite the ones I'm after. Uh oh. See, so yeah, I can still back up. I think I could back up because of Tanks of Duty, but I'm totally wrong about that. I can totally just back up. Workarounds never seem like that special in this game. Like, there's kind of a generic melee thing. I mean, I guess it's there they can poison you, but they don't seem that bad with their poison. Oh, it's charms for a battle sphere. That's right, charms is totally a thing. Um, I'm gonna get the formative prism. They seem to do a lot of damage. At least the enemy ghost one did a lot of damage. So maybe it's worth getting going. Am I any good with hacks? I probably am. I think high elves are alright at that, if I remember. Plus zero? Uh, yeah, let's give it a try. Try to get like five eggs or something, see if I can get it going, see if it's worth using. Of course, left the chunks on the ground. Okay. Getting lots of bread rations. I've currently got like seven bread rations. I should run out of food with those. Ah, no, get my magic points back. Alright, so I've got, oh, got Sif Mana. What does Sif Mana do in this version of the game? You can request divine energy to cast spells with insufficient energy, which is instant? Okay. Sif Mana is protecting you from the effects of miscast magic. You can call upon Sif Mana for magical energy. You can freely open your mind to new spells. Um.
Do I? Do I get Sif Mana here? Deep Blue Ultra of Sif Mana. I kind of tapped it. Yeah. You know what, Charles? Let's give this a try, I think. They're slightly different from what I'm used to, but they're kind of the same sort of idea. Um, what do you mean I'm not religious? It's yes to doing Sif Mana here, didn't I? There we go. Uh, I don't think I can do the abilities yet, so we'll see what the request magic one's all about as soon as it unlocks. Whoa. Let's not put a prism right there. I might blow myself up. As we determined last game, this is a really bad. Oh, this, uh, this is a temple. Uh oh. <laughs> Just back up a little bit. I might actually go check on the temple, see what gods we got in here. Oh, I have to like, go explore the thing separately. I guess, Jar, let's just do that. Got oh, the good old Behumor, just got Temple Aquata. I wonder whether you can shoot through your own Temple Aquata. Oh, there's Phantasms for when I come to grabbing them. Alright, well, that's uh, two of the Temple, I guess. Uh... Can I put down a form of prism in here? Alright. It's still noisy when it explodes though, right? Seems to be working much the same as I remember it working. Oh. When I chop a guy, I just automatically eat a thing of, uh, chunk of flesh, don't I? Oh. It was just a random mark trap. Let's go upstairs, I think, and just wait off that mark. Uh, that didn't quite work. There we go. Wait, how do I begin Sif Mana Party? Sif Mana exists when it kills. Is it by killing things with spells, or is it something else? Sif Mana works when you kill living, undead, demons, holy, unliving. Sif Mana especially likes it when you train your various spell skills. Right, so I mean, I'll be doing that. I'm training hexes. Should make Sif Mana happy, I guess. Oh, that's not right. No, that staircase. Let's just go to a normal staircase here. Now nah, I'm gonna have to eat a, uh, I just eat a fruit to keep me going. Whoa, what do I do with that many bees? I'm, I mean, it's down staircases, but I'm a long way from an up staircase. I did I just get teleport trapped or something? You enter a teleport trap. The teleport trap disappears. Your surroundings suddenly seem different. Yeah, apparently I don't have a false mod for that. It must be a completely different message from what it used to do. I might just eat a fruit. Um, and then I'll try and get down a. Prism. Uh huh. Uh, I've got the regen. I'm also gonna try this one. See what it is. Go man. I'll try that for a while. See how that goes. That should keep me nice and fed, though. Is this a curing potion? Yeah, I'm gonna grab that one. Identify those ones. Did I have identified yet? Hold up. These are, yeah, I do. I just haven't been finding many of them, apparently. Uh, I can eat this guy. Well, if it leaves a body, which it doesn't. Oh, I would eat another fruit to keep me going. Okay. Can't even eat this guy. I'm trying to get the go, man. Like, I'm not finding anyone I can eat. Out of the hungry ghost. I gotta eat a whole ton of my food, I reckon. Uh, does the gourmet take like a little while to? I was very appetizing, not very appetizing. Does it take like a little while for the gourmet to attune itself or something? I seem to remember that being a, a thing. Uh, I gotta roll on magic. Although, I don't have to stick around. I can just run back, I guess. 
So these are down staircases. Um, could we stand on the teleport trap, or we could just try and run this guy around till I get some magic points back. Fair enough, this guy's the same speed as me, which I think it is. So there's no reason I can't just run around this pillar until I get all my magic points back, right? It's kind of tedious, but I think it works. Oh, you think you have to be full for this guy? No, I've definitely had a, uh... Might be the vampire brand. I've definitely had one of these ghosts, like, one of my earlier elves died of starvation because a hungry ghost just drained them up completely. Oh, not there. There we go. Wait, how's that going to have my own phone in a prism? Oh, I don't even understand that. Probably fine. Near starving. I'm going to have to top that up a little bit, I think. Um... Ah, they're starving again. Oh, man. Okay. There we go. Got it. Oh, they're starving again. I might just eat this meat ration now that I'm not in combat. Because I was trying to eat the other ones because they were quicker. Go on, man. Well, um, hopefully I'll find something for it. Oh, you meant the go on, man one. Right. I can't remember the exact rules on the Gourmand one, like, when it kicks in and stuff. Do you have to get full before it kicks in or something? Because if that's the case, I could just go eat myself, uh, some food. I don't know, I could look at the description, maybe it says that. It's been a little while since I used these, but I thought they just took a little while to attune, let's see. Uh, allows the arrow to eat fre uh, fresh raw meat when not hungry. And drastically increases nutrition gained from them. These effects on the wearer digesting get are cumulative over time and are initially small. Yeah, it looks like it's just a matter of time before it gets its things. Um, is that gonna actually fire anyway? Yeah, that did the trick. Hey, it's someone I can actually eat. Excellent. Let's just go eat that one. Okay, can I identify a good old uh, mugger of these scrolls? Scroll of fear. That's not too bad. Uh... Oh, I took this guy out. Oh, who confused me? You can cure after confusion, but well, that's not the best. Um. I didn't see an orc wizard they could have done that, but I suppose there was one there. Alright, well, let's go down another staircase instead of trying to get this, yeah, this guy here next to me or something. Right, back to full. I really don't have to worry about hunger anymore. Not, uh, yeah, but basically just don't, don't have to worry about it anymore. But I do have to still eat everything I come across, which could get a little bit frustrating. No, well, that guy can't even be butchered. Doesn't leave a corpse. <laughs> Trying to butcher all these corpses that aren't even existent. Okay. To be fair though, like if I find an amulet of uh, magic region, I'll probably put that on instead of what I got, I imagine. How many like unidentified amulets are there left? There's Faith, Guardian Spirit, Harm, Inaccuracy, Magic Region, Rage. Well, wow, that's actually quite a lot. I don't realize quite how many different ones of those amulets there were in this version. The other problem is I don't really want to be swapping off the gold man all the time. Also, that was a meat ration. I should go grab it. Uh, it's not gonna work. I can probably stab this guy a little bit, maybe. Oh. 
Hey, that's possible because they need one more magic point they can blast that game or something. No, ah, what's... Ah, I ran away when I was, um, low on magic and got myself mics. That's about as bad as things can go away. And a wand of lightning. That's the thing that got turned into a lightning rod eventually, right? Or probably? I don't know exactly what it does, but it sounds like something that would have been turned into a lightning rod. And I've got to get an identifier. Oh, Guardian Serpent. The Dungeon Level 9 just ran in Guardian Serpent. Also, can I... Uh, I've got the Divine Energy. What does that even do? Calls on Sif for Divine Energy. While active, Sif Mata will allow you to cast spells even with insufficient reserves of magic. Doing so will cause you to briefly lose control of your magic after the spell is cast. Right, so when I run out, I can kind of cast every, like, second or third turn or something. I mean, that's alright. Hey, does this guy not take any damage? This is, uh, this is bad. I'm slowed. I gotta try the Divine Energy. Okay, there goes the Minus Cast. Oh, no, this is really bad. I'll try and Rod of Lightning it, see if that does it. I'll say, hey, got rid of it. Excellent. It wastes a few charges, but that's gonna just have to do. Oh, the Minus Cast actually lasts a little bit longer than I thought. Hmm. How long does this thing last for? I guess as long as I wanted to. Um, uh, the Hulk's definitely going to have to be blown up by some formative prisms. Hey, I felt more experience. Oh, oh, there's more of them. I don't know what it was that got blown up there, but it gave me some XP. My damage was something. I'm kind of worried about that. Wait, did that give me... That didn't give me the full explosion radius, did it? Because that would be kind of dangerous if it did give me the full explosion radius there. Might just pull out a wand or something. Hopefully not. There we go. I managed to kill the orc. I don't think there's any point in sticking around here. I'll just go up, go down somewhere else. I think it's the right thing to do. Why is there so many guys on this level? I've glad this level. They probably just ran into spawns or something. Let's get my magic back. Oh, this guy loves to drain magic. Could be a problem. I'm trying to do some divine magic. See how that goes. Wait, does it still take my magic points? Interesting. So I can't really get the magic points back when I'm doing the divine magic, I guess. Mm, yeah, I guess I can do that. I've been full for a little while because I just kept on not getting guys and corpses. It's good to be back to being full. So, trigger these oak wizards. I don't even know what like spells they have properly because they have so many like different spell books they can shuffle through. It's really confusing trying to figure out what they're even going to do. What's that's not what I meant to do? Ah. Chop them up. There we go. I think it's worth trying this glowing leather armor. I mean, it could be cursed minus one leather armor or something, but I think it's worth a try. Uh, I'm not going to identify the leather armor. I might draw, uh, identify my... I can identify... Oh, it's a water teleport. I identify the one to teleport, so that gives me four charges of teleportation, which is not too bad. I mean, I guess that kind of replaces the scroll, because I really don't need to be fighting the scrolls and teleports. Um, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to... I don't even know. That's way too much hexes, whoops. Conjuration. Yeah, just get conjuration for a little while, so I might get just a type bit of fighting. 
That's the problem with no limits. Like, my skills are going to be... I'm so used to having the limit set that I'm not going to check often enough with the skills to make sure they're on track. I mean, 10x is fine. It's just more than I should have currently. Um, it's probably what I want to have, like, eventually. Oh, I'm too full. I'm, like, actually engorged now. All right. Guess that means I don't have to worry about chopping corpses up for a little while. Uh, I'm gonna run out of magic points, but I might as well set a bomb to blow up on those guys. Okay. I'll just try hitting this guy with the other one, the um, Mystic Blast. Because that does seem to do the trick, at least against a single creature. I'm not sure if the Blast one seems to do that much, that so hits everyone around in a blast, but maybe it does. Okay, I can finally eat these chunks of flesh. I got a little bit of peace. I, I recognize howler monkeys. They're a thing that exists in the recent version. I mean, most of the creatures are the same, to be perfectly honest. Um, I was just say occasional thing that I know is like the hippogriffs and stuff are definitely not a creature anymore. Alright, well, I made it to level 10. I guess that's alright. I don't know if I made it to the lair today. I don't think I have, which is kind of crazy. So many deaths before lair, but that's mainly to do with me not understanding this old version of the game. Oh, there we go. And identify. I might use that on my... Uh, I use all these potions. Beneficial mutation? Sure. Thoughts seem clear. Try another one. I have a little bit of AC, okay. You know, I'm gonna drink the last one as well. I don't know if I should, but I am. Less encumbered by armor. Alright, well that's nice. Oh, a deep elf mage. What on earth? Could do anything, basically. Um... Hopefully it doesn't. Ooh. Ooh, that was like up my else. Ow. I'll try a healing potion. Not great. Okay. Yeah, I, mean, I guess I should have expected a deep elf mage to do quite a lot, but wow, that really was a lot of damage. Whoa, okay. That looks fine, although, oh no, maybe not. Actually, I don't know if I trust this. I'm going to zap myself with a wand of teleport. Alright, got me out of there, thankfully. Oh. Guy's still around. Can I at least get my health back before I fight the guy? Well, I guess I just don't let it get next to me. Oh, it had an artifact weapon. It had a slimy morning star of flaming and maybe something else. Okay. I gotta try it on. Plus six intelligence? I mean, that's actually pretty nice. I'll take that. Uh, what's the staircase? It was this one, right? No. Wasn't that one. That one. That's obviously it. Whoa! No! This is bad. Does fear even work on these guys? It doesn't, because they're devils, right? That was a mistake. I didn't realize there were so many of these guys. This is bad. They're really bad. I don't even know what I do. Man, I'm gonna go get myself killed. This is terrible. How much damage? Oh, it doesn't even list how much damage these guys do. It does that. Oh, it's extremely dangerous. Yeah, these guys are killing me. I gotta go downstairs, but I'm worried that I'm gonna die on the way down. Okay, I didn't die on the way down. Um.
I don't have a blinking scroll, do I? Uh, gotta get some bad legs. I'm gonna move here. Okay. Corrode up a little bit. Could take me out with a random energy. I'm kind of worried about that. Got no AC right now. I don't have a way of getting away from this guy. I could try a healing potion, but it might get me killed. Gonna try one anyway, see what happens. Okay, got some health back. Um, let's just retreat up a bit, but unfortunately I think this guy can keep up with me. But let's just exclude that staircase. Like, I thought it would be fine, but I didn't realize quite how many of these rust devil guys they were. Oh, is it faster than me? No. I think the safest thing to do is just zap myself with a teleport, though. I want my health back before I fight it. Okay. Oh, it's good old yaks. Yeah, it's the old sprite that looks kind of funny. These tiny little yaks. They look way less intimidating than the uh, new ones. I oh, the magic to fight the rust devil. Oh, it's noticed me as well. Alright, well, I guess I just run away from it, I guess. I mean, I can try to do some damage to it. Nah, maybe. Oh, but I'm not, I don't have the lightning rod identified. Oh, I'm probably just gonna use all those charges. No, this is not, oh, this is not working, is it? Uh... Could go up. I don't know, I might just keep on trying to fight this guy. I might just get... Oh, it's getting his health back, isn't it? I gotta try and zap it. Oh, no, it didn't even work. It's like, uh, it's still pretty healthy. Like, it's almost dead. I'm gonna try and zap it with the electricity. Man, it's not doing anything. Am I out of... I'm out of... Oh. Out of electricity. What do I even do to this guy, then? I don't have anything. I mean, I got a net, maybe. There we go. Probably should have done that just a little bit earlier, but oh well. At least I can still rely on my nets. Well, kind of. It doesn't actually tell me the chance of heading, though, does it? <laughs> With the net. I thought the Hungry Ghost knows me. Maybe it didn't. But uh, that sort of ranger would have been, like, fine to take out of. So this actually kind of... Well, it's too far away. That'll do, I guess. Oh. Please die. Well, I'm obviously not quite ready for the Orcish Mines just yet. Gotta, still gotta do the lair and stuff. Although I'm getting reason to be close to be able to do the last, thankfully, with this character. Yeah, one, maybe two more levels of dungeon. Do we have any rings? I've got the ring of flight. I don't exactly have a lot of rings in this character. Was that a robe of night or something? Hey, it is. So it gets magic resistance, darkness, the invisible. And I'm just wearing a basic robe, so yeah? I think that's worthwhile. But it's slightly reduced vision, but that's probably fine. Also, there wasn't all there I could eat. Ah, uh, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Uh-oh. Do I even have enough magic points to take out this crocodile? I sure hope so. Oh, there's another one. Um, I guess I'll just, uh, like, shoot it while running back or something. I didn't even notice me. I can just sneak out of here. It's kind of funny. Uh, I've got plenty of fear. Maybe I should just like read one of these scrolls. Oh, I do have an identify. I can finally get one of these things identified. So I've got three enchant weapons. That's not that useful, unfortunately. 
But I do have a ton of scrolls I do need to get identified. I need to back up. Um... Yeah, a little lag crossbow. I mean, if I was wanting to use, like, a rage weapon, it would probably be one of those lag crossbows. I think the damage wasn't too bad. Um, maybe. I mean, I'd have to get a whole bunch of bolts. I don't think it's worth switching. Certainly, the characters, like, pump their end up quite a bit. In fact, my end's looking really good because this weapon I've got buff buffing it up as well. i have to go up, get my magic points, I guess. I'll probably get more walks around me, yeah. I don't know if there's any more bodies here. I don't want to like, search too thoroughly for bodies. I think most of these are just kobolds. Oh, that's an orc. Uh, there's no point in having multiple flight rings. In fact, it doesn't even want to pick it up, I guess. Because there really isn't any point. Oh, I might have to use this dude's shield. I think it's using a shield, right? No. Oh. Is that just part of I think that's just part of his like, robe or something. I don't know. It's, it kind of looked like it had a shield to me. But whoops, that's the wrong path. Yeah, I mean, that was got a great source, obviously. It's not going to have a shield. It's all some sort of forms. Do forms even exist in this version of the game? I have no clue. Whoops. I need to move close to that dude. Uh, frog does keep up, especially when I'm slow, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, all these guys kind of manage to keep up with me. Ooh, a gargoyle. I think I'll just retreat back with that one. But those can be fairly nasty with this whole stone arrow and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's standing back doing the stone arrow, which is certainly what I'd expect. Also, apparently, it's, uh, well, it seems to have enough armor because it doesn't take a huge amount of damage when I hit it with a mystic blast or anything. Oh, yeah, you can see invisible things to my weapon, which is going to make that unseen horror super easy. Wait, do I don't actually need to move one closer anymore because I uh, put on the robe of night so my vision's reduced in range. What's that? No shaman. There's Corona, Heal Other, Minor Healing, and Haste Other, right. And uh, Haste Other got, re uh, oh, got replaced at some stage with the uh, uh, Battle Cry or whatever it is, the one that makes all that guys go for you. Hold up. I can probably drop my old wand, right? Because the wands, uh, they don't stack and stuff. Whoa. It's blocking me. I think I just make it back to the staircase here. In fact, given that it takes opportunity on the thing, it's the obvious thing to do there, just go back to the staircase. I think I can freely forget spells now. Forget spell, oh, channel magic I haven't got going just yet. That needs some invocations. What am I even getting right now? Conjuration, that's not bad. I want to stop that fighting as soon as it reaches 7, but... Those are pretty early Cyclops. If I just do a little bit of divine what's it called thingy, I should be able to blast this guy. There we go. Oh, I should probably eat it as well. I'm actually getting fairly hungry. Uh oh. Um. My divine, what's it called? 
Uh, I don't want to get trapped in this car, though. That's not right at all. Got a couple of ones to teleport. Wait, after I identify each individual one, I might just teleport myself. Um, it's not, yeah, it's not dying. Woo. That's not going to work either. Um, I think I might just, hold on. No, I should do fear on these guys. Yeah, it's too much to deal with anything else. All right. Should I just be able to run back to it get magic? Also, I've got a pizza. It's left on the floor. Whoops, that's all right. It's going to give that guy an attack, I think. <laughs> yeah, I hate all the oh eight slices of pizza. Well, it's actually quite a big pizza. I hate all the pizza doesn't auto pick up though. Well, it does if you already have some in your inventory, but like that's not that likely, right? Also, I can turn off the channeling thing that I had going, whatever it's called, the divine casting. But it's good to like, oh, so fun is kind of all about the same sort of stuff, even if the exact method they work has changed a little bit. I mean, I guess they don't have the Divine Exegesis on this version, right? Uh, but it's kind of nice getting like an ability earlier, like the, the channel one I've got right now um, doesn't require you to have any invocations or anything. Yeah, but I should get the channel magic going, okay. I mean, that's the thing about the fighting, it's like really hard to stop it at a good point, but I guess I'll stop it there, because it already really makes a uh, sense of... I might get a little bit of spell casting. Um... A little bit of invocations as well. Alright, let's go upstairs. I think, like, all the versions of this game are, like, even more wild with the skill training. Like, uh, I think you used to only have, um, automatic skill training. There was no, like, manual skin tr skill training. And there was also a point where, like, you didn't used to even be able to turn off skills and stuff. It was kind of ridiculous. But then I think it was made till there was, like, only manual skill training, but you could turn off skills. So you basically just turn off all the skills apart from the one you wanted. Um... I just had to constantly keep it going to the inventory menu and, uh, not the inventory menu, skill menu. Can I finally kill this guy? I don't know if I can. Oh, I must have just rolled really badly with my damage before or something. Or maybe rolled really well with the armor class, because that was way easier that time round. Uh, I might as well eat this dude. I don't really matter which one I eat, because I just chopped them all up, because it's easier than trying to, like, just uh, decide which gods to chop up. Alright, dungeon level 11 or lair? Do I even have lair? I don't. So obviously it's dungeon level 11, no choice. Oh, Manticore? They look completely different. I actually prefer their new sprite. Well, some of the few of the monsters, I kind of like their old sprite, but the, yeah, that one I definitely prefer the new sprite. Uh, is there anything I want to get going? Do I have a shield or something? I thought I did have one, but I could be entirely wrong. Wait, do I have a shield? I guess not. If I get a shield, I should try and get it usable, because my spells are, like, super castable. It was 600 Hydra. I think it's best. Oh, that's not it. Blowing it up. There we go. Wait, spellcasting reads eight. Let me stop it there. 
um, invocations is going. I want to get that going until I can channel some magic. I don't want to get huge amounts. I am going to try and end with an invocations title on this character, because I want to get an invocations fantastic one, but, um, yeah, that can wait. I need that robe. Probably don't need the... I don't know if I need the glowing leather robe or not, because it's not identified. Uh, I think the reflection could probably be dropped. There are plus three reflection as well, so it's not even, like, a deep good one. Oh, I'm getting out of there. That's too much rock damage to my face. Whoa. The Benjamin's Ghost, a deep dwarf assassin. Wait, this is back when you had assassins? Instead of, uh, brigands? Oh, the game doesn't let the damage, but they got 90 something health, they got more health than me. Okay. Oh, the susceptible to fire doesn't help me out. Oh. That's gonna sneak up on me. Gonna make me this slave for eternity? That doesn't sound good. Let me just run away and think, oh. That's bad, I'm kinda low in health. Oh, no. Please don't step next to me. Oh, no. Hey, they didn't fall up because ghosts can't fall upstairs. Okay, I think I'm fine. But that level is just a really nasty level. Um, Oh, hey, Nigel. What does Nigel do in this version? Bolt of draining some inspector all taste other? I mean, that sounds like Nigel. That's a Nigel I recognize. All right. That's not blowing up very well. <laughs> Don't shoot the good old form of prison. That's silly. There we go. Nigel is dead. I should... Head back to the staircase, although I can just do my, like, channeling and magic or something if I want to. You know what? Sure, let's do it. No, it's not quite going to do the trick. Ooh. That was, like, half my damage with that. Oh, half my health that rock. Uh, there we go. I managed to blow it up. Oh, it's, uh, the Benjamin's ghost again. Nah, I didn't take it out with the form of prism, that's a shame. Oh, oh, uh, a hell giant? That, okay. That looks like an Adam to me. It's extremely dangerous. Um... Ah, didn't work with the form of the prism. Maybe I can slow it down at least. Uh, who knows where it went? I think that's the wrong staircase. Um. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is the wrong one, but I'll go down it anyway. Actually, no, I think the other one had a ghost. Like, had, um, what's their name's ghost? The Benjamin's ghost. Okay, 22% fail on the channel magic, and I'm hoping the channel magic works the same way as I expect that to work, but I can't be 100% sure. Oh, I don't even identify, I mean, there's so much stuff. I've got to get this teleport identified, because I'm always through my other one. 33, unfortunately. Ooh, hey, it's a shield. I think it's time I get some shield skill. Let's just try this on, see how it is. So he's got 13 evasion, I lose 3 evasion, I get 7 shield value. That's cursed, okay. <laughs> it's probably still worth wearing. Curse just means I can't, like, take it off in a hurry. Oh, my inventory's finally full. I was wondering when that would happen. I'm gonna drop this old dagger. Um... I don't think I got a reflection. Oh, I should be eating some more things, because I still got my go bad doll, which is doing alright. But I would swap out the go mad for a magic regen if I find it. I 
And the good thing about Gourmet is, like, if you use it for a while, you can save up some food. And then, um, once you get to not wearing the Gourmet, you're still, like, pretty good. Because you've, um, held that food previously. I'm going to try and challenge some magic. Yeah, it's challenging a decent amount, I guess. I think it's about the same as what it does these days. It uh, slowly takes up your magic points. Oh, it's the Benjamin again? I don't even know if I can kill the Benjamin. No, I can't. At least, uh, it depends how much damage they can do to me. Oh, hey, that's, uh, the Eden again. Oh, so that wasn't right. I actually mean to move to, uh, mean to move like that. Okay, good. It's, uh, finally dead. Not gonna have to worry about that one trying to sneak up behind me anymore, because that would have been a bit of a worry before. I should have changed if I could eat it. I didn't. The ghost again. That's fine. I'll just leave this ghost. Um, and I'll go to wait. Where's my all oh, the leads on this lab? Wasn't it? Go to la default. Yep, that looks fine. All oh, the spell book. It's got an introduction to witchcraft. No clue what that's got in it. Let's see. It's got animate skeleton, small mammal. In, no, oh, infusion or flame tongue? Nah, that's pretty silly. That just first level spells. Wait, oh, right, mouse scrolling doesn't work here, of course. So I need the introduction to witchcraft. Uh, I can leave that on the ground. Don't think I'll use the amulet to regen, okay. Um, I don't need the empty lightning rod. I've still got the non empty one somewhere. Don't need the enchant weapon. Where else do we have the drop down on the ground? So many unidentified things is kind of a bit of a worry. Okay, I'll keep my book of conjuration, although there's not much to go apart from the battle sphere. It's conjuration charms. Uh I don't know if I should get it, but I'll get it. I just need to get a little bit of charms that it should be usable, right? Oh, the old uh, blink frogs. I didn't recognize those ones for like half a second. I kind of have to channel some magic, I think. Yeah, let's do it. Does Sif Mana like still give stuff? Wait, did I fail? 100% failed, didn't I? Like, if I get to five pips of piety, I'm presumably I still get a gift of the book. So, I mean, that's kind of one of Sif Mana's main things. Oh, there's a porcupine? A random porcupine? Okay. It is fast and tiny. That's the one where, like, if you melee attack it, you get some retaliation damage, right? Or that's something else. I don't know. That's like a porcupine. I probably just blow these. Well, hit these guys in melee. It shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, get some intelligence. Oh, I'm just thirty intelligence. Wow, I'm getting a getting a lot more intelligence here than I would expect. Oh, there's probably another guy I could eat there, but that's fine. Um, alligators certainly aren't in the swamp anymore. There's tons of things here that aren't in the swamp, not the swamp, um, in the lair anymore. I mean, they are all beasts, but it's definitely a bit of a different assortment of beasts. Go see if these corpses are still here for me to eat. They might be gone by now. No, it looks like they're still here. That's the really drop menu. That's not right. Yeah, they're very swamped by these wolves. Um, there we go. That'd be nice to uh, rest my magic bag for a little while. There we go.
I think bears are a problem with uh, black when they kill those before. I don't have any uh, willpower, do I? Let's see, it's going 7 percent of the pet fries? Got willpower from somewhere. Okay, where am I getting that from? I've got it. Oh, my robe of the night gives me willpower. That makes sense. That would be why that guy's not. Wait, like, there's a curari tip needles. Hmm. I don't have a blowgun. I mean, I might be able to go get myself one, I guess. Dots are definitely way more convenient. Alright, I wish I had the magic regen. It would be really handy in situations like that. Uh, 20% fail on the battle sphere. Right, because I'm turning up the shields and it's reducing the shield penalty. I wish I'd need like 15 skill total for the shield, but I won't get it all the straight away. I'll just get like 10 or something. Uh, it should probably be fine with that. I have to bring one of these yanks up. Oh, uh, fan of the cold hearted. I don't have any cold resist, do I? And it's going to be even harder to find it than it a normal games because, uh, well, trunk games. Because, uh, the items don't automatically identify themselves, so you can't just, like, find ones lying around on the floor quite as easily. Uh, running around these pillars with a little bit of lag is, uh, questionable. Back when I used to play the games where, like, pillar dancing was quite common, at least I was playing offline so I didn't have to lag. Uh, I went down next to Fatter. Um, actually, I should check. They might be different now. Bottle Cold, Ice Beast, Blink, Aussie Cupid's Arm, Refrigerator. Now they're pretty similar. Oh, I have a box of bees? I'm going to give it a try. They shouldn't do their refrigeration at least. Um, that's better. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, because they, they could do their Boulder Cold. I'm surprised they didn't do that one. But the rest of the stuff they couldn't really do, at least. Oh, inedible. So I think it's still, like, chop those guys when they just give inedible chunks. But I'll take a rope of coal resist. Um, actually, I should take the rig of ice resist. Oh, no inventory space. I got an identify. I can go read that on. Oh man, what do I even read this on? Might do the five potions, lignification, alright. Now, might I just go read one of these scrolls, see what it is? Remove curse. I mean, that was useful, I guess. Um, so I can't drop it. I just gotta read one of these scrolls, see what it is. Oh, I wasted my blinking scroll. Man, that's uh, that's the one not one you wanna see at all. That's about the worst case of those. You waste your blinking scroll. Why can't I grab these boots? I must have some old boots they can drop, right? No, I don't. Um, probably dropped the polymorph, but not even sure if the polymorph gave the options back in this version. Ah, yeah, plus one boots are good. Like, uh, listed what it could turn the thing into. Crystal Ball of Energy, is that back when these sucked or when these were decent? A magical device which can be used to restore magical energy, whether it's effectiveness increasing with evocation skill, however, if you fail and drain all of your magical energy, or cause other negative mental effects. When used with low reserves of magic, it becomes increasingly likely. No, that was bad. That was back when they were sucky. Oh, yes or no, only? Okay. I'm not a Santor. Oh, that's back when. Wait, Santor body? That's back when Naga and Santos had their own body? Spiny frogs. Uh. Alright then, I get they're kind of the same as the new what's the new ones even called? Like they're kind of the same as the new ones, except I guess spinier. I think if you hit them in melee do do retaliation damage. Whoa What just happened? Did I get teleport trapped? Yeah I did. Okay. It's kinda of funny, like my RC option to warn me about that doesn't work because I uh it's based on a different message. <laughs> oh Kane Jones, that's what the spiny frogs are now, though they lose lost their spines. Whoa. Identify the scroll of random uselessness. Okay. 
That wasn't quite what I meant to identify, but okay. Apparently some things uh the inventory there, well the way you press things have been swapped around just a little because that was kind of confusing. Uh, Book of Geomancy, hold on, that one has a uh, petrified, least rapid deconstructed stone arrow. I could do a stone arrow, but I'm not sure it's that tempting. I've kind of got the conjuration books or uh, spells already. I think I might just drop it on the ground, wherever it is. Um... Geomancy, there it is. Level shield value is not bad. Um, I might stop the shields right there and get a little bit more invocations, but I don't want too much more. I just want enough of that channel magic like reliable. <sighs> Blow up my phone in prison, of course. Oh, I don't take the teleport trap. I think <laughs> that's uh, an easy way out of that situation. I mean, it could put me somewhere worse, but the other option was like trying to channel magic and that sort of thing. Oh, more rations to add to my supplies. I've got like 12 rations, 13 rations. I'm not going to have any problems. In fact, oh, that's why my inventory is so uh, dire, because i got the fruits, the meat, and the pizza. I should just maybe start a food stash somewhere, in case I ever get short, but I'm not going to get short with the gourmet. You know what? That's a good idea. Let's go to lab one, um, and just start a food stash. What that what I meant by Les there? I guess that no, that makes sense actually. Go to the exit. Um. All right. Well, I'll keep my bread. I'll drop the fruit on the ground. Drop the meat rations on the ground. Though I'll probably find more of those. And the, those the uh, pizzas unlikely to stack or nothing. And I'll just keep the bread ones on me. Oh, Paris of Heat. Um, I don't even know if I've got fire resist. I don't. Alright, turn to head this guy, Melly. Um. I gotta do my divine energy, I think, and just head it with that. Yeah, there we go. Wait, there's a snort? Uh, I should go for that. Breath take him a clock in there by clock. Is that a gauntlet or is that a not a gauntlet? Don't know. It might be a maze of some kind. But it's nearby, so I'm just trying to explore around the staircase. Although it looks like it's mainly dead ends, my attempts to explore here. Uh, oh, taking, uh, I just take a very distant clock and the avalanche of rocks in there by what? Do I? I haven't even seen what's going in that volcano. Wait, disc of storms? Are those good? I've heard good things about those. Hey, this gift. So I got a, oh no, it's an actual thing they're going to pick up. An orb of destruction, bolt of fire, bull, conjure bull lightning, force lands. Those could be good. Wait, what? Oh, that's the opposite instruction. That's the false lance. False lance with false level translocation conjuration. Oh, the orbit instruction is not quite castable yet. Is false lance even any good? Wait, don't memorize that. I'm trying to... I'm trying to read it. Um, it's a short range. Okay. May knock the target back. I'll give it a try. Is that enough invocations? I mean, it's probably enough for now. I'll give it a um, hold up there. So I want to get uh, I want to get a little bit of transocations, but I should probably just get some more conjurations as well. Oh, still a very distant. I like lose track of that. Minotaur that was like really close to me for a while. I go in like totally the wrong direction now. I think. Um, 
I like, I was trying to go down because I think it might be down because it was uh, close before, but no. Frantic, brisk. I mean, they're both running out of time. I could go into the volcano, I suppose. Oh, some one of them collapsed. That's the question I'm going in though. Nothing for coal resist, nothing for fire resist. Uh another way out, okay. Where are the enemies though? The good old two headed ogres with flaming clubs. Goga mages, I see. I don't know if that even hit anyone. Um, apparently, one. Of, oh, no, there's the ogre mage. Apparently, I killed something. Wait, can I force lance this dude? Does that do much? Let's give it a try. Does something to think it's next to me. All right. I can eat the two headed ogre, I guess. As an ogre, it's got tons of flesh on it for me to eat. I don't actually need these ones. Oh, a rope fire this. Um. I mean, I've got the Robe of the Night, which is probably generally a fairly good thing, but then here, obviously, the Robe of Fire, this is the right thing to have. Good old Demon Whip, this Leather Armor Fire, this. let me try that one on. Plus one Leather Armor. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll drop the Robe. Got to presume that demon whip might still be a thing that's needed by a trove or something. I don't even know if troves are a thing, but hey. Oh, I can see further because I don't have the robe of the night on. Sure. Oh, this guy's getting actually distracted by the prisms and having a hard time getting up to me. That's kind of funny. Alright. Um, I think I channel some magic. I think that's probably the best way of getting out of the situation with that guy approaching. All right, not exactly into the chain mail or anything. No, like flaming or fire resist, which makes sense. I think there's like another room in here as well. That one looks pretty empty. I might actually be done with this place. Yeah, looks like it. And I don't. I'll just double check the items on the ground. Says, oh, it's a cloak. Do I have a cloak? Oh, I do. Probably not fire this, but I'm gonna try it on. Oh, sure, whatever. It probably doesn't make any sense, but hey. Yeah, okay, it was just a random cloak. Fair enough. Also, I should probably swap my armor back. I mean, the fire this is fine, but I think I'm best with the extra AC. Am I better? I'm definitely. And she's got extra magic resistance, it's kind of nice. Oh, also there's Snork here. Uh, let's try and get him with a bit of prism. No, I can't get another one either. No channels of magic, because I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to keep my magic points up without it. Yeah, I think the close range hitting guys with the um 
Oh, what's it called? The four slides of the good idea. Also, how's the... How's that orbit strategy going? 37% failure? I might go grab that one. That was pretty good. When I get the orbit strategy, I might want to put on some armor that gives me a bit more range of sight. Um, Really, just a glowing stuff? You're not even going to tell me what kind of stuff it is? Sure. Well, I guess I can drop the demon whip and try it on, but I've got the intelligence thing at the moment, so this is probably not that good. Stuff of what now? Power? Stuff that provides an increased reserve of magic points as wielder. How much? So I got 40 magic points. If I put on this one, 25? Hold on, that's a huge amount, isn't it? It's like 15 magic points. I lose, I lose a bend. I lose 6 end, but I'm going to give this a try. That actually seems pretty huge. I didn't even realize that there was stops of power in this game. It shows how few uh, mages I used to play. Oh, I can just false balance that dude. What do does the extra damage of pushes them to war book for shamans? Uh... So, it has crossfire, yara, silence, deflect, missiles, and discord. I don't think those are the type of spells I try and get. Yeah, I'll leave that one on the floor. Um, at some stage, I might have to come back for it, but I think it's safe just leaving it here in the lab. Maybe I should start a library of spells or something. Oh, got the got the spider nest, don't I? And the trolls? Trolls probably better than the spider nest. Um, I always find the spider nest just a little tough, but I guess that's fine. Right, a force lance combined with a orbital disruption sounds kind of effective because when they're close to me, I can force lance them. When they're far away, I can like orbital disruption them. Not that I've got the orbital disruption going. Wait, is that a sound of something book? Is it? Book of callings? Uh, so summon ice feast, summon lightning spire, summon guardian golem, cool familiar, cool lamp. Yeah, it's the sound of something book. Oh, that's not the spell. There we go. Let's push it back with a little bit of a fond sluts. Now that you seem to do some pretty good damage, how much translocation did I get? Almost five? Keep going just a little bit with that translocation, but actually, no, I might start with the translocation. I just want to get the conjuration a bit of chance to get out there so I can get the orb of destruction and then I can start thinking about other skills that I need. Oh, hey there, Hydra. Actually, it seems to be dying pretty quick. Yeah, there we go. Don't have to worry about a 7 headed Hydra. What do you think of pushback and incorporeal creature? I haven't actually really tried that. Oh, uh. We'll pick up this meat ration. Hold on. What am I, what am I carrying around? Oh, so much junk. Um, do I need all these? Man, I hate all these ones don't stack. If I just drop a wand of lightning, I mean, it's okay, but yeah, they're not stacking. It's a real pain. I'm definitely not going to be able to carry around all the items I find in this game. Oh, is that a... That's a kind of leapers. I kind of like the old sprite for the kind of leapers. Um, Does it do the same stuff? Petrified Cloud? Yeah, it does. Or I think it's changed its name, but it's... Oh, is it fast? Might have just random energy. I think I can just... Scooch back. Oh. Okay, Josephine. I just channeled some magic. This should be fine. I'll just force onto her. But it doesn't mean that Catableepus can kind of try and come up behind me. All right. Bring up the race at least. Oh, the Hydra? Oh, no, that's not good. I got slowed. This is bad. Uh, what does the Disc of Storms do? A crackling disc with a, which can unleash a destructive wave of electricity. Its effect was greatly improves in the hands of one skill in evocation, which I'm not. Um, I should at some stage get that. 
I think I teleported out here, actually. Because I'm just too slow to make that really work. Okay. I'm going to try to disco solve on something and something. In fact, I should get a little bit of evocation because I got a few things I could use it with. I shouldn't get too much, just a little bit. How's the old disruption going? 38% failure, right? It's not quite there. I'm not sure if I'm ever getting this battle sphere going either. Oh, where are these guys? There's one of them. Oh, I can't push this guy back. It totally works. Doesn't care that it's incorporeal or anything. Just flings it away from me. Um, I thought I was just leaving the Hydra, aren't I? Also, I should eat something. Not like eat those guys. They were like uh, incorporeal and stuff. I might be able to eat this dude at least. Or a blink frog? I'm not sure those are edible, maybe. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Got to uh, full. It's nice getting to use false lines because that's not really a spell that I've ever really got to use before. Because I think it was removed from the game by the time I really started uh, playing. Alright, well, I'm gonna do a scroll. I gotta figure it out. Recharging. So if I wanna. Uh, is teleport like entirely based on wands or something? Like, do scrolls even exist? Because that, that's probably what I'm going to end up using the recharging for is keeping my wand of teleport going. I think it was a teleport. I think I've got one that's out of charges, don't I? Yeah. I get rid of that. Um, well, now how many charges I recharge with a wand of recharging? Because uh, hopefully I don't need two wands that I cycle through. Because hopefully I can just get it lower than charges and then recharge it without wasting it in the recharging. So I only have to carry around one. The plan, anyway. This guy's fine does do damage. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Oh, maybe that was a change from later in the game or something. Ah, no, don't. Get my magic points back, come on. At least in this character, like, I do have ways of channeling it back and stuff, so if I do run into a situation with no magic points, I do have things I can do, but it's still not the best. Um, I want the potion of beneficial mutations. Okay, I can drop... Oh, that's a good idea. I'm just going to read one of these scrolls, see what I get. Oh, the word of holy power that I just wasted? Oh, well, that's, uh, that's something, I guess. Uh, if I find any more, at least I'll know about them. Um, I'll go back to my lair stash. Go. Lair. No. Go. Well, that's not right. I don't think I'll drink the beneficial mutation right now, but I'm not actually sure whether there's a disadvantage of drinking it right now or not. I'm not actually can't remember exactly how that worked. Um I had some fruit I started to drop. The meat rashes I'm trying to stack up as well. Alright. I could leave some of my unidentified stuff here. Also, I should probably drop my mites. That's not massively useful anymore. Also, I could probably drop the flight potions because I think I can... I think I can evoke a flight, although maybe that's not reliable. It's not too bad. It's like 17% failure. Yeah, I might just uh, drop that. Oh. And what else can I drop? There's got to be something here that I don't need. I might carry around the beneficial mutators and just go with that for a while. Oh wow, I've already done that level. I remember how to do level 5 of the lair. Oh, it's a jade ring. I do want to read that. Oh, not read that. Put that one on. Because I got like so much remove cast. Like if it's cast, it doesn't even matter. Let's try it on. I don't have a full set of rings yet. Oh, resist poison. That's useful. 
and there's good old Jeeva just sitting outside. The uh, slime pits, I don't know if I'll do a slime pits or not, it depends what spells I get. Slime pits is often not too bad for mages though. Uh, I got a round of magic points, but that's fine. Oh, he said it's not fine. <sighs> I think I can kill the porcupine. There we go. It's the, like the Spidey Pro, basically just an upgraded version of the porcupine, because they're both just kind of spidey creatures. Surprised the blink frog done something weird about eating them. They're just uh, normal edible creatures, apparently. Alright. Oh, nice. A corpse for me to go eat. So much, so much eating, though, this character. So much remove curses. I feel like, I mean, I guess maybe you could just be trying on, like, any random piece of gear that you found to try and, um... See whether it was any good or something, and that would probably get you through all the... Like, the remove curses, but otherwise it sounds like it's gonna be pretty hard just to uh, get through all those remove curses at this point of the game. I don't really remember, like, the remove curses ever being a problem, apart from an early game. Um... I'll try hit the Oak Club plant. Yeah, because I could just step back out of view if it's a problem. I could probably maybe even fling like uh the formative prisms at it. Alright, don't need the enchant oh the brad weapon, that's pretty useless. Am I missing any armor slots? No, I've got all my armor slots. I do need the enchant armor though. I just don't know what half my scrolls do. Maybe I should just read some of those larger stacks or something. You know what, sure, let's do it. Let's read the larger stack, see what it costs. I got a stack of three. Oh, it's magic, Matthew. That's a shame. <laughs> yeah, every time I read one, I seem to be wasting whatever it is, but oh well. Anyway, I guess back to the dungeon. I did dungeon level 11, I do believe. So I'll probably go do dungeon level 12, I reckon, and then... Maybe 13? No, probably just 12. Hey, Vampire. Do they have the same old spell list? It's got uh, Vampiric Drain and Confused Invisibility. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty much like what I'm used to those guys having. And that's exactly what I'm used to those guys having. Alright, let's go upstairs, get magic points back, go back downstairs. This is a normal drill with these spellcasters. Do I just leave that? No, I should pick up the meat ration. I should add it to my stack of stuff. Um, oh. I got teleported. I might just wait, wait that off. Because I um, got hit by a chaos weapon. Apparently they do teleport in this version. Uh, I'm going to use the, the dodgy um, challenge magic thing. Yeah, I might go to the prof one. Because there's an actual uh, dangerous creature here, the brown ugly thing. Doesn't say which item, but I'm pretty sure it's a portion of um flight that I'm ignoring there, which is probably fine. So I should have eaten that tent all, but oh well, I'm sure I can eat the next yak or whatever I come across. There's a roll chart. I've got some amount of magic resist. Let's see. It's got 6% of magic, but I don't think there's anything I can do to get my magic resist up, though. Um, so I'm just gonna have to hope she does get me with 6%. I could probably eat her. No, nope, she doesn't have a corpse. Hey, yaks are very good at eating. One of them already had like one flesh, the other two flesh. I guess they're right. I mean, yeah, I mean usually yaks be like pretty big, I think. Alright, I can go identify something finally. Get one of these scrolls. I got four of 
for amnesias, oh, I probably could just, uh, I mean, I guess I could use those, but I don't really need those. Because I, I got um, Sifmata doing exactly that for me, basically. With all whole forget it's melting, but I guess it saves a little bit of party, it's just not that special. Think of party, my party's sitting on four pips, why? Is that just because I've... Hmm. Might it be too slow or something? Who knows? Because I don't need any of magic regen, so like, I do spend a lot of time resting up and stuff. I don't know. Oh, uh, this is fine. I'm gonna run the magic points, aren't I? I just gotta do the dodgy spell casting thing. What? Ah, no, don't exclude the error. I just wanted to chop this guy up, and apparently I'm hitting all the. Oh, I've already chopped up and eaten it. Yeah, I'm just apparently just hitting all the wrong keys or something. Right, got tons of heal wounds, which is nice. Um, what do I do? I still have a beneficial mutation. I'm not sure if I drink it or not. Let's just go look at that. So, uh, potion which grants a supposedly good mutation. It's supposedly good. I mean, the ones I got so far were fine. Like the extra AC, hit points, clarity of mind. I mean, those all seem fine. I'm not sure if I meant to just, like, drink those potions as soon as I see them, or if there's point in saving them or not. Civil mod. Um, this does not tell me what it is. Okay, well, I'll drop one of the ones of flame, I guess. Let's see, it's a one of degeneration. I think those, those did something. I don't think they work in statues. Um, I can't open the start this guy yet. All right, Sif Gift. Uh, what have we got here? We've got a book that has infestation for necromancy, darkness for hexes. What does darkness even do? Oh. Apparently that's not how you look at it. Um. Well, I know what I can do. I can drop my old... Where is it? Book of Conjuration on the ground. That's not going to be very useful anymore. And I can carry this one around if I want. Let's see. Dims the light of the dungeon, reducing the range of vision. Oh, okay. That's not that useful for me because I'm kind of... The character that kind of relies more on um hitting things at range. But if you're a stabber, maybe. Oh, don't just stand next to this Eden. Okay. Uh... Could eat the rat and mutation chunks. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh no, it's probably a bad idea. What do I want to do? I want to. I want to stop the evocations there. I just want to get conjurations. Try and get that orb destruction going. Oh, come on. Rest up. Rest up my magic. I hate that. Uh, there might be an option, like the Nazi option or something, at this uh, version of the game, but it's not worth, like, trying to figure it out at this point. Taking this Nazi option to rest up before healing. At some stage, it seems to have been made the default, but there probably was, like, an option for it back um, in this version of the game. Probably. Okay, level 14. That's slightly... Behind what I'm used to being on, I think. It's not too bad, I guess, but it, yeah, it does feel slightly behind. Ah, Channels of Magic. I mean, I already had like uh, one or two cards left. I probably could have got away with the, like, the cheap, bad one if I wanted to. Because without the attacks of opportunity, it's actually really be safe just to like run backwards until the minus cast is gone. I mean, it's not perfectly safe because something can come up behind you or something, but it's actually 
I mean, it's definitely doable. Oh, whoops, get my magic back. There we go. I hate the tire roger. It's like junk, junk, uh, chew down on a tire roger. Apparently, you can eat like entire rogues in this game. Okay. Let's get another healing potion. I've got a decent number of those, six of those. I don't think those are what I'm going to run out of. Do I ever find like magic potions? I preserve that those are still a thing. I just haven't found them while well, identifying them yet. That's probably one of the problems for me identifying them. I hate how it doesn't tell me what the wand is until I like pick it up. That seems kind of silly. And then I get to find out whether I actually want it a lot. Um, I might drop the lightning rod. That's yeah, whatever. Also, what the heal wounds? <laughs> Man, it really is like a lot of overlapping items and stuff. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, like I suppose, um... I've preserved it probably is like... I mean, there's, there's potions and the scrolls that. So they probably are teleport wands. No, scrolls, I mean. What is that? A vampire mosquito? Okay. This is probably the entrance to the vaults. There's a lot of guys. They're faster than me, though. There we go. That's better. I just try to get, to, uh, get through them until the creatures are the same speed as me. So I could retreat back there. A normal guy go. No, it's a war guy go. Those are a bit tougher. I gotta channel the magic, okay. Oof. Gotta get rid of this guy, but this guy's faster than me, which is a bit of a problem. Um. Ah, there we go. Now I can finally retreat. Wait, and it's all separate from the hell giants? The giants kind of look like the old Anna's. Wait, what's the. What's, uh... Oh, strange. For some reason, I thought that they were just like the equivalent of being renamed, but I guess not. Oh. Where's the... Come on, go to the staircase. I don't know why that didn't want to continue traveling along the path that already... set out for it. Not did that time. Okay, so that command definitely still works when I just travel to where you've previously been. Whoa. That's not ideal having this guy come up behind me. Alright. Oh. Ow. Oh, ow. Oh no, I don't have any blinking. Um. Wow, that guy absolutely shredded me. What's this rage on this crystal bolt? Oh, it's got decent range, doesn't it? Oh, no. No, this is bad. This is really bad. Those guys are absolutely slaughtering me. What does the most healing? A wand of heal wounds or a potion of heal wounds? I don't know. Uh. I also even identified this one. This guy can absolutely kill me, though. I gotta try heal wounds, but, like... This is really bad. Oh, it doesn't say it's melee damage. I'm gonna try another heal wounds, but this is... Mm, super questionable. Okay, uh, let's do the teleport on myself. Ouch! That uh, it's really bad. Let's bring a heal wounds, another heal wounds. How long does teleport God, Come on, teleport, get me out of there! Oh my goodness, okay, that guy's someone I absolutely cannot deal with. I mean, that's like a total bolt screecher, that's like really tough. Oh. Um, let's go to the Orcish Mines, I think. That's kind of where I should be going. Alright. Oh. That's a lot of things. They were the tougher rooms here, mate. Kelsey's kind of going down a bit. Um, I don't know about those entrance, but I don't really want to be going down more of the dungeon, right? Like, that was looking pretty bad, going down dungeon. I mean, I guess I can...
go down another level of the dungeon, maybe. Because that entrance just looks terrible. Um, ah, let's go to dungeon 14, I guess. Because I, I don't think I'm getting that orchestra mine's entrance at all. I have the problem is I haven't really been getting any new spells for quite some time. The Open Disrupt is getting a lot closer to being castable, at least. Oh, I'm already full. Um, okay. Ooh, I miscast my channel magic. Um, I gotta get the channel magic going on this guy, though. Ow. I have to heal wounds, but, like, I'm not even sure that's gonna help that much. I was gonna kill by that sad door as well. Well, this uh, game's suddenly taking a turn from being doable to almost killing me at every turn now. I don't know if that guy. Right, it's on level 13, so it's got the Crystal Guardian on it. I mean, a sufficient range, I might be able to kill the Crystal Guardian just with, like, an orb of destruction, but I definitely don't want to be anywhere near that guy. Oh, no. That's too close. I think I can just back up, though. Yeah, there we go. So it won't kill me on the way up, at least. Oh. I think I go around the... Oh, can I even go around the long way here? No, I'll probably be straight back into fighting the Crystal Guardian. Um... Also, I should be actually targeting the mage there. That's the one that I need to take out. Because then, there we go. The summoner's gone. Okay. I feel like this is just kind of leading me back around in little, <coughs> in little circles here. Yeah, it's not quite really getting me where I need to go either. Um, unfortunately, at least it doesn't seem to be, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Try to get this guy, like, at a good distance. Oh, that's closer than, like... No, I gotta just go up. But at least I might have collided on the other staircase by pulling back to that one, so I might actually be able to get to one of these down staircases finally. There we go, that might work. That did the trick. Excellent. I don't know if that's actually the, it's probably not the right one to really be going for, but if I can split them up, it's fine. It doesn't really matter. Where's my orb of destruction? I must be able to cast that now. 12%. Is this an orb of destruction that can destroy walls? I guess I'll find out, but, um, a bit more experience. Uh huh. Now we've got the orb of destruction going, I might just put on the robe of like fire resist or something just to get back in a little bit of vision. It doesn't help with my willpower, but oh well. Wait, that's a fault. Then what was the area on the level above? Was that just some random, absolutely terrifying uh, vault, I guess? Sure. That's kind of funny. I don't even have to worry about like chopping up the enemies anymore. They get pre chopped for me. By the orb of destruction. <laughs> what do I guess about the same amount of chunks whether they're actually different depending how you kill them? What's that of you? Can I believe this is a dungeon? That's unusual. Maybe that's a, maybe it's not in this version of the game though. Because this is the first time in this version of the game for like Forever, basically. So I've actually got that deep in the dungeon. Oh, I should go eat some of these things. I think the Orb of Destruction is costing a decent amount of food to cast. Yeah, look at that. It says uh, it costs that much hunger to cast it. <laughs> but also with a god man, that doesn't even matter. It's just a matter of... Going and picking up all the food that's scattered around afterwards or eating all the food. Whoa, a wind drake. It's not repelling missiles, though. What's that actually do? 
Oh, it does deflect missiles. Airstrike and sand or wind blast or whatever it is. Uh, what, what was that first one? Wind blast, oh yeah. Hey, has mutagenic meat. No, I don't want don't want to rest go around a mutation. My mutations are decent. Hey, yeah, I blow up a wall with the opposite structure. It does in fact blow up walls occasionally. But it's not a very good way of like actually taking out walls because they had to do so many ops and to actually get through. Right, well I might uh might go identify this. Vulnerability. Man, but I love seeing those chunks go over it. Um, no, I do not want a wand of lightning. I must haven't really been using those. I'll do the last level of dungeon, and then hopefully I can get my way into the orcish mines. But I don't like the look of uh, going down to the orcish mines and ending up next to some of the creatures in there. Oh, I didn't get my magic back. It should probably be fine. If I just stand on a small of the structure, there we go. Got the centaur. Ooh. Right, so what are you offering me? It's got a uh, disjudged... Oh, controlled blink is an eighth level spell. False lines, less of anything. Normal blink, the random blink. Um... Oh, definitely consider it. Let me go drop. I guess I drop my old robot the night. It's a shame because it was my willpower source. I'll get the random blink, I think. Although, yeah, I suppose I can still cast it. It's 4% failure. Because I did get a little bit of translocation earlier for one of my spells. Um, oh, I can't grab the pizza. Might drop that weapon, although a weapon of intelligence isn't too bad. Oh, this is a depth entrance. Yep. Oh, it's guarded by Yaktors? That's what it's... No, it's all usually guarded by the, some other kind of archer now, right? Well, these ones seem just fine. Oh, I'm very hungry. Oh, wait, I'm starving? That's bad. Oh, um, this is causing way too much food, as it turns out. Uh... I got to do an old destruction, but that didn't seem to make it very well. Oh, no. I have no potion of healing. This is bad. I identify my wand of healing, but I guess I'll target myself with it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just trying to actually taking so much food. This is crazy. I don't know. Um... No, I don't think I can take on this guy because they don't have the cold resistance. I'm just going to teleport out of here. Ow! No! This is bad. This is really bad. I really should identify this healing because I'm going to have to use it on myself. It's going to be more costly because they don't have it identified. Oh, okay, I did teleport out of there. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, the weapon that I just dropped was the one with Sam was on it. Oh, man. Oh, no. I'm getting absolutely murdered here. I don't have any healing left apart from... Oh. No, this is bad. Oh, man, what do I even do? Getting murdered by the Unseen Horror. I've only got 15 hit points left. Oh, I don't even know if I got a spell for that. Oh, I really don't. I mean, I can try the Wand of Healing on myself, but, like, it might not even do it. I'll think, okay, it did heal me up, but is it rather charges yet? No, it didn't. Apparently, it had a lot of charges. Um, this is questionable, but I think I do a teleport on myself and hope it doesn't put me somewhere bad. Okay, I know where that guy is, the Unseen Horror. Um, I guess I try and blast it back. It's not very effective because it's super fast. Hopefully when I move, I should teleport. Okay, that got me out of there. So what I need to do is I need to read a recharging on my wand of uh, teleport. Okay, got four charges. That's fine. That keeps me going with the teleport again. Oh, thank goodness. Um, Hmm. 
just go upstairs. Maybe the unseen horror will follow me. Maybe it won't. I don't think it did. I just gotta go to the Yorkish mines for a little while. Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, this guy. Can I get this crystal? If I just shout from here. That's not quite what I was trying to attract. Whoa. I guess it's fine. I can probably just kill these guys and just eat them. Alright, what else have we got? We've got another Santa Cops. Good. Might actually finally be able to get back to being full. Alright, finally got rid of the Crystal Guardian, which means I can go actually explore the rest of this level now. See what there is on here. Uh, what's this one? Dead dude, okay. Spider, wolf spider zombie, alright. But I feel like the one that's more of a warrior here is a centaur warrior that's behind it. Whoa, what did I accidentally do there? I did tell big accidentally that took a turn. I'm a bit worried about that. Also, why did the arrow want to auto pick up? That doesn't make any sense. I don't think I've got any arrows in my inventory for that to stick, uh, stack with. Alright. Oh, I probably do. I probably accidentally... No, I know what I did. I accidentally pressed G and picked up an arrow that was underneath me. That would be why. Although my auto pickup seems to be off because of that unseen horror that I was fighting earlier. Anyway, so let's go identify... Whatever this is. Hey, there's my teleport scrolls. Although I already had, like, charged up the thing. Oh, Glaive of the Guard is an electric fusion. Well, it's plus rate. Does that allow you to do it on purpose? 5 AC and 7 as well. Actually, what is that? What is plus rage? Is that not going to tell me? It's not going to... Oh, wait, no, it does. It lets you go berserk, but I don't think it makes you randomly go berserk, so I think it's actually kind of not too bad. God, uh, I don't need death spray. I probably don't need two human stars. I don't think I need this book. I'm going to drop it. Pump? Faintly humming ring mail. Is that too heavy for me? I'm going to take a look at it. Okay, so... Oh, it contaminates when you take it off. It's regen, two cold resist. I mean, it's actually not too bad. Uh, 70% on the off of destruction is failure. It's not really more protective, but it's two coverages on regen, which is not bad. I don't really care about the slang. I lose my fire resist. I mean, that's alright, I think. Yeah, I might go with that. I could probably go back to the dungeon level 15, because the, the guy on the, this level is like a fire dungeon or something. Uh... I want to be next to this guy so it doesn't shoot me quite as effectively. This is the main threat in this group of guys. What's the plan? I guess I just keep on hitting with all the boss lines, but it's not ideal. Oh, I'm near starving from all the spells I've been casting. But there should be plenty of corpses here to fill me up. Yeah, look at all those centaur corpses. Got me all the way to a gorge. Uh, just try false lance the unseen horror. Hopefully that does the trick. Hey, the orbit strike you got it at the end. All right. Hey, Retomic, how's it going? You come to find a, a high elf going here? This one's actually doing all right. I'm a bit worried about my lab branches, but... Hey, I've got orbs of um, destruction going. How the runs? Well, my earlier runs today went really bad. Um, I obviously did not know how to play this version of the game, but this, uh, this run's going well. I've got some decent spells online, so can't complain about that. Also, are those um, orbs of flesh appearing around me instead of where the enemy died? Kind of feels like it. I guess these ones are around where the enemy died. I guess they're just covering everywhere. Also, I should pick up the pizza, I guess. Can I carry it? Can't even eat it off the floor. I might drop the Roman cold resist. I got another thing for that. Alright.
someone's shouting here. What about you? How are your uh, runs going for Topic? Have you got any going at us? Hopefully in a bit more nicer version of the game to play than 0 0.19 though. I don't know, there's definitely a lot of quality of life things missing in this version. Uh, did I blow up the wrong centaur? I probably did. Yeah, I wanted to blow up the centaur warrior. Oh. Ah, I blow up everything apart from the centaur warrior. This is actually a problem. I think I do a teleport. Although, maybe not. It didn't... Oh, it did so much damage to me. No, this is actually a problem. I don't have a way of getting health. Do I have a, do I have a fear scroll? I'm over fear scroll. I can do a fear on this guy. Oh, it did not work. I'm almost dead. This is actually a problem because I don't know if this wand of healing has any charges left. It probably doesn't. Oh. What's the chance of getting this guy with a fear? Doesn't really have any willpower. Ooh. I've been busy with proje uh, projects and stuff, so I had much time. Yeah, fair enough. I gotta try the fear again. Okay. It got that guy, but then one of these guys unfeared up. Oh, man. I gotta try the healing. I'll probably teleport. Oh, can't be evoked? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, it's out of charges. Alright. Does that finally... Does that finally identify when I ran out of charges? Oh, no. I have no fire resist. Um, do I have a scroll of fog? Because this guy can hit me with a bolt of fire or fireball, right? I don't have a lot of health. Is there any potion of resistance? Uh, what does the miscast on the orb of destruction do? Does it say? Ah, uh, I don't think it says. Don't want to kill myself with a miscast or something. I might actually try it as a curing, but like, I don't really. Oh no, that didn't work. Back down to 9 hit points. This is terrifying. Oh. Does fear work on this guy, or is it like, uh, is it immune to that? And a freak. I don't even know if that's immune to fear or not. It's so close to dead, though. And I can't put it on my quiver to, like, check if it works on this guy or not, either. Um... I can do the curing, but, like, it's pretty questionable. I might give it a try. Back to 16 else, which is really not that great. Oh, it's not dead yet. Oh, man, that was so close to killing me. This character had a number of rather close calls. Where I go up the staircase and there's a creature right there or whatever. Also, I shouldn't over destruction this guy. It's not tough enough for that. Alright, please have it. Oh, there's an unseen horror. Um, but at least I know where it is so I can target it with an over destruction. But it's going to make me pretty hungry. At least I can eat a two-headed ogre. All six flesh should get me fairly not hungry anymore. Alright, well I know where this guy is, so I can target it with normal destruction. And I got it, good. Ooh. I got the two cold resist now, so hopefully that means this guy's fine. I don't know why the over destruction is struggling to get through that area. I thought that would be an uh, ideal area for like an over destruction to get through, but clearly not. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Ah, I give it actually like excluding up when I meant to um cut things up. All right, well I've done with the dungeon. I've still got it. Well, actually not quite done. I still got this guy, I guess. I've still got the Orcish Mines to try and make my way through, though. So I don't have to figure out which lab branch is the least bad for this character just yet. 
I don't know, probably the shoals is where I'm gonna go. I think I do actually have a way of flying, like, got a ring of flight on or something. I don't have a lot of rings, like, good points for this flying, that's, like, it. Um, wizards? What do they even have in this version? Could have Crystal Spear on a wizard? Well, that's kind of crazy. Could have, uh, Banishment on 30%, and you don't know until it does its thing. Okay, well, I killed it in one shot, so I guess it doesn't matter what it had. Right, well, I'll try the Orcish Mines again. I'm just worried about the entrance that I had. Oh, uh, I drew the random blink. Oh, I miscast. Like, so I guess Sif has got my back, so I was protected from away. Is there not a cooldown before I can cast it again? When I succeed it? That's kind of wild. Alright, well, I guess it's uh, time to cast it again and just throw some more orbs and destruction at this dude. Well, uh, individually go to this. Hey, Gaze Red, why are you doing a 0 0.19? It's the last version with a high elf. And I wanted to play a high elf here, so I didn't really have much of a choice on the version, unfortunately, if I wanted to play a high elf. Uh, let's chop this guy. Yeah, otherwise I'd totally just be playing Trunk. Alright, now I can go back to the Orkish Mines, right? There should still be guys out in the front, though, I think. What are these just like random little orcs doing here? Oh, they probably spawned in as I was moving around the level because I guess that's a thing now. Well, in this version of the game. Do you even have Zot Clock in this game? I don't think you got Zot Clock. I think you just got the random spawns and the hunger and that's it. Okay. Uh, well, it's pretty hard to play all the versions, lots of improvements. Yeah, there's so many things that have noticed been, uh, that have noticed to be kind of awkward in this version. Even actually, speaking of things that are awkward, I should look at my skills. Yeah, that's the thing that's really awkward. Skills have no targets on them, so they just kind of keep it going. I should get shields fighting and spellcasting now. Um... <laughs> So you just kind of have to kind of check them every now and then, make sure you're actually doing what you're meant to be doing. It's really awkward. Which I was not. I was getting way more conjuration than I was meant to be getting, although it does was helping the orbs of structure, but it's getting the shield skill would also work for that. Oh, this guy looks big. A sorcerer. I don't know what the spells these guys have. They have some demon paralysis, firebolt. Yeah, it's pretty ordinary stuff. And by ordinary, I mean the same stuff they have in Trunk. Alright, well... I could jack on the rope. I've currently got, I think my other uh, current one, unfortunately, has, um... What is it? Something bad when you take it off, it has... Oh, what is it? Contamination or something, and I kind of like my mutations. Also, I don't think I found any potions on remove mutation, because I think they're separate in this version, like beneficial ones and remove mutation. Uh, I leave the rune robe. I can't even like swap to it to find out what it is. Also, I'm really like short on identifiers. I haven't been finding a lot. I feel like I should just be reading more of myself. Also, some of those books can probably be dropped at some stage. Oh, that's not it. I wanna all for destruction that guy. Oh gotta gotta wait for it to move my second so before I move back onto that one. Raw flesh tastes great because I got the gold man on. I never found a magic regen amulet, did I? But that's not massively unusual at this point in the game to not find a magic regen amulet.
And this is like prior to the a lot of the spell rework, so there's uh, some very old spells in here. Like this character casts Force Lance and stuff, which... Oh, that's overkill. <laughs> that's super overkill. I know, I guess the enemies still have uh, False Lance and new versions of the game, but False Lance hasn't been a player spell forever. Oh yeah, the uh, Mystic Blast is the one I'm using to blast things in the distance sometimes, so that's completely different in newer versions. Am I still taking just as much, uh, oh, I'm still maxing out the high gear on the open destruction. There's not really much I can do about that, it's just mildly frustrating having to constantly eat all these bodies. Because I know like, it makes sense, uh, just like in the uh, trying and stuff as well, just to uh, cast some of the lower level spells, um, just so that you're not wasting magic points. But I often like to just uh, cast my high level spells most of the time, because it's just so much easier than trying to worry about using all the low level spells. But you really do have to worry about them in this version of the game. So that's just a basic hook there. Hey, Charlie Wick, let me give you a shout out there. Oh, the SDM plays as well. Alright, let's see if I can get a shout out going. What were you playing today? Was it, uh, Dungeon Crawl? Alright, there we go. I think the shoutout's working. If you don't know who Jelly Wick is, he also streams Dungeon Crawl as well as a number of different other games. You should definitely go give him a follow if you haven't already. Oh, nice meat. Yeah, I'm definitely turning all these orcs to splattered meat. Oh, you have way too much, uh, meat on stream. <laughs> uh. Kind of a mess of meat everywhere. Oh, come on, rest up the magic points. There we go. Uh, I've actually been getting less use out of like uh, false launching people and over distracting them than I was expecting, but I don't know, it's still fine. It's kind of because it does sometimes push people back, so it's kind of expected to do that, push someone back, and then um, follow it up with over distraction, but it just hasn't really been happening a lot. Oh, brings you back to when you last got into the game and never updated it for years and didn't know from before they uh, took away food. Yeah, that was uh, yeah, that was definitely um, definitely quite uh, quite a thing. The food, I definitely don't miss food. That's uh, for sure. What on earth is that? A scorched broadex of holy wrath. I want to try it on. See what it is. Um. I don't really need that ring of ice anymore. In fact, I don't even think I've got any ice spells. I certainly don't need the ice resist. Alright. This is probably like an end game broad axe, but let's take a look at it. So it does random rage points for just nine magic points. Oh, that's interesting. Um I mean nine magic points is five, but I'm getting like fifteen magic points or something ridiculous for my staff here. So unless I get more rings that I want to swap off the um Ring of Poison Resistance, that's kind of pointless, I think. Are you changing what you said that you had to end it by accident? Yeah, I noticed uh, the sentence was slightly messed up at the end there, but I kind of managed to make sense out of it. Oh, you've got to update the game for years and play the install required... that required chopping corpses? Yeah. No, that was actually removed, like, relatively recently, wasn't it? Or what, what, when was that actually removed? It was, like, 0 0.26 or something. Like, I don't know. It was definitely removed when I came back to the game and started streaming, but I don't think it was removed before that. Oh, let's see what this is. Immolation. Yeah, it's another regen amulet. Sure. I've really got to wonder whether it's starting to cost, uh, like, less food on the, 
Oh, for the scratch, it's like, it feels, oh, it's really not. Feels like I'm not having too much problems with food, but that's probably because everything in here is the oak and you can eat all the oaks. Oh. Whoa, I blow up an oak idol? I think at some stage when you blow up the old oak idols, they used to make like Bjork angry at you or something, and you get some like Bjork grass or something. But it's been ages since I think that was a thing. Well, actually, I'm not 100% sure. But I'm certainly not getting uh, Bjork wrath or anything, so it can't, can't be this version. Yeah, let's go <laughs> eat up this floor meat. Imagine eating like a stick of meat off the floor. That doesn't sound massively <laughs> advertising. Although I guess I got a gourmet tablet on it, so raw meat off the floor apparently is very appetizing for this character. Uh... I don't really care about that guy with distortion because it's so far away that it doesn't even matter. But it looks like my wanting for distortion worked at least. I get get to get warned about it. Which is like extra important in this version because there's no um, like purple backgrounds to let you know when there's distortion and stuff. So, yeah, it's extra important. I think I've got plenty of money by this point in the game, so I could probably go buy myself something from these shops. That was not so good with hitting. I'm gonna... I think I channeled some magic. Whoa. Is that the priest doing damage or the guy next to me? It could be either of these ones that are doing a large amount of damage. Also, I should probably just false lance this guy, honestly. Because I think it does more damage than trying to hit it with a mystic blast. It just has a way shorter range on it. Oh, this guy looks funky. It's a tie freeze. Something looks really weird about like the orb is holding his offhand. Is it the same old spell as summon demon pain, smiting minor healing abjuration? Yeah, it sounds pretty much the same as normal. But the sprite definitely looks different. That's the thing, actually, I think pretty much every single orc sprite has been updated, because all the orcs are like... Well, these orcs are really skinny and weedy and stuff. Um, that's not good. Throw swarms of destruction, good. One of them did hit the right guy. Alright, let's go eat some floor meat. Um, until I've engorged. Ooh, rigs. I'm pretty sure on a rig, so a jewelry shop's excellent. Got a ring of wizardry, ring of sea invisible, ring of harm, ring of potential for fire. Um, I do need a potential for fire at some stage. What else is there? Ring of potential from oh magic. I do need a willpower as well. So willpower's pretty good. What am I wearing right now? I'm wearing something. Flight and poison resist. Oh, do I have like a magic point ring here? Uh Gormand Ablet with three int on it. Hold up, that's useful. Man, I got uh, I don't have that much money, but that's probably pretty good. It does also gives the invisible. You know what? I might grab the Gormand Dabbler because it's just kind of useful. Um, it will take me a while to uh, swap over after these because it takes a while for the meat to become tasty again, I think. Or become effective in eating it. Okay, I do want to protect from fire. I don't need to see invisible anymore. Um, I think I want the protect from magic. Man, I gotta drop something, so I don't need the the fire of this robes anymore. Oh, I should probably charge up my healing wand, actually. Drop the amnesia. Yeah, let's go read while they're recharging. Give it a few charges. Alright, how many charges it got? Oh, it doesn't even tell me. I gotta read and identify it before I can... Oh, man. That's a shame. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try and identify that one. Anyway, let's get some of these on. So, 
I've got a protection of fire instead of flight right now. But when I go to the shoulder, I'm actually on the flight on. Um, well, the port point is resistant, like, massively useful in the shoals. Ah, it's a, it's a good old mimic. Oh, man. I guess that means they're getting one less shop than normal, I think. Alright, that's good. Got all the, uh, the important enemies there. The summoner was the one I really cared about getting rid of. Uh, I know what I should do. I should swap my weapon to this one here. Lose a few magic points, which is probably fine. And then I should put on the potential for magic instead of the points for this. Because I was going to swap that as soon as I got like another ring that was worth using. Oh, Jerky Meat is not very appetizing. Yeah, I'm not, uh, not fully attuned to the gourmand yet, so it won't be very appetizing. Not for a while. Ah, whatever. I'm just obstructing this guy. Or not. Oh, now it tastes good. I guess I've eaten enough meat chunks off the floor that it started to taste good instead of bad. Come on, chop up the orc cops. Now it tastes very good. I wonder if it's based on like how much you eat, or well, it must be based on how much you eat, not like time pass or something, because that was really quick. And I did manage to eat like a ton of chunks of meat there. Uh, rude? No, I don't think I care about the rude ring mail. I do have tons of, like, remove cursors, so that's not the problem, but it's just... I don't want to take off my current armor, because it does have the whole contaminate when taking off. All the destruction, sure. Whatever, it needs to kill that guy. I was obviously not doing any damage from my other spell. Alright, well, I'll leave the elven holes. Um, ooh, there's a lot of sorcerers in here. That's not great. How fast is this guy? It doesn't give it the exact speed, does it? But it should at least give an idea of the sparse. Hmm. I gotta blow it up with some ultimate destruction, I think. There we go, I blew up one of the sorcerers as well. Ah, okay. I think I'm fine now, all the sorcerers are blowing up. Um... I got to use stuff like dodgy channel energy thing. See how that goes. Take these guys out. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm saying it's also I might just retreat back and get my magic points back by retreating back. Yeah, because it gives you like, uh, I mean, it makes your spells free to cast, but you get minus cast every time you... Cast the spell, so it's a little dodgy. What am I even trading right now? I should double take that. Fighting, shield, spell casting. Those all seem correct. Uh, try to force last that guy back, but it's not doing a whole lot. I mean, it's kind of doing something. Oh, wow, I hate these ones that don't stack and you have to use identify scrolls on them individually. That's just... I mean, I guess you don't technically have to. You can use them unidentified. It just takes twice as many charges or something. Alright, um... What's this book got for me? It's got Diagnosis Invisibility, Least Rapid Deconstruct, Passenger Calabria. Oh, I might just leave it on the ground for now. In fact, I might drop some of my books that I've got right now as well. I'll drop the... Oh, uh... Passation Darkness Anime Dead. Yeah, I think that one's fine to drop. I think I dropped the burglary as well. I, I definitely missed the library. That was a nice uh, change. 
Bacon, so we got a booked stack. Uh, I can probably just melee this guy, right? There we go. It's actually with, like Sif Mata because you get so many books with Sif Mata. <laughs> you know, the entire collection. You could actually, if you wanted to, you could make like an actual library where you put all the books. How does that mean even end up on the other side of the wall? Like, it must have been spat out pretty hard if it managed to somehow get through a wall. Anyway, there's a jewelry shop here. I spent most of my money on this reflection. Oh, that's interesting. Reflection fire this resistant electric is something. I have a lot of magic regen is also something. I did kind of buy myself a um, nice go mad one. I kind of need to go mad to the moment. Oh, this is not scroll. Looks like it should, but I don't think it does. I have a face. Magic powers. That's definitely something I could go with. I won't go with it right now, but it's an option. Wizardry, if I need a better spell. Right, well, there's nothing that I need hugely. That reflection wouldn't be bad in the vault slow. So let's just go to... Shoalstone. I want to put on some flight, or am I fine without? I might be fine without, I hope. Uh... Shoal zero, I guess, just in case all my magic points don't come back by the time I get there. Oh, it's so the Benjamins ghost. That used to be tough, but like it's probably fine now. Yeah, nothing that a couple of orbs of destruction can't tie to a molten what now? A molten dragon. What does that even do? Sticky flame rage. Oh, it's basically a steam dragon, isn't it? I missed it. I'm gonna use the dodgy channel magic to hit it up for uh, destruction in it. It has bottled dragon armor. Uh, so, does it give any resist or anything? Let's see, it gives a resist napalm. Okay, yeah, that's kind of the same sort of thing. Except just kind of reworked the steam dragons. Wow, why are there so many whites all of a sudden? This guy didn't have a body I can eat. No, it doesn't. It has a skeleton, apparently. Um, I should probably put some of my non-stacking food in here. Alright, well, I can eat the troll, I guess. Um, What do I have? I've got... I used to using the mouse to like scroll down on this menu, but I guess the uh, keyboard works. Got the uh, I'll slice a pizza and some meat. So I'll stack them up on the ones that they stack up on. I don't know. This I don't really need to really be stacking these, but hey, it looks neater if I do. Man, I should probably move that troll as well because it's kind of messing with my stacks here. There we go. That's nice and neat. This is kind of in theory. This is my stash. Oh. I should look through spells, and if there's ones I don't want, okay, the Bolt of Fire's alright, Control Blink's alright, um... Gotta be one of these books they can drop, though, this one's got Orbit Destruction, Bolt of Fire, that's the Bolt of Fire one. This Monstrous Menagerie, Spectral Weapon is an actual spell you can cast? Gels Gravitas? Okay, we can probably drop that one, wait, what was it? It was, uh, W. Okay. Turn off my dodgy casting. Um, get more maybe, magic points back and just go into the shoals. Ooh. Certainly quite some greeting. Might want to blink just a uh, random blink. There we go. Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to go back in. Oh, gulf. That means I can't cast, although uh, I went away when I went up the staircase. Gulfed again. 
Okay. Um, I guess I'll fossilize this guy, but I'm not sure it's that effective. I need to think about, like, getting that orb of fire going or something. I need to get something from when I'm more in a closer range to enemies. Uh... Nah, I can't eat a Hydra. Alright, that's fine. Anyway, so let me look at my spells again. So there was, uh... Yeah, the Bolt of Fire or the Conjurable Lightning. What else is there? Control Big Disjunction. Okay, those are fine. Actually, have I even found a blinking scroll? Not that I've got identified. Did I actually identify one of those? Um, I might have. Yeah, I did. I think I read one and that unfortunately got rid of it and I haven't found one since. Alright, well, I might drop the poison resist. Um, while well, I'm using the stuff for power anyway. Uh, fighting is almost where I need it to be. Okay, after the next fight, I should check my fighting. After the next kill. Because you can't, I can't set targets on it, so like, that's kind of annoying. Also, I can't shoot through these plants, which is also kind of annoying. Um. Oh, there we go, got the fighting to nine, so I'll stop that there. I want to get, I want to get some fire magic, I think. I can't turn it on until I get the spell. That's such an awkward thing, okay? But I can't get the spell because I need to forget a spell. Um, that's fine. I got the... I don't even know where they are, but I got the amnesia somewhere. I should probably... Yeah, I should probably go use the one I've got. Uh, that's not how you spell amnesia. Alright, setting on the Yorkish Mines here. That seems fine. Why are you heading over? I am heading over. Uh... <laughs> Come on, officer, let's try to got that guy. There we go. I should have actually wait back my magic points, I think. But I think these dogs are going to constantly keep on spawning in. Alright, there they are. So I can read the Amnesia um, scroll on... Well, I don't need the magic dart anymore. That's pretty useless. Um, I don't need the Searing Ray anymore. That's pretty useless. Forget which spell? Searing Ray. B. Um, don't use my phone to print so much, but I might keep a hold of it. Hold on. Not really use my battle sphere. I mean, it would have been fine, but I might just get rid of it now. Okay, that's fine. It gives me plenty of spell levels. So I can get the Bolt of Fire... Which should, in theory, allow me to get the fire magic now. Alright, let's go back to, um, shoals. That should get me some XP going through the shoals. In theory. Oh, I do want the blink. Let's just grab that one. Um, magic map is fine. I might grab that. Oh, I might, I actually do need the identify... That's another magic map. These aren't even sorted properly, are they? There's a, I don't need to remove curse right now, though. I got, like, way too many of those, I think. Anyway, can I identify... Can I identify that one of healing? It's got four out of nine charges. Because it makes it use less charges, and it's my only source of, like, healing at the moment. So, yeah, it's definitely worth having that one identified. Yeah, well, I can identify... Uh, I've got four of these... Brilliance, those could be good. Although I haven't been having too many problems with magic points. I don't think I got my channel magic quite reliable yet, though, unfortunately. Um. Oh. Whoa, what is that? Harpy zombie? That looks fancy. I'm not... Okay, I'm running out of magic points, but I'll just kill that guy. Channel to magic points. I push this guy back. Um, I'm not convinced this is working super well. Uh, try and push this guy back again. 
Uh huh. Challenge the ball magic. Or distraction this guy. Oh, there's more Hippogriff zombies this time round. Alright. Uh. Make my way back to the staircase here in case I need to get some health back that way. Oh, I keep on hitting all the wrong things here, like all the plants and stuff. And none of these guys are leaving corpses either for me to go eat, but that's fine. I got like, I got the endless rations on me, so if I have to eat a ration, it's probably not a big deal. Also, I guess that guy has a corpse, so I can go eat. Oh, the scrubs like spread over half the level though. Okay. How's that boulder fire going? It's on the 28% failure. I might just stop the spellcasting now it's reached 10 and just focus purely into the fire magic. I reckon that's probably what I need to uh, get the bolt of fire going, and that should be good at close range in here. So, the Ominous Rise is pretty decent because it's like an open level, but things do close in on me. Um, what are the bolt of fire got like replaced with eventually? Because it's probably got some sort of like a uh, modern day equivalent. Uh, what have we got on the ground? So, we've got. Sigur Tomb is a brace. Wait, that's a piece of armor now. What does it even do? Violently mutilates all nearby corpses, wrapping them around the castle to serve as both armor and shield. The carrion will fall away over time. Faster and faster as more is piled on. The increased power will tighten its grasp on the caster's body. Has no effect on caster's statue form, but with all the cubes active. Okay, yeah, it's basically the same as the armor, actually. <laughs> um... Throw frost, throw ice cool. Throw ice cool's fossil, but it's probably not needed. Some nice beast, okay. Troll undead. Um Nah, I don't reckon I'm gonna get any of the spells from that book. They don't fit with my blasty conjuration theme that I've got going. Well, got skilled into. Uh, I think in theory there's the traps of Dawn skill. I haven't been getting any of it, but I think in theory it exists. Let me go look at these skills. Is there traps of Dawn's? Where would it even be on this list of skills? Or is that an even older version? Um, actually it might not exist. These are all spellcasting, all weapon stuff. Rage weapon stuff. Armor dodging shields. No, maybe there might, uh, traps of Dawn's must be an older version of the game. Because that's not something that I want to do, like, I don't know, at some stage, play an even older version of the game and get myself the Dungeon Master title, but I think that can wait a long time. I think I've had enough playing uh, old versions of the game for a little while. Okay, 70% on the fire. Isn't too bad. Uh, I'm actually going to try and fireball this guy. What's it like? It's got, uh, it's hunger's decently high as well. Um, yeah, it's a little bit low in power, but I'm gonna give it a try. Alright. No food, did it? No, it didn't, um... The blood doesn't seem to be placing quite as well in here. I'm wondering what's going on there. Oh, that guy can do food, at least. I wonder what the range is on this firebolt. Actually, that's quite a quite a good range on that one. Oh, they're starving. Hold up. Uh, I'm gonna need a ration. Unfortunately, I'm stuck in this nasty little web. I'll do eat the ration. Yep. Now nah, I'm telling magic. I try to get out of here, but like it's just not working.
Yeah, give the Norman Strokes at the other one. Oh, best of course. But it's crazy how a character with a lot of go bad can be having problems with food, because the majors of this game are absolutely wild, I guess, with how much food they go through. Oh, it looks like that guy's gonna feed me up. Uh, I'll done exploring the first level. Right, I guess I'll go down to the second level here. Do I have any bigger shields? I'm not sure if I want to put one on just now, but it's worth checking out. Oh, I guess the Ambulance of Reflection showing up because it gives four shield value. Oh, yeah. Uh... I wonder if there's still, like, uh, all the normal javelin in the end and stuff. I guess there is. It looks like the shawls, any sort of reworks, the shawls have, uh, been counted in, in here. Whoa. Oh, I'll do a proper channel magic. I was thinking of doing, like, the divine channel magic one, the, like, the path channel magic one, but it's not worth it. Actually, how do I go with, like, high-level spells? I don't really have a lot of high-level spells, so I do still need to get given some spells. Okay. Oh, more guys. I can do, like, like the half-channel magic thing on this one, because it's just, uh, the only downside is it gives me, like, a little bit of minus cast afterwards. So when it's just that uh, one guy, it's completely fine. Oh, gorge? Okay. I wonder whether this bolt of fire hits multiple things or not, because I know the old bolt of draining used to have multiple things, but it might have just been the bolt of draining that did that. Because nowadays there's like a reasonable number of spells that go hit everything in a line. Um, I don't think they used to be though, I think that used to be reasonably rare. But I don't really have a good spot to test that. I just want to get my magic back, actually, before I run on too much ahead. How many of these guys have nets? Uh, do they? They do say, right? I mean, I guess they'll never net anymore because it already threw its net. Uh, these are all real, so I just got to keep on throwing out tons of orbs of destruction. And a real kind of magic, I think. Okay, let's see if the Bolt of Fire can hit a couple of guys. Oh, it might be able to. Ooh, it looks like it can hit a row of guys. That's actually pretty impressive, because its damage doesn't seem too bad at all. Yeah, I guess it gets a little bit of extra damage in here because of all the steam it's producing, but it still seems pretty good. And it's got a, like, a really nice range on it as well, so it's... Pretty nice. Oh, I think I lost that guy's body because I killed it above water. Oh, he's got another net. Ah, yeah, there's nets all around. Ah, uh, Impaler, right. Good old demon trines. I don't think I've seen any tropes other than asking for demon trines or... Anything like that in this game. I think the... I made it to a volcano, right? But have I actually made it to any other temporary locations? I'm not entirely sure I have. Alright, do I want to... Oh, I don't know about this amulet. Um, I probably don't care too much about this amulet. I could probably drop it. I mean, it might be magic regen, but I think I'm just going with the gore man for now. But magic regen is probably not the most important now that I think about it. Because I got Sith Mata for telling magic. Oh. Uh, there's a javelin here. Can I just get some fog out? Like, actually, um, I don't know if I can. I'm gonna try to go invisible, but I'm not sure it's gonna help that much. I 
Hey, there we go. It's moved within the firebolt range. That's going to make a big difference. Although, I might have to challenge the magic, actually. Yeah, because I'm, I'm out. Oh, five magic points? That's not right. I'm going to try and get out of that. No, it didn't get me out. Oh, this is sketchy. That guy's still healthy? Oh, come on. I had a pop of fear on it, I think. Man, that net lasted so long. It's still invisible with the sky. No, it's about me. Oh, come on, another. That's sketchy. There's another net thrown my way, but at least I managed to dodge that one. Hey, maybe now I can get back to the staircase. Nope, there's still another one of these buff folk. Throwing his good old tomahawks at me. Yeah, these guys still do water strike. Do they still teleport? They probably do. Throw the water, let's see. So it's got water strike. I don't know if it lists this thing. Uh, I'll probably listen to here. Yeah, she can float like pods and stuff. Okay. If I hit it with a bit of fire, there we go. Whew. Oh. Did the, I think the, like, chunk of flash just disappeared as I sort of, that was kind of funny. I'm pretty sure there was one there, unless I got the wrong spot. Alright, another good old water elemental for me to burn up. I should check on that fiery thing. 10% failing. Yeah, it looks like the fire magic's doing fairly well. So, oh yeah, I've got like 8 fire magic. I'll keep the fire magic going. Hopefully this character gets firestorm, because that would be really nice. Um, but, I don't know, it would take a long time to be able to cast that one. But firestorm's pretty got undergone like pretty much no changes. Um, so, at least I should recognize the spell. I got a wand of confusion. I don't even know if I want a wand of confusion or not. Let me go through myself. I think I can drop the staff of power because I'm getting poison resist for my current thing. The royal jelly is actually like an item you could eat. Um, let's head down. Do I want this ring? Probably. Uh, do I think I need that wand of flame because I'm kind of making my own flame here? I'm going to try this on for a second see what we've got. So I got five days. I'll try to take that one off. Resist Corrosion. Alright, well, here are well the Fire Protection, but um, it's nice to have a Resist Corrosion back up, I guess. Oh, those plots are finally not giving me any problems because I can finally shoot straight through them. It feels so good. After all the plots that have given me problems. Okay, uh, Shift Mod is home of harmful flames. That could be absolutely good fire stuff. It has poison arrow. Wait, few. No, it is flames. Bolt of cold. Lightning bolt. Sticky flame dazzling scratch and spray. I'm not really into the other bolts here. I've already got the bolt of fire going, so, like, I don't think I actually need that. That's a shame. Could it be good, but not quite. I want to pick out the fruit. Um, I don't think I'm quite the right character for a confusion, but maybe it'll be all right. Uh, uh, no, I'm going to leave the, the harmful flames behind, unfortunately. Alright. 
What am I getting right now with the way it skills? Just the fire magic. I guess that makes sense. Oh, the Sanos actually have, like, the big slings or whatever that. What even is that thing? Frost of Ballus or something? An uncursed Frost of Ballus. And it's got uh, some sling bullets. Yeah. Because that was, like, the high tier sling before all the ranged weapons got, uh, melted, uh, like, merged together. And then, of course, you didn't need quite as many ranged things. Because, uh, a lot of them were just kind of duplicates of each other except used different skills. Oh, don't bob me, that's not right. That's not working, I'm gonna challenge the magic again. There's just too many guys. Wolves? Someone, oh no, the walls are kind of in the way. Also, I did, uh, did my own orb destruction. Man, this guy's doing quite a bit of rage damage to me. What can I do? Can I try to just stop this on this guy? No, that didn't work. Close for a moment of faith, obviously I don't have enough skill, that was a terrible idea. Um, I gotta try fear, because I know these guys aren't that great on their willpower. Unfortunately, I'm still barbed in place. Do I have a... I don't think I've got anything really. Um... Okay, I can get up the staircase now and get my health back at least. Uh, doing something to the both of those guys. There we go. Who? Oh, I should eat some of these corpses actually. Uh, and the other one didn't look like it dropped a corpse. So it dropped its javelins. Yeah, the javelins definitely still uh, lethal. I mean, it's good to see that the same old creatures are probably the javelin ears. Oh, dream cheap. Those look totally different. All right. Do they even do the same thing is the real question? I mean, presumably they do. Put you to sleep. And are they edible? I think they probably are. Looks like there's plenty of chunks of flesh around here. So at least something would have been edible. Um, Ring of Ice is not what I need. I've got the cold resist, at least, from my armor. That's one of the few resists this character does have. But I just you should try and get, like, more shields or more dodging or something. Try and get some of these defenses up just a little bit. I think. Oh. I hit the wall again. I can so aim an orb of destruction at each of these guys. Uh, oh, uh, actually, what I can do is I can do the Sith Martyr's Divine Energy and just throw another Rob Destruction out, I think. Has that hit a wall or something? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. I still got the Divine Energy up. I can go get that guy with it. I am actually hungry right now. I need to I need to find something to eat, but I'm gonna try and get my oh yeah, starve to just eat the fruit. I just trying to get like a little bit of magic back before I wander into the area. Um uh, nope, okay. It looks like all the food is gone anyway, that's a shame. Oh, I'm gonna have to eat something else. I might need to just eat the raw jelly, I guess. Shame, but I got plenty of food, I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay. I'm getting hungry already again. Um, I really want some fog. Like that would be really nice right now, but I don't think I have any. So what can I actually do instead? I tried the invisibility again, but I don't know about this. Okay, very hungry. Um, I found my channel magic. That's a shame. We're gonna actually have to eat it during combat. I hope that's not a problem with this guy. Ah, uh, it did blow up at least. Yeah, that could have been a problem. No, that would do so much food there. It was actually a problem. Um, in terms of, like, actually getting the tons to eat the stuff. Oh.
Mm. Still a little bit of the dodgy casting. All right. Do in fact get a call to me, which is good because I'm getting hungry again. I was worried I might not get these guys cops or something else. There's never cops. No cops. No cops. Oh, I'm still going. I'm still doing my dodgy casting. I might just turn that off for a little while. Although if it uh, didn't go away soon, I'd have to do it again. Oh, there's a bot here trying to sell some viewers or something. How do I ban this one? Uh, Get banned bot. Alright, bot is successfully banned. Mm, I didn't have this guy. Alright, where are the rest of these chunks of flesh? I can see one of them sitting up there. Man, the identifying game's got so much easier in this. Like, look how much stuff I've got identified. I really feel like I should just read one of these things, see what it is. I still got, like, tons of poachers as well. I don't know. I think I should read some of those scrolls. I think it's uh, the right thing to do at this point because it's really not getting the identifiers. Oh, there's a. Uh, one of these. Yeah, at least I can eat those. Yeah, let's do it. Let's uh, let's go read one of these, see what I get. Uh, scroll noise, okay. Well, I can probably drop that one at least. Go read something else. So, God, I got one of these. Torment? I could probably go drop the Torment. Alright, what else do we have? Um, Oh, Chard I could probably use that. Yeah, so I could do that on my boots. In fact, I should just read all these Chard Darmer as much as I can. Because I don't, not really fighting much of the way, like, gloves and, cloaks and gloves and stuff. Um, alright. Let's see what this one is. It's, uh, oh, there's my fog. Finally found it. I got one more one, but I don't think I'll read that one. I'll just hold on to it. Actually, what do I have unidentified? I got, I just want to show scrolls here. I have to scroll down, right. Got brown with an acquirement sound something. Something is not something I really want to waste, but the rest of those I'll probably find a waste. Burn this motherfucker. Gotta be getting decently, uh, decent with that one. Yeah, so it's brought it to... That's power still got a way to go, but it's gone down to 4% failure, so the cast chance is perfectly fine now. At least, because that wasn't always the case. Alright, well, let's go downstairs, I guess. Is there something else I want to do? Like, um... Now, let's get the fire going to probably get to around 19 as well, I reckon. Oh... Polyphemus? Yes. With the whole cat of leafers and stuff. I might just find another staircase. So those are the dead yaks, I guess. They're not quite the same sprite as I'm used to, but I actually just surprised I haven't seen more death yaks. I think those are the first ones I've seen. Can't believe it's there. Gonna have to go up pretty soon. That'll do. Bring up the one death yak. Should I just be able to move back because it doesn't get attacked with opportunity. So like, uh, it's nothing stopping me just running back just a little bit here. Although it's probably faster to be in the water, maybe. I'm burning up now. Oh, it's an animal. What else? I mean, I guess it's a death yak. I don't know what sort of chemicals they put in death yaks, but apparently I can't eat one. Also, I'm low on magic points. I'm just going to use my... this thing. Very hungry. Maybe I can eat this guy. But I'm some sort of going to have to like, get my magic points and everything back, so... Also, I should take off my little divine thingy I've got going there. Ooh. That's not good, I got the calcifying dust on top of me. I'm gonna have to step oh I'm gonna have to step a bit more. Oh step a bit more. At least most of these guys are petrifying. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. 
There we go. Now I can get back from this guy a little bit with a random blanket. It didn't get me very far, but... Hey, it's not me, I guess. Let's try that again. I don't know if it's worth trying to get controlled flick, because that is a spell in this uh, version of the game. Could be worth getting. Alright, let's try the staircase. And... Uh, at least I can eat the harpy. I think that, well, Death Yank would be edible anyway, even if it dropped the corpse. Oh, what's that hurt? Did it blow up a rock wall or did it blow up something else? Uh, I guess it blew up a rock wall. Just uh, I noticed it blew up something. Right, well, I can see plenty of meat splattered around these staircases from all the previous fights I had in here. And that might even be an artifact ring, which would be kind of nice. Let's go check it out. Oh, I have to, I have to put it on to find out what it does, don't I? Alright, let's put it on. It's a uh, minus tally ice fly. Nah, it's pretty useless. It's got a little bit of strength, but like. Midas Tally, come on. Not that I'd be doing a huge amount of teleports, but that's definitely not worth having. Let's just drop it on the ground. Let's see what the shop is. So it's a gadget shop. It's got some enslavement, wand of flame, wand of acid. Wait, gale? why did multiple gales of bounds, multiple discs of storms? Hold up. These aren't even one use, are they? The wand of, ooh, a wand of digging. That could be alright. It's crystal ball energy I'm not going for. Wait, there's a wand of lining? Okay. I don't know about that gadget shop, it's certainly got, uh, stuff in it. And a gale of fans, hmm, uh-huh. A fan of gales, I mean. What does that actually do? Let me check. Oh, I accidentally activated it. I was trying to look at what it did. Um, yeah, it's got a recharge, okay. An enchanted fan, swinging the fan, unleashes a powerful blast of wind around the bear, which I guess pushes everyone back. Take my eggs on the use of it, but hey, I'm sure it'll recharge. Uh, that's javelin there. I know this got to go a little bit faster than the water, but I think I can get back to the staircase here. I just take a step route way down. Is that enough magic points? Not quite. I can bolt a fire it though. There we go. Okay. Bring this guy back to the staircase, but that's a reasonably tough looking ambush. Where do I go up the stairs? Um, I gotta try once more to kill this guy, but it's not gonna quite do the trick, is it? Oh, I can do it again because they didn't wound me in that turn. There we go. They're starving. I'm gonna have to eat a real ration, aren't they? I got a, I mean, I got a beef jerk I can eat, I guess. All right, <laughs> go eat all the floor meat, of course. Uh, oh, it's model of these guys. I think it'd go up and just let that old destruction do its thing. I don't know if that uh, probably didn't even have the javelin here. Probably got someone else, unfortunately. Oh, not so much for that. Uh, javelin? Ooh. Right, I should still be able to eat the snapping turtle. I think there was some more meat all the way up here for me to eat as well. Which deck is when they go down? I actually have no idea now. Let me just go peek these ones. Um, Kind of tempted for that middle staircase, actually. I think that might be a good idea. Well, it's not that one. 
That was that's the one. There we go. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to cast Blink. That was a mistake. At least that was a kind of miscast. Wait, three javelin ears are going up, but that's a lot of javelin ears. Oh man, which staircase now? I mean, there's so many javelin ears here. Probably this one up the top. Just try and keep the javelin ears on one side of me or something. Oh no, there's multiple of them coming along. This is rather a lot. No, it's too many. Oh, okay. I'll try the bottom staircase, but... Mm. Uh, I don't think there's quite that many javelin ears anymore. They've moved, at least. Ooh, they're both together, but what can I even get them with? I mean, I feel like they just do too much damage. Uh... Can I get back up the staircase? Okay, I think I killed one of the javelin the ends with my own destruction. I oh, don't know, it's both, both of them again. Okay, well, I'll try the top staircase again, see if that works. Is that the top staircase? But there's still quite a lot of creatures around this one. I kind of oh, it didn't even notice me, so it didn't follow me up the staircase. That's a problem. Now I was hoping I could pull something up at least, because then uh, that way I would have been able to get rid of something at least. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's some way I can just siphon one of these next to me or something. Is there? Uh-huh. Two more creatures down. I think that's hopefully just down to the one javelin there now. Um I'm not sure if I can target I don't think I can target through both these guys, can I? Yeah, unless I stand here, then I can zap both of them at the same time. I can eat this dude as well. Four chunks of flesh. That should keep me going for a little bit. I'll just take down what's in here. Wait, what's up with these? Are they returning or what are they? Javelins of penetration. Right, because javelins don't automatically do penetration in this version. Oh, I think I already charged my boots up, unfortunately. Um, Let's give these a try, though. Boots of running. Hold on, those are good, aren't they? They make you run faster? Let me see. What does it say they do? It allows us wear to run at a great speed. Wait, do I have to focus on those? There's a berserk rage on there. Yeah, it just makes me slightly faster than moving. Those are really nice, actually. And they're already like plus two, right? So I didn't actually lose anything to get that. Oh, hey, the giant. Or Cyclops, I guess that one is. Uh... No, I can't do another orb destruction in a row because otherwise it will hit my initial orb destruction that's going along there. Alright, that's my first rune. Probably my first rune, like, ever on 0 0.29 as well, honestly. Oh, come on, Orbs Destruction. I think it dissipated. Alright, there we go. Got rid of the guy. How do I get poisoned anyway? Those, like, javelins of venom or something, though? They are poisoned javelins. Well, I guess that's why it poisoned me. Oh, ow, it's polyphemus. Um, he could probably step through a wood just fine. I'm actually... I thought working to get away from me is too close for me. Hey, there we go. Blow him up works, though. Uh, oh, they were nice and lined up, but not anymore. If I take them back here, though, they should line up perfectly for the boulder fire to hit both of them. 
Well, he's having a chance of hitting both of them, even if it doesn't. Uh... Oh, whoops. Okay, I got Tails Magic. I thought I could just go eat that, uh... Eat that meat that was on the ground without any problems, but I was obviously wrong about that. Also, this guy at the front is actually kind of helping me, protecting me from the javelin there. Um, I don't think I just take that teleport trap. Oh, I've been barbed. Maybe I do. No, uh, yeah, I think I do. Alright, that's good. That brings me somewhere that I'm more... Confident surviving from. Ah. Here's my little divide thingy. Oh, that's probably not a good idea. I'll probably have to use a proper channel magic one. Um. Oh, I've missed. Did it? Um, this is actually kind of bad. Oh, I'm getting kind of surrounded again. I think I might do another teleport, but this time I might just nap myself with one. Yeah, I can kind of get those a little bit lined up so that they can't all hit me at once. Nest starving? Oh. That's your problem. I think I can zap this guy. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. I think I can just go upstairs. Unfortunately, the, the problem there was actually the hunger, because I didn't want to cast too much, otherwise I'd make myself starve or something. Oh, more guys. Final challenge of magic, I guess. Um, there's kind of a lot of guys here. Whoa, no, that's not good. That's not good at all. How much willpower does this guy have? Oh, it has a bird. No, it doesn't actually have that much. Much right by fear. Didn't affect this guy. Right, well, I think I might do a bit of a heal wounds in that case. Um, oh, miscast, did I? Yeah, so it might have protected me from the effects of miscasting. I don't like being in this net. There's not much I can do about that. It takes quite a few times for him to manage to escape. Alright, hey, these guys got some corpses I can eat, because I think I need all the food I can get here. I hate how much I'm getting ambushed every time I go up these staircases, though. That seems to be uh, very much a thing in this game, well, this version of this game. Uh, okay. Go up, but I'd like to eat that food. I'm not sure if we'll be there by the time we get back down, though. Oh, really? I've got to get some channels of magic. Um... They're not going to line up with each other, so I'm just going to just throw some mobs of destruction out. Oh, the orbs of destruction dissipated. That's not so good. Very hungry, sure. There we go. Got rid of the guy. Um. I don't mind eating someone here. Do you any meat on the ground? Is this a hunting sling? Oh, there we go. There's a buffo corpse that I can eat. Yeah, I reckon all the meat down here is probably gone by now. It's been quite some time since I was previously down here. Uh, I mean, it's still this guy, but this guy is just freshly killed. Oh, more guys? Okay.
Yeah, it means definitely gone. I just uh, saw an error that used to have it and it's uh, completely gone. Snapping turtle, oh. So I get my grub to get my health back, but unfortunately it's not easy for me to split those guys. Ooh, is that a poison javelin or something? I'm probably just going to have to eat it. I think you're going to need a meat ration here. Alright, there we go. Now I can split these guys up and just hit this guy with a... Uh, I might just blink back just a little bit. It didn't help. Oh, one more magic point that I can take that guy out. There we go. How that guy not, uh, not have any meat on it? I got him with all the destruction, which I guess if I would have had a, a corpse, it would have sprayed the meat all over the level. Oh, with an animal? Oh, come on. Maybe this guy will be edible. Oh, I'm starving. Let me just go upstairs. Hold on, I should be I should be starving myself. Let me just eat that ration. I wonder what the spider nest is like in this version of the game, like whether it's probably the same one that I'm used to, but there's no guarantee on that, because I think that's my other branch is the spider's nest, which is probably where I'll be heading next. It's kind of funny, this character went from starving to engorged. I mean, it really depends a bit on the luck of the draw here, with how many corpses these guys have. Oh, that guy lose track of me? I think it did. It's kind of funny, because it was like a little bit of steam between me and him for a while, and it lost track of me during that time. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuff. Um, what do I do here? I want to get back to that staircase, or do I? I think I do. Because these guys are going to be forced onto the land, which means they're uh, actually slower than me on the land, but it's slightly. Not very much, but like just a tiny bit. Alright, now I can just sit back, throw the orbs of the structure, throw the flame, whichever gets the most creatures. Oh, that's a good spot for a flame again. Oh man, more well, guys. Um, it's probably fine if I do the. No, I don't even need it. Oh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, I'm gonna end the the like the divided energy into natural channel magic here. Cause I do. I've been held in a net here, so it's gonna get kind of bad if I can't kill these guys quickly. Uh. Alright, something's gonna have a corpse here, so nope, that's a venomous spear. Galave, no, there's there's nothing for me to eat there, okay. Oh, blood stay plate? I I really can't wear the plate, can I? Um Because I I well I'm a mage, so yeah, I've been way too heavy, that's a shame. It's it's kind of it, Exciting when you see an artifact and you realize it's all like it's all something I can actually use on this character. It's a little bit of a shame. And I've already this character used strides, they got like an endless stash of those. I wonder what that stuff's any good. What sort of stuff would I actually want? I mean, it's a also null stuff. I'm gonna actually try it on to see what it is. It's a stuff of wizardry. Oh, that's actually a thing it's stuff can have. I mean at the moment I just want the magic poison poison resist, but 
If I ever get any good spells, hey, maybe it's a, uh, maybe we'll be able to stop to use. I was, uh, apparently it's a book I've already read. Book of Conjuration. Yeah, that's my starter one. Don't need to worry about that one or anything. I can't eat a sea snake. Oh, Ilshwe. Um, I'll throw a couple of wolves and smudge it at her. Actually, I should check what she does. She still does her water elementals. What else did you do? Blink, abjuration, some water elementals, throw ice school. That's a normal stuff. Cool tide. Yeah, that's pretty noble. I might try to channel some magic, though. I think I'm going to need it against her. Ooh, I'm getting hungry already. Oh, she's dead. I don't know if I can eat her. No, I can't. I might just have to uh, mid-combat chunk down some bread here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> mid-combat snack, of course. Yeah, this is my little divine thingy bit bob to get this guy. Uh... Yeah, mean rations good because I'm actually going down to my number of rations, but it should be fine because I've got like a stash of them elsewhere. Oh, okay. wait, what do you mean I can't carry the manual of long blades? <laughs> I need to carry that one around? I think I just ignore him then. That, that's actually kind of crazy. Those used to be things that were in your inventory as well. Did everything used to be something that was in your inventory? I mean, it kind of, I guess, makes sense that you carry around the manual. But I can see why it was changed. Alright, um... This book's got a uh, firestorm. Hey, that looks nice. So I can drop. Probably drop one of these wands of flame or something. I should pick up the book with firestorm in it. Um. Uh, try to protection. I wonder what the. Oh, what's that? I don't want to evoke the cops. I want to chop the cops. I wonder what protection did at this point of the game. It was probably the, still at the point where... No, probably at the point we had to tag to get it, presumably. Anyway, so that does... That does that. That does... Um... Shoals. I'm missing a resist electric, okay. Um, sure. I think I did have, like, a... Um, ammo I could buy for it or something. Anyway, let's go to the spider's nest. Uh, I used a few of my invisibility, unfortunately. So hopefully this is fine. I still got two left. Alright. These look like the creatures I'm used to seeing in here, things like tarantels and stuff. Orb spiders, yeah, all the usual stuff. Got a round of magic points out, I but oh well. Uh how fast is one of those emperor scorpions? I might just be able to run back. I mean it doesn't seem massively fast or anything. Ah, that didn't work. I gotta do the proper channel magic, I guess. Oh, I've still got the minus cast. I said, uh, it might be slightly past me. I feel like it might be. Oh, come on, net starving. Man, I guess I just eat this meat ration. It's gonna get a bit closer to me. There it goes, but what else was I gonna do there? I try my cheap uh, channeling thing. Hey, maybe I can eat a crocodile because I don't think I can eat an emperor scorpion right now. It's a uh, it's, uh, kind of toxic corpse on the bed. I think a lot of the stuff in the spider nest is going to have toxic corpses. Uh, 
Uh, may or may not be a problem. This guy resists the fire. The demonic roll, let's see. Where does this resist? It is immune to negative energy. Resistant to electricity, positive fire and cold. Yeah, it's uh, resistant. That's a problem. What else can I even use on it? I mean, I guess I just burn it anyway, but it's uh, not ideal. Oh, yeah, the jumping spider. These guys aren't edible. Ah, she's got to live on rations in here. That's a bit of a shame. Got to go through quite a few rations. I mean, maybe... Something's edible. Sure, I hope something's edible. Oh, the orb spider might be. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah, okay. I got three chunks of flesh off that one. But I can't live on just orb spiders, surely not. Um... <laughs> Okay. What is this something I can do to reduce the spell cost uh, in terms of food? I think it's mainly like spellcasting and intelligence, right? It might not be that heavy on the uh, the whole spellcasting side of things. I might solve the oh, I should have decent on the spellcasting side of things. I might solve the fire and just get a few other things like spellcasting, fighting shields, just for a little while. Because I think I'm good enough with the fire. The bottom of fire looks pretty castable. But I know it still helps the power, but I think it's worth trying to round out this character just a little bit. Uh, huh? I don't even know what I was wanting me about. Maybe I should have read it a bit more carefully. It's not what I'm wanting. I'm used to getting there. Oh, I'm hungry again. Um... Hey, Francis. I think Francis got some kind of nasty stuff. Very hungry. Um, hold on, I might just uh, teleport out of here and then do this, the fight later, I think. Oh, maybe I can actually... God, they're starving. <laughs> yeah, okay, I bet I need something, though, but I guess I guess rid of Francis. Ben, I should go recharge that one, I think. I've got some recharging here. I should probably, yeah, just use on my teleport. Although, actually, to be fair... I do have uh, five teleport scrolls now, so maybe I don't need to be recharging that one quite as much. But I probably should do some of the scrolls. I think the scrolls are less useful than ones, because uh, you might be able to do the ones well in silence, I think, right? That's pretty much the only difference between them, I believe. Any, like, bodies I can eat here? Mm, look like it. Well, it's gonna cost me so much food to get through here. Oh well. That reminds me, like, oh, pretty much every character in games and world versions that I actually had food that I played were like melee characters. So I don't actually know how tight the food is for a uh, mage. I mean, it was going just fine before. But now it's kind of questionable. Uh, I feel I eat this guy. Yeah, that looks like something I can eat. Got only one chunk of flesh, though, so barely made those for the food I took to actually kill the guy. I'm hungry already. Very hungry, come on, I can't even eat this guy. I need to be like a kobold or something, because I think they could eat uh, random corpses that you wouldn't otherwise be able to eat. Uh, do I just eat a... I guess I just eat a bread ration, but I've gone through quite a few of them in here. I guess this will be my only branch where I'm not really getting food right, but I don't know. It's already the first level, and I've already gone through quite a few of the rations. I do have a stash of like more food, though, so... I might be able to go back to my stash and top back up if I need to. Uh, I 
going to channel a little bit of magic. I do have the fire stuff that I want to get if going eventually. Hopefully that's not a food nightmare as well, but it totally could be. All right. Oh, these birds are both going to sit next to me. Um... No, nah, channel magic. I was thinking of doing like the other one, the like little one, but I think it's worthwhile. Yeah, I mean that's another ration god. Wow. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna not do this for a little while. I think what I'm gonna do. Oh, I can't afford the resist electric. I have like fifty gold short to be able to afford that. Ah, oh, come on. I mean. Uh... 50, okay, I might just go to the vaults for a little while. Hopefully I can get the 50 gold or something in the vaults. Uh... Okay, let me in. Good, because I think you had to insert a rune to get in. Well... At least in this version. Like, the, the current version requires room to get out. <laughs> That's a similar sort of thing, I guess. You probably want to have a rune before you go into the current one. Oh, did you, these guys got bodies? That guy does. I don't even know, like, how many levels there are to the balls. Presumably, I think they pretty much always had five, right? Oh, wow, ogres are such a good feed. I mean, they are large creatures, though. Let's definitely fill me straight back up. Why is this level annotated with vault swatting? I should already be on the last level. That's weird. Yeah, obviously my RC is not, file's not quite working like it's meant to. <laughs> on this old version of the game. Whoa, okay, that sealed me in there with the Yakdor captain. Um, I just want to burn that guy up. What do you mean there's something blocking the doorways? Is it that bolt that's blocking the doorway? Get down me a single little bolt in the doorway and stop me closing it. Oh, I should have eaten that meat before it disappeared. Okay, then. Not sure I quite follow that logic, but sure. Whoa, I'm getting out of that. Death Knight is like a random human guy, right? So I can actually eat his corpse. So I didn't they even have one. Okay. Let the ugly things get a little bit closer so they lined up, but I'm almost certainly just going to have to like, go up, but I can get rid of most of them at least before I go up. Okay. Oh, I'll bring this ugly thing up. That's probably a good idea. But I don't think I'll be able to eat the ugly thing, unfortunately. See meat on the ground. I'm just not sure I want to move forward. Look at that. 60 bolts. I mean, if I was a character that used bolts, I would be um, set for life in here. A channel some magic. I've been worried about how much damage these guys are doing to me. What are the skills of my training? I mean, it's already pretty much the right ones. I might turn off some spellcasting soon, though. Um, a bit worried about that health, though. Whoa, that's me kind of badly wounded. Let me just do a wand of healing on myself. Okay. Oh, no, my own destruction dissipated. Um, do I have a healing potion? No, I just got the wand of healing. I'm about to use the wand of healing on myself again. I can't run a little oak. What I want to get rid of is this guy. Uh... 
near starving. Um, why just go eat this? So I got some hugger to go fight some of these other guys. All right. Oh. Come on, I gotta be able to light these both up. There we go. Got a. Did Butcher a statue of gods? Five chunks of flesh? One of um one of enslaved, but I don't think I need one of those. I've got my I got uh, probably enough there. Let's take on shields. I could maybe get a bigger shield. I don't think I'm really going for one. Oh, can I afford this now? It's six hundred and eighty gold or something? No, not quite. I need uh, another thirty gold, I think, before I can get that one, which oh uh, well. I'm sure that won't take too long. It just gives a resist electric. I thought dogs even a thing. I I was kind of presuming that they were. But if they're not a thing, then maybe I don't need the resist um, electric quite as much. That being said, the other ammo is like reflection, right? So. Could totally be useful. Uh... I need that flesh right now. This is there to be in view. Okay. Oh, yeah, back to engorged. Um, I gotta actually check. Is the Thunder Hulk even a thing? I need to look at monsters. Uh, Thunder. That should get it. Servant of Whispers. What? That doesn't sound right. I don't think a Thunder Hulk's a thing actually. Wait, then what does electric damage? I mean, there might be electric dragons, but there might not be that much stuff that I need to worry about the resist electric for. At least not for a little bit. I mean, sure, there's stuff in Zot, right? But kind of presuming there'd be something a bit earlier than that that did a bunch of electric damage. I mean, I just, maybe there's strong serpents in the uh, spider's nest as well. That's possible. Have I reduced the spellcasting costs? Not really. These hunger costs look pretty high. I've been trying to, like, buff up the int and stuff, but it's not really doing the trick. Um... I carry around, it's all these random like ice blasts and stuff, I might drop some of those. It's got the recharging, but it's always the same ones that I'm ending up using with this character, or this the might. Uh... Okay, so it's a ring of... Protection plus three. I might with a fire just in here, although I haven't seen any lidworms just yet. Oh, there's a fog arch. A slightly different sprite from what I'm used to seeing, I think. Or maybe it was just because I was sitting in my fire or something. I don't look quite the same as what I was expecting. But I've got like a beam spell, I should be just fine. I can hide behind whatever. Well, they can hide behind their um, friends, and I can still zap them with the fire, so I should be fine. And all these things are massively tough, they're just like basic orcs. I guess these ones are a bit tougher. Oh, whoops, I misguessed there. Ah. I mean, it's all, uh, they're basically just free food, I guess. The basic ones, I mean, the other ones are maybe slight challenge. I don't eat that right now. I better deal with the Orc Knight here, which shouldn't be too big a deal. Uh, 
Can I fold one of digging? I won't worry about that right now. It would probably be nice to eventually get one. Okay, let's get some ends. Maybe that will help me with my food costs yet. I don't know. They look about the same as ever. They haven't really gone down at all. It doesn't seem to matter what I do. I could probably banish me. I don't even think I got some. I got a little bit of uh, willpower, just like a tiny bit, but not a huge amount just yet. Oh my god. Oh, this painted, maybe? Oh, it didn't, whatever it did, it doesn't seem to be a very painted there. Oh, good, two identified. So I can do this potion here, which is agility, could be useful. I've got a potion here of mutation. Wait, is that just a. That's a random one, right? Instead of beneficial one? And it causes random mutations. I don't think that's actually useful. No, I think I can probably drop that one. I think. Because I think curing mutations is separate, maybe? Hopefully. Because I've got the beneficial mutation one, which is something. Uh... Alright, well, there's a warp shop. Oh, none of those are uh, uh, one-handers that look like they could give anything good. Oh, gift. Um, let's go look at this. So I got gifted Venom Bolt, Ignite Poison. They go well together. I don't know. Do I try, like, uh, I don't know if I want to diversify. I don't think I do, really. I mean, I'm kind of really just getting, like, spellcasting and stuff. Um, yeah, at some stage I want to look at that, uh, I want to look at that Firestorm, see how far away that is. Probably still quite a really... Well, it should be a really long way away. Wasn't this one damaging feathers? No. Delayed fireball. What is that? Okay. Uh... There it is. I can look at the firestorm. So... Yeah, it's 100% failure. So that's going to take a little while to get going, I suppose. Uh, back up a little bit. I guess I'll throw in a channel magic. All right. What even is a hell giant like? They don't, um, I mean, it says it's got 60 damage. I don't know, maybe that's a two-handed ogre or something. I don't know what those guys turn into, but because you definitely don't see hell giants anymore. They don't seem that tough either. I don't think I've seen a two-handed ogre, so maybe they just turn into a two-handed ogre or something. Oh, I, was, I didn't get my magic points back. Oh, I'll just bring this guy back, I guess. Should have enough magic points to at least finish this one guy. These have mutagenic flesh, flesh, right? Yeah, because it's in purple, so you can tell that they're gonna mutate you horribly. Wait, I'm getting hungry? Hopefully I can eat some of these guys. Ah, uh, Very hungry. It doesn't even leave a corpse. Nest Darby, I can cast once more. Oh, maybe another time. Uh, I'm out of magic points, okay. Oh, I better just eat a ration, but that's kind of a shame. I mean, I did leave a corpse, but... Oh, I guess I can eat that now. It's just I kind of did need that ration. How many rations do I even have left? Hold up. I've already got three rations left. Hmm. Can't really eat the more mutated guy. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know how I bring those costs down. I, I thought with the go mad, I should be like completely fine, but it feels like 
with the way I'm playing here, Gormand is like the necessity. It's not just uh, it's helping to make things nicer. Um, I don't need that stuff wizardry right now. Although when I get to uh, try to get the fire storm casted, I might want to grab that. Oh good, a fourth bread ration again. Okay, well I'm done with that level. Um, I might just uh be I'll be back soon. I just gotta take a quick break to turn the light on because it's getting quite dark here. All right, I should be back now. Let's. What's I about to do? Go down, I think. Head to the what second level here. Oh, let me just make sure I'm muted properly. Yep, looks like it's fine. All right, well let's uh, let's head on downstairs. The vulnerability is fine. What's that scroll that I'm waiting on? I might as well go identify something. But it... oh, that's not it. Uh. Read the identifier on. I, I should probably do a portrait. I've got way more of those. Yeah, I probably should. So it's D. Uh, wait, what? What is D generation? That's not even what I meant to do at all. Whoops. I mean, I guess I gotta try that on someone, I guess, but still, that's not at all what I was trying to do it on. Um, I don't know how I managed to mess that up. I guess one of them was probably a capital letter, and one was probably a lowercase letter or something. Um, yeah, well. Oh good, these centaurs are very good eating, they should get me engorged, and there's another identify so I can go, this time let's get it right, so it was, yeah, it was a lowercase x, I did an uppercase x, it was g10, yeah, well, that's uh, something I can drop at least. Uh, my boots are running, I don't think I worry about those ones, the running seems to work fairly well. Okay, I got a slice of pizza. I guess I need to eat something. I could eat a slice of pizza or something. Uh, not quite lined up as much, much as I'd like it. I um, think all right, I guess. Oh, I have them have kind of like moved, moved on to somewhere else. All right. It's a shop, oh, it's a food shop. I mean, I don't need it just yet, but if I ever like run out of food or something, I guess I can head back there. Maybe after doing the spider nest or something, I'll be headed that way. What's a casual blink frog? Oh, it's shapeshifter, that makes more sense than a blink frog. There's a lot more ogres in the uh, vault here than I'm used to. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you see the occasional ogres, but they usually... Oh, I guess they got replaced by the um, Thunderhawks and stuff, like ogres that actually are a bit tougher than your basic ones. This vault spawning is not doing its thing, but oh well, I guess I don't worry about that. Just every time we go up or down the staircase, I seem to get a warning instead of just the last level. Ooh, a blinky. I haven't found many blinky at all, so the second one's really nice. That's definitely going to help me. Uh, I think I'm head back to the staircase, get my health back. Whoops. I don't want to head past the staircase. <sighs> Alright. They're standing quite far back, so like I just gotta throw up to the structure on them, but that's not working very well. Oh uh, they moved out just a tiny bit close, I could hit them that like that would do it. I can hit it with something else. Ah yeah, that's perfect.
But it's really nice, like, combining the Bolt of Fire with the Orb of Destruction. Because when it's an Orb of Destruction next to me, I don't want to cast it again. Otherwise, I'll, um, they'll, they'll, hit, they'll hit each other and it'll fizzle out. Alright. I can eat this ogre at least. What am I even trading? I want to get the shields up to 15, I think. What else do I actually need to get here? I mean, the other thing is fine. I might stop the spell casting. I might just get a uh, conjuration fire for a little bit. Um, nah, I'll wait on those. Hold on, I might just get the shield of the fighting and then I'll get the conjuration fire. Oh, there's still the there's a recall in here. I don't think I recall anything top. It just looks like basic oaks or whatever. Oh, uh... Oh, hey there, Gale guy! How's Vintage Scroll? Um, it's missing a lot of quality of life features. I mean, it's having to eat food all the time. You, uh, can't set skill targets, which is very noticeable. What else is different about it? Yeah, there's uh, definitely a lot of quality of life things missing. But, hey, at least I can play a high elf, right? But no, I don't think I'll be coming back to Vintage Scroll for some time after this. Uh... Hey, it did leave a human corpse for me to eat. And the, I've actually noticed that the hunger is quite a problem for these mages. I only having played like real fighter type characters before, I didn't realize quite how much um, food mages went through. This is actually kind of crazy. Like, this character's got gourmand all this, and they're not really building up the um, food like I'd expect. I mean, they were for a little while, but then they kind of got more powerful spells, and those cost more food to cast. I mean, they're doing fine in here, I guess. So that's something, at least. Spell hunger is a good excuse to train spellcasting. Right, yeah, I, I tried training a little bit of spellcasting. I haven't trained uh, maybe as much as I should. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe I just need a ton more of that. Okay, I can charge. I can charge my helmet, I think. I don't think I've seen any better helmets. I mean, I probably should have checked beforehand, but no, it looks like that's pretty much my only one. Um, Yeah, it's a problem with the spiders, because none of the spiders are really edible. Like, you get... I don't know. I think the orb spiders were, but, like, nothing else, really. I did do a little bit of the spider's nest, but I stopped because I was just going through way too much food. Um, yeah, hopefully by the time we get back, these costs a lot less. Oh yeah, it's down to perfect. It used to be sitting on, uh, like, two down for the end, now it's three down for the end. I guess that's helpful. I think that was mainly from trading the spellcasting, right? Okay. Back up around this corner to throw in an orb of destruction. This guy's almost certainly like really resistant to fire, so orb of destruction is definitely the right way to go. I mean orb of destruction is pretty much unchanged. There are slight changes. Like it can damage walls sometimes in this version. Um there's something else slightly different about it. It's I don't know. Whoa. Fire dragon? Just a random fire dragon? Um It's uh very resistant to fire, okay. Oh, you think spell hunger is level minus in time spell casting? Oh, because I've been trying to get like the end because I knew that that helped. But okay, so I really do need a bunch of some um, spell casting. Did I just miscast my blink? Uh, there we go. That's a little bit. Oh no! Whoops! I did that entirely wrong. I did not mean to blink there. Man, I'm doing that completely wrong. Okay. Oh no! I have eight hit points. That was not the right thing to do. I stuffed up my blinks there, which is a bit of a problem. Is this one guy go fast? Ah, oh, there's two. Um, yeah, okay, this is very questionable, but I think I'm gonna have to blink. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those. Uh, 
where to though? I just go that way. I'm running low on the heal wood to get out to recharge at some stage. I think there's a decent chance the teleport pods be something good, so I'm gonna do one of those. Um, this guy's unfortunately faster than me, which is a bit of a problem. I think it does have limited range, though. Okay, there we go. That got me out of there. Yeah, that was just me, but, like, misclicking some keys did not help there. I was trying to remember the arcade formula for 100 years ago. Yeah, it does feel a bit like that, playing this version of the game. But at least Sif Mata can still channel magic, which I might do a bit of here, although this guy just ran away anyway. I've theoretically got fire one fire resist for this character, right? It doesn't feel like it though when I got hit by that fire dragon. I can hit some of these things. Oh, they're not even lined up anymore. Oh, come on. There's got to be some way they can hit both of those guys. Ah, oh, the Arch is probably the most important one to take out. I'm perfect. I just... Ooh, I'm getting rocks thrown at me. Ow. Hold up. Can I do a little bit of fog for a second here? Oh, not very effectively. I'm gonna do a... Oh, man, I'm gonna try some healing, so I'm gonna have to do a recharging of my wand of heal wounds, though. This is really bad. And then I can do the heal wounds on myself, but it didn't recharge it that much. Um... Ow. Man, these guys are destroying me. I'm gonna do the heal wounds on myself again. Oh, do you have your IC file set up to auto butcher and eat? No, I don't. I just use my um current RC file. And it's not quite right. In fact, some of the things in my RC file don't seem to work properly. Um like the level exclusion on Vaults 5 all seems to be all the levels of Vaults for some reason. Ah, too far away. Okay. There's multiple guys here. Um, probably burn that one, channel some magic, and then burn the other one, I reckon. Okay, and then I can hide around this corner. Oh, you forgot so many uh, little features, like one stacking. Got it so much better now. Yeah, no, I picked up a manual before. At least I tried to, and it was like, you have no inventory room to pick this up. And I was like, what? <laughs> I need inventory room for my manuals? It has been that long since I played this version of the game that I forgot about all those little annoying things. Oh good, some more bread. Oh, three identifiers. I'm so sure it identifies this game. It's good to find some because I haven't even got everything identified. So, oh, Berserk Rage. No, I can probably drop that. Uh-huh. I can go identify. I guess I'll do another one of these potions. Ooh. Cure Mutation, that's pretty good, I think. I'll do a scroll. Something. What was the other scroll? Because I might just be able to, like, straight up read that one. Hold on, the unidentified list is this one, right? Got a Quiet Brad Weapon Silence. Hmm. Yeah, let's read it, see what it is. It's Silence, alright. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind too much about having wasted the silence as a mage character. Because it's not like I can do much in Silence. Uh, okay, I might just blink a little bit so I can get another orb of destruction on that dragon. I'm not sure if I can kill this guy before it recalls, but I'll give it a try. Alright, that's good. That's something I can deal with. 
Imagine we're going for a unique title. No, I just wanted to play a high elf. Um, so I went for an old uh, version of the game. Although I do need to switch to Phantasm at the end of the game so I can get the because I want the green elf title on this character. I feel like that's a good idea. Uh, I don't have any resist electric. How fast is the storm dragon? Are those guys fast? It is fast. How fast? Doesn't really say. Might actually do a teleport. Whoa! That is not good. That is not good at all. Because if I stick where I currently am, I'm gonna get calcified. But these guys are all hitting me with all sorts of bolts right now. That was not where I wanted to be. That's my. Oh, I might take my blink, unfortunately. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Man, my resources feel like super low in this game. I gotta go into this corner, but. Oh, what? Please tell me the waste my blink. Thankfully, it's still there. What? What? No! Oh, I read fear. That's not what I meant to read, but it's okay, I guess. I gotta read a teleport. Oh, this is not what I meant to do, but it, it might work. And then I think I'll dump a heal wounds on myself. Uh... That doesn't take me anywhere. Man, this is the worst teleport luck ever. I gotta get blown up by that lightning and die. Is that a capital or lowercase W? I don't know. What do I do with the mouse? I think I've got a blink, but it's my last blinky, unfortunately. I'm gonna read another teleport, but this is kind of bad. I already have much I can do against this guy. I guess it's a little bit closer. Yeah, the Storm Dragon's a view, but presumably they won't be in view too much longer. Oh, come on. Did they hear me going in here? Because I might just be able to close the door. I just rest up or something. I really hope they didn't hear me going in here. Um. Okay, well, they've got one haste potion. Yeah, like that. That just shows how like low these potions are. Also, can that can that electric drag doubles at me in here or something? Oh, there it does. I think I do do the teleport, but oh yeah, no, I think that doubles at me. My last world scroll fog, but I'm gonna read it. Hey, that was so lethal. That cost me basically everything. Um, can I go recharge that healing wand? Because I think I might need to. <sighs> Get five charges, all right. But I'm out of blinking. I'm out of fog. Uh, do I have anything on my shopping list? Oh, I still have to resist electric gambling. I might go buy that. My current gambling is not terrible, but like... That's like a fire resistant resist electric, which seem like things I need. Yeah, my camera was like see invisible or something. Um a god man. Oh, but I determined I can't survive without the god man with the way I'm doing things. Oh, what's up with this guy? Deep elf demonologist. Banishment some greater demon. That sounds pretty nasty. I think I can outrun these dudes though. I'm very hungry, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that's what I'm saying about, like, not being able to survive without the god man. Oh. Thank you, I might just go to the staircase. Um... Ah, I didn't have any food on it. I was gonna have to eat a slice of pizza, I think. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that could uh, sort out my kanga. Wait, can I? I don't think I can even eat a Rishaza. No, I didn't even drop it, I think. Okay. Oh, near starving, that's quite right. This guy's fast as well. Um. Uh, I guess I eat a proper bread ration. There's just. Yeah, it's just not getting my. Food up to a decent level. Uh, 
Uh, I could almost go up, but I think I could zap it once more. Oh, it's, um, dead anyway. Who? Yes, chop all the corpses. Right, it's probably a bunch more corpses here I can chop as well, maybe. If they haven't already disappeared. There's like this elf corpse there. Four chunks, I could probably get always way to engorge with that. Yeah. So I went from like uh having trouble with food to a whole gluttony of food. That's kind of how it goes though, sometimes with this character. Well actually quite a lot with this character. Oh, it's a mosquito in real life trying to attack me. Oh, got it. Whoa. Don't move out that much to the fire dragon. Okay. Wait, seven jugs of flesh and a Yagdor? I mean, I guess a Yagdor is actually a reasonable sized creature, right? Because it's kind of like, I guess it's kind of like part yak. Oh, this kind of surprised me though. They had that much meat on them. Um, that's the electric dragon. There we go. Got it. And it was both the orbs of destruction and the um. Light, uh, fireball at the same time, it doesn't seem to do the trick. Okay. Level 19 feels reasonably low, but that's probably because I haven't done the spider's nest yet. And the little corner like, got trapped before it constantly just kept on teleporting to the same spot. I'm pretty low on the teleports. Like, I got one there, I got five there of my wands, but no other teleports, unfortunately. Or oh, scimitar. Try it out, but I can't magic points of poison resist. Is minus cover resist? Nah. That's pretty useless. Let's um, drop that one on the ground, I guess. Okay, it's some more food. I think there was some more food down here as well. Yeah, actually, there's lots more food in here. Try the stuff. It might be a stuff of fire or something. It's a stuff of summoning. Oh, back when those were still a thing. Unfortunately, this character's not a summoner, so, like, I can probably drop the stuff of summoning. Uh, it's another unidentified stuff. It's, uh... Oh, there's a stuff of fire. Um... It does get fire resist. Hold on, am I wearing a fire resist? I could probably take off my fire resist and put on something else. In fact, I might try on this ring for a little while, see what it gives. Dex, that's probably not what I'm going to stick with. I could probably go back to... Do I need poison resist in here? What else do I... What do I actually need in here? Protection? I don't know. Um, I should probably go grab that poison resist ring, though, because I know I've got one of those around somewhere. Uh, last three, apparently. Yeah, because if I'm not going to be using the weapon that gives that anymore, I should probably grab that one. I'm just kind of worried that my magic points will be a bit short with us. Um, oh well. Alright, well, I might as well, like, eat my fill before I leave. Uh... Oh. Right, it's gonna warn me about every single staircase between where I am and where I'm trying to go. Because <laughs> that warning somehow went horribly wrong, or maybe not every single one. Right, so I was after... It wasn't after here, I was after another thing, right? <sighs> Yeah, like here. Wait, if I just hit enter again, it'll get that good. And I'd curse Ring of Poison Resist. I could probably drop the three decks. Doesn't seem that good. 
Right, back to Vaults. Vaults are the least least Vaults 2, maybe Vaults 3. Hopefully Vaults 3, let's see. Uh, oh. Yeah, this warning is really throwing me off. Oh yeah, it looks like it was on Vaults 3. At least about to go Vaults 3. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the staircase and then rest up, I think. These are just like random enemies ambushing me, aren't they? I don't have any magic points, so I'm probably gonna run away from these guys. They're just like little orcs, but... I don't know, maybe I can belly it, I guess. Oh, I'll use, like, the, the Sif thing. The, like, mini channel magic thing. The one that gives the uh, minus cast, but it's basically free. I think that's probably worth using just to uh, get through those enemies. Alright. The first look at level 3 of the vaults here. These guys can probably mark me up. I mean, almost certainly. Let's see. Yeah, 22... No, 21% on the Sentinels mark. So it's pretty trivial for them to mark me. Wait, that's not the right spell. I should just throw it over the structure of that guy. Oh, there's crystal walls. So I gotta be careful of like uh, the enemy spells and stuff being reflected off these walls, I think. Man, I actually gotta be careful of my own spells being reflected off these walls. Uh. Because I think my firebolt can be reflected off them. Alright, is there any more spells I actually want to get? There's lots of things I can get, like throw ice and stuff. I can't quite get to the fire storm, unfortunately. Uh, I can get the poison arrow, maybe. I don't know, the fire storm is kind of what I want to get, but it's a long way off. I might just grab it anyway. It can just sit there, and I can work towards it. Uh, that's probably enough fighting, probably enough shields. Just get a bit more fire magic, I think. Try and bring up the power of that. Doesn't help with these dragons, unfortunately. What kind of doesn't really help with anyone? That sort of range. All right. Uh, rig potential. Oh, it's a willpower rig. Ooh, I've got... Am I carrying around a willpower rig or am I... I'm wearing a willpower rig right now. I can probably drop one to flame, I guess. I'm not sure if it makes any sense to carry this around, though. Also, I should look for better shields, because my shield is just, like, plus zero or something. It doesn't look like it's any better. No, it's just, like, uh, same old items that I saw before. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Let me just walk back before that um, door gets closed to me, I think. Did that actually hit something or did that just dissipate my over destruction? Uh... How much do I care about a scroll of amnesia? I feel like I'm pretty good with the amnesia side of things. Especially since Sif Martin's kind of got that covered as well, so I've kind of just got too many things that cover the amnesia of stuff. Uh... Nah, I didn't make it through the door with the orb destruction. I don't think I can blow up crystal walls either. I think it's just the normal walls that can blow up. Oh, I can double zap the guy. I should actually be using that to my advantage, maybe, in certain spots. Like, uh, can I double zap? Yeah, one of these guys as well. But I can't do that much double zapping, but the guys I do get to double zap is kind of fun. 
Um, if I bring this guy Kia, oh, I don't have any magic points. If I bring this guy Kia, oh, he needs to be one back. Do I? Oh, I can't double tap it. Okay, sure. Hmm. Ah, right, there we go. It's the rest of the food I needed. Devil's Advocate is kind of such chaos, though, because you can't always set it up, but then what you do is, like, such huge amounts of damage, like, it's non-negligible. Uh, I don't know if that orc's gonna get hit. Oh, there it goes, getting blown up with the orb of destruction. I think I got a wand of, uh, rations as well, so, but not a wand, a shop of, uh, food somewhere, so I'll probably be fine with the food. Even if, uh, I'm just trying to think, like, if I should take off the gourmet or not, really. Oh, hey, Sifmana, what am I getting gifted here? I'm actually channeling a bit of magic. I feel like you're gonna need it with that yank to a captain around. I like how this thing's in front of the yank to a captain, that's making my life a lot better. Um, that's not at the moment though. I gotta tell with some more magic, aren't I? I mean, I guess the yank to in front of the yank to a captain is fine, just uh, not quite perfect though. I go here, can I just. I don't think I can quite get the double zaps going, unfortunately. Feels weird not getting attacked on opportunity. I wonder when I go back to Trunk, well, I'll have problems with these guys, like, attack of opportunity me with their pole arms and stuff, because I've been playing, um, an old version so long. I'm not used to the attacks of opportunity anymore. Uh... I had to run back. I'd love to eat that food, but I can't eat it in the middle of combat, unfortunately. That's fine, but I'm getting a lot of magic points. I think I'll use the Sif Mata little Chally thingy. That's a shape tripter. That's uh, not, nothing else it could really be. Yeah, it even dropped its like uh, unedible flesh. Actually, I'm not even sure if I want it as edible. Maybe that's uh, what you'd expect from one of those, but it was definitely a shape tripter. It's not, well, actually. I say that, but I'm actually not that confident about the monster set in here. It would be definitely be a um, team trip to this drug. Alright. Also, this is an edible flesh, not like mutagenic flesh, so it might not have been a shape shifter. Oh, I do want to read whatever this book is. So it's got Crystal Sphere, Iron Shard. Bolt of Magma. I might be able to do a Bolt of Magma. Is that worthwhile? I'm not even sure. It seems kind of like a bit of repair potential of what I've got. Um, what do I have that I don't need anymore? I don't know if I need the vulnerability. Hopefully it's fine to drop that. Wait. There's the book. I need to drop some of these books, actually. Hold on. Let me go read some of these. So the first one's offering... Okay, I'm done with that one, I think. Bolt of Fire, so I can drop that one. Um, yeah, this is what half my inventory is filled with. That one's got Fire Storm, which I've got. It's got Poison Arrow, I probably don't need. So I'll drop that one as well. Oh, what was it? Oh, I can't even remember. That's the first book. That one. This one's got Venom Bolt, Ignite, Poison. I don't know about that one. I'll keep it around for a little bit. As well with Crystal Sphere and the Iron Shot, but also the Bolt of Magma, which might be worth getting. I guess it's less fire damage. Oh, that's got Delayed Fireball. I'm not even sure if that's a good spell or not. 
Now it's got like the controlled blink, which I'll probably never get. But anyway, I might try a bolt of magma, see if it's any good. The fifth level spell. What is my fireball? It's the sixth level spell. Hey, maybe it'll cost less food. <laughs> I should give it a try. Maybe maybe it'll uh, change around my my food situation. So what is the range on it? Uh I mean, it's still a little destruction, but where is it? E. Short range, right, I see. So it's not really a replacement or anything. But it's still useful to have with the walls bouncing um things back and stuff. That's something that doesn't get bounced off the walls. Alright, we got, oh, I probably do need a teleport, what else is there? Brightly glowing ring mail? Probably not. The boots are boots of running, which I might keep with, but I might just grab that teleport. I've got tons of money. Um, still that one of digging, magical power, magic regen amulet. I don't know, I've got the, i got an okay amulet, but magic regen could help me out. Like, I think it's uh, intelligence, the invisible or something, go bad. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the reason I'm keeping it, is because it's go bad. I'll try and bolt a magma this dude, see if it's, oh, it's probably out of range or something. Oh, I'm also out of magic points, so. Why is that guy like a lightning bolt? I guess they do, I'm just used to those guys having fireball instead of lightning bolt. Whoa. Ow, that really hurts. I guess I can't really deflect the large rocks, can I? Hmm. I doubt I can just get this. I probably doesn't even show the chance of getting this guy with the... Oh, 30 percent of getting it with the... Um... Charming. Ow. That's a lot of damage. I just hit it with a bolt of... Fire. Oh, of course I don't have any magic. That's a good question. Why might do a random blink and then channel some magic? But it's still got the rocks that it's throwing at me. I don't think it could one hit me with a rock, but it could still probably get quite close, which is what I'm worried about there. I get it somewhere it can't doubles at me with the lightning. Uh there we go. What does that? A night elf deep elf knight. Alright. Another one that's just hasting itself up, which I think is what they do in Trunk as well. Um, ah, no, I missed. I'm gonna do the sketchy, you know, the sketchy channel magic and try and get this guy with that. Alright, maybe this guy will have, uh, there we go, he's got some food for me. Throwing like weaker spells against all these little orcs, try and get rid of them without costing me food. Although it looks like again, as much food as I like off the ground. Uh... Found that guy. All right. Okay, it's uh, LRDing the walls, which is actually blowing them up as well. Wait, did that just LRD me from outside of sight? I think it did. Oh, it's doing it again. I'm gonna pull it back, but that's kind of crazy, the enemies hitting you from outside of sight with uh, spells. I don't think they do that anymore. It's like, I'm pretty sure they have to be inside to hit you now. All right. Uh, 
what am I training? I'm just training up the fire magic. I'm trying to catch it up to like the conjurations, but I might turn on some conjurations as well. I mean, it's not gonna not gonna work on the fire so for quite some time. Most levels not multi damage cast. Ah, I can't even accidentally cast like the blink. It's not quite right. Alright, well, I can just run back, I guess. I'm pretty sure there's uh, the ugly things can open doors with their, like, tentacle arms or whatever they have that open the doors. At least I know they can in Trunk. Um, I was just going to make it around the corner. There we go. I guess that did make it around the corner. A little sick lag of animal enemies for a little while here, because I'm down to not, well, not full anymore. Can I double zap this guy? Not really, it's not quite the right spot. <laughs> Excellent, there we go, this gives me four chunks of flesh. Oh man, it's, uh, it's such a long way away that flesh uh, to find it. Yeah, I feel like I probably missed out like a lot of uh, chunks of meat just because they've been in a completely another different room that I've already explored. I just didn't uh, think to look back through or something. I'm gonna run on magic points, aren't I? Um, it's probably fine if that hits me. Because it will double zap the enemy at least. Um, what sort of skeleton is that? Don't get a skeleton or something. I'm probably gonna run out of magic points here. Yeah, I don't see this quite working. I do. I'll do the proper channel magic. I don't think I'll do the sketchy one. The sketchy one really is kind of sketchy. I mean, I guess the proper one doesn't quite let you cast a spell every turn either sometimes. It counts in, um, a certain amount of magic points, but it's still a lot less sketchy than the one that gives you minus cast for a while afterwards. But the thing about the minus cast one is it doesn't actually cost anything to do, so you can get it online, like, super early on. It was really good when I was, um, first starting this character, like, before Lair and stuff to keep me alive there. Ah, can't double zap that guy, well. Ah, not anymore. I could double zap it once, so that's uh, all I can really ask for here. Ah, it reminds me of using the old, uh, like, uh, lightning bolt spell or something, where you can reflect off all the walls, you have to be very careful with your positioning to make it so, so you're actually in a spot where it can double zap. Oh, I might as well just use the sketchy channel magic to kill this guy. But like, I can just keep on running back at the same time as attacking. It's not really going to cause any problems. Uh, okay, what's this book got? So it's got Hydra form. Well, that's a, the form I haven't seen in a while. Belayed hands, irradiate metabolic glaciation, or the cubers armor. Um, oh, that also Cuba's refrigeration. I might try to get the irradiate going. I've got the conjuration right. Um, I'm not really using these ones much. I'm not sure which one's worth using. Probably something against Gnab I haven't really been using this new fire spell much. All right, well, I suppose like if Gage is still useful for the same things it's always been useful for, like uh, cursors and stuff. I might drop the amnesia, hopefully that's fine. 
Uh, oh, I don't have any spell levels. Uh, maybe I should just read that amnesia. Let's see. You know, I don't feel like the magma balls are doing that much for me. I might just, uh... Oh, no! No, I did fall to fire! No! I misclicked it. No, oh, that was such a wait. waste. Now I'm going to have to go all the way back here and re-memorize that one. Okay. Ah, oh, what's... All the wrong, uh, all the wrong keys. Okay, where's Boulder Fire? Mm. Oh, there it is. I don't even know if I can search this menu. But that means I'm gonna have to... Uh, I wasted the scroll, so I'm gonna have to use the forget spell here. Don't want to use all the actual Bolt of Magma. There we go. And now I can get myself my, um, Irradiate, wherever that one is. There's transmutations. I maybe get a little bit of that, maybe? So I give it some power. Alright, which book was it then? I could probably drop the book. It was then. I think it was the last one. Maybe not. Icy shapeshifting? That sounds like it. Oh, what's... Am I on Bolt 3 or... I'm basically done. Okay, I'm actually now up to Bolt 4. Uh, none of these guys even have bodies, okay. And it's not like they even used the opposite structure to explode the vehicle, though they just didn't have bodies. Alright, I'm getting hungry, but there's food on the ground. I wonder whether, like, it can't place the food on the ground because there's, like, a wall on the way or something. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Because it seems to be able to chew the food through walls, which is kind of crazy. Okay. Try to light these up just a little bit better, although they're not that well lined up, I guess. Mm, nah, I was not going to kill those guys. I just got to go up and get my magic points back. Probably the right thing to do. Oh, come on. Do we get an ogre? Come on, ogre. I'll pull the ogre out, blow it up with an orbital destruction. If it had meat, I don't see where it went. Uh, might have had meat, though. It might just be hiding in the piles of stuff on the ground. Oh, more guys. That's the thing. I think uh, creatures just endlessly spawn on these levels if you take too long when you're trying to rest up or whatever, which I do take a reasonable while to rest up, so... I'm gonna use a uh, dodgy channel magic. I think it's probably fine. Is that a crystal spear that the guy just threw at me? I think it might have been a crystal spear. All right, but at least the uh, dodgy channel magic did the trick. Oh, Yakto Captain. If I, if I have to find that one, I'm going to have to challenge the magic. No, it looks like I managed to get my magic points back at least. All right, now I can finally go back down. Whoa, that's poisoned. That's very poisoned. I don't have much to my curing. Might do some though. Anyway, that was like over half my health worth of uh, poison there. Ah, uh, should be able to block both of these guys. There we go. With my last few magic points. Outside of range. Shopo Velocity. I think that's a that's a Volpo brand except um before when every single thing used to have its own name for the Volpo brand like bows, I guess, with velocity. 
Oh, I did not get my magic points back here. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that's not right. That's very not right. Hold up. I gotta read the teleport. Um, I'm gonna try to deal with these guys above me. I should have enough health here, though, to get out. Good, that teleport's fine. Didn't put me into a worse spot or something. But yeah, getting pulled and sealed in that one was definitely not right. What do you mean, unknown commander? Try, try to auto explore? Maybe I didn't try auto explore. I must have hit the wrong thing. Oh, I think I hit P by accident, which is something I often do. And apparently, that's an unknown command in this version of the game. This must be uh, after, like, Prague was removed, but before the quiver was um, put onto P. Close the door and try to heal up. Hey, this guy's edible. This guy's edible. Okay, there's a basic shield just like my one. Well, it could theoretically be a minus one curse shield or something. Cause you don't really know what they can do you put them on, but... I don't know if there's a chance of them being... There might be a chance of it being a plus one shield, I'm not sure. But then it would probably say it was a charged shield, right? I think that's kind of how that works, but it could be could be entirely wrong on that. It's been a while since I messed with the whole identify system. In fact, I think I think there is a chance of it possibly charged if it says plus zero, but I don't think it's a good chance. If, yeah, if it doesn't show the uh, plus on it. Um That's Bolt of Fire is, like, carrying me through a lot of the game. Like, sure, it doesn't work in every enemy, so I'm glad I got the Orb of Destruction to go with it, but this build an old row of creatures. It's quite powerful. Life shouldn't matter. Good as God. What about my speed compared to an ugly thing? Because I got the boots of running on, so I might actually be the same speed as an ugly thing. Because I don't remember those they ever been that fast. Um... I should probably make more use of these boots of running to run away from creatures. Why is there a closer door? Yeah, that would still got to me, but... I don't even know if, like, doors can be broken by enemies in this version of the game when they open them. It might be before that, though. Yeah, they might just novel open them normally, I'm not sure. Because it looks like you can kind of, like, run around in circles for as long as you like and stuff in this, um, if you're on the same speed as a creature. Although I guess it's got random energy, so it's vaguely trying to stop you. Um, pillow dancing, it's just not doing a very effective job of it. Oh, there's another potion of beneficial mutation. Oh, yeah. Do I just, like, drink that? I'm not sure. I drank, like, a few of them early on, and they seem to be alright. I wonder whether it's got a 20% chance of being a negative mutation or not. It probably does. There's probably some chance. Um, Fine, I'll just tattle, I guess. These guys aren't going to let me go somewhere to rest up. Alright, there we go. Got my little hidey hole. And that seems to be the only way to rest up sometimes in here. Uh, it's not great for magic points, but I might still have made it. Yeah, just made it with the magic points. Oh, full already. Right, how many spells going? So I'm training the fire and I'm training the um conjurations. I'm ninety nine percent feeling a um the firestorm. I need to watch out for that. So when it's the cat starts getting like almost semi reasonable, I need to put on a uh, wizardry and get it going. There's another tower shield. Uh, I said not tower shield, kite shield. 
Yeah, the disco was a shield, apparently. Finally, it's my dodgy channel magic on this dude. <laughs> Uh... Oh, I blew up a wall. Well, it didn't even blow up the wall, but it hit the wall at least. Um... This dude can do just dodgy channel magic. Yeah, I mean, it uh, took it out on the first try, so no worries there. Am I getting any more spellcasting? Not really. I might just get a little bit more spellcasting. Try and, well, br bring down both the hunger costs and get my magic points up a little. I don't know. It's uh, probably worth getting. Just a little bit. And it will help with the spellcasting a bit. Do you know how much of the cost? It's actually really me cheap. It's like half the price of my other spellcasting things. It's worth worth getting. Just from a uh, like, standpoint of actually getting the spells cast, but I think it's worth it. I'm guessing how long that dodgy channel magic keeps you minus magic afterwards is based on how short you are in magic points, but I'm not entirely sure on that. How many healing potions does it say I have? It's got three healing potions now. That's something, I guess. I don't think I've got any blinking though, still. I need to be having real trouble finding those ones. Oh, hey, Jory. Bring it back somewhere. I'll try and, um. Try to get him out of the open so I can open the structure of him, I think. Oh, that's not it. Ah, thanks for that he blinked. Probably fine. Hey, there we go. He's going exploding his fire. I don't think I can eat a vampire. That wouldn't make any sense. Oh, why did I keep on doing the wrong thing? I should probably buy the blinker to somewhere a bit better, maybe. Um, Can I actually do that right now? Let's see. Spells. I might put a blink on J or something. Just make it like slightly further away from uh, the open distraction on my keyboard. Like it's still reasonably close. I can get, uh, I can do it on purpose. Oh, hey, uh, that's got to be a shapeshifter, right? Kane told that does. Yeah, it's a shapeshifter. Does that all sound like something to be in here? Oh god, freezing club, boulder cold, on the cubes, refrigeration, metabolic glaciation, ice form. Simulacrum. I mean, it's a book of ice. I've totally got like fire mage, so I might just leave that one. Whoa. Yeah, I should get rid of the dragon. Good. Now I should be able to. I think I can just back up now and get out of here and get my magic points back because uh, the rest of the guys can't keep up with me. It was only the dragon that could keep up with me. And, in fact, outspeed me, the dragon. Whoa. That's not what I want to see. I thought that was a level of six floor, but still, apparently, just totally covered in creatures. Ah, fine, I'll channel the magic, I guess. How do I irradiate this dude? Let's give that a try. Gotta channel some more magic, but that's not ideal just having a whole go go on a great swamp and that's a large shield or right. I might have to try for one of those. Can I do a try some disc? Oh, I blew myself up. No, that's almost not the right idea. I don't know about this. I mean I can always teleport out if I need to. Um I probably do need to. I probably should read that teleport. Hey. I've still got some teleport. I got like the five ones of teleport. Um, J Bell scrolls though. Go.
Okay, should come around the corner there. There we go. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to eat. I'm getting low on food again, but it won't be too long till I get some more food, I don't think. Wait, it's fire? It's feel like one guy who might be resistant to that, but it seemed to be working just fine, so I guess if it works, it's fine to use it. Um... There's no, no bodies there, but there are uh, lots of these cops on the ground for me to eat. I was a mage. I should probably get rid of the mage first. That's probably the more dangerous guy there. Uh, this guy I can just get rid of a little bit of dodgy channel magic. All right. What is it actually called? Uh, divine energy. That's what it's actually called instead of dodgy channel magic. But I don't know. It's basically channel magic except worse. Oh, uh, there's plenty of guys here. Oh, why can't I shoot that guy? Probably a wall of the way or something. Hmm. Oh, I should just channel some magic, I guess. This guy's kind of got me a bit of a, a bit cornered here. Oh, whoops. Magic points, uh... I just closed that... Oh, I can't believe forgetting that I can't close the door that has a weapon in it. That's kind of silly. But yeah, the, just a... I guess, I mean, at least that was a giant spike club. It wasn't just a little dagger or something lying on the floor so me closing it. But it just still seems a little bit silly that I can't close it because it's just like a single weapon sitting in it. Ice dragon, I do have some cold resist, but I'll let that one come to me, I think. Yeah, I mean, I could put on the ice dragon up, but I don't think I'd really need that. What else has it got? It's got uh, nothing else, just... Oh, wait. Ice dragon corpse. Hold on, I can eat that. Uh... I don't know. I should try that guy's large shield on. Um... I'm probably going to have to swap back to the shield I'm currently using for a little while. When I try to get the fire storm going, but for a little while it might be worth using that, I imagine. Alright, there is a large shield. Let's give it a try. I probably don't have the inventory. Well, oh, I do. I've currently got 12 shield, 11 beta. My spells are all pretty much cast more apart from the um, fire storm. I lose two evasion, yeah, I get shield value, I get like, what? Was it 11 of each? Or so I get like 6 or something. These are still castable, but for a radiate, which needs a bit of work. Hold on. The blink also needs a bit of work. Alright, well, I can, uh, I can probably do that. So let's... A radiator is... Okay, I'll do the blink first, which is translocations. It shouldn't need much at all. I feel like I had some other skill that was translocations as well, but it might not be something we're actually using. Let's see. Uh, probably not anymore. Oh, false lines. That used to be a thing I used. I haven't used that in ages. It's damaged itself to keep up anymore, but it was pretty good because it pushed people back, so. Yeah, back when it's damaged, actually kept up. It was kind of nice. Oh, right. Uh, wait, no, that's not what I'm meant to be using. I'm meant to be using the other channel magic. Oh, ha, push me even further. Um, I 
Yeah, I should be able to get both of these. There we go. Um, gotta at least have some corpses for you if they're gonna bad bush me on the staircase. It doesn't look like they have a whole lot. I wonder how Necromancer has ever stayed fat on this version of the game. Because they turn all the corpses um, into skeletons and stuff. I mean, I guess if you turn them to skeletons, that's fine for saying fair, but if you turn them into zombies, you can't exactly eat them anymore. Must be hard going through, like, extensive and stuff. I don't know how people... I just tried to think, I mean, I guess... I guess you'd build up a bit of food, but still. Come on, I just want my health back here. Yeah. Oh, my magic back. My health is perfectly fine. Man, that's often seems to be the case. Um, Like, sometimes my health will drastically go down, but usually it's not the health that's the uh, problem. It's usually the magic points. Oh, there we go. We've got a scroll of identify. I definitely need that. I might do it on my scroll, see what it is. Oh, an acquirement. Okay. What is the acquirement offering me? Oh. Uh, I can get a weapon, an armor, jewelry, book, staff, wand, evocable, food, or gold. I could ask for a staff, but my staff of fire is not terrible. I could ask for armor, but it might give me heavy armor. I could ask for jewelry. I might try asking for some jewelry, see what it gives me. A ring, sure. Is that a potential, I guess? Minus fire this, three resist negative, and a bit of dex. Oh, that's uh, not that good. I might just put the potential back on. I can't really take the minus fire resist. I mean, sure, the resist negative is fine, but. Nah, I can't quite make that work. Oh, my orb just keeps on dissipating. That's. That's a disaster that, um. Fighting that guy was. Okay. Trying to sneak up behind me as creatures. Often the thing to do in this version of the game. There's so many creatures sneaking up behind you. This guy's slower than me, so I can just keep it at a distance and zap it with uh, whatever. Um, wait, I've got two stacks of spiders. Do they have a chance of breaking all the stacks of spiders like one use? I think there were like what use evocables at some stage. Um, I don't think all the evocables are one use. All right, well I might. I might retreat back. I'm not sure how fast that sand door is compared with me because with these boots of running on, I might be able to keep up with all this dead end. Huh. I don't know if I got that much magic points. No, I didn't really get that many more magic points back when running away. Unfortunately. I had to stop, start the proper channel because another creature's coming along. And I don't. Oh, that was not right. Oh, right. Ah, because I'm doing ZA, right? That makes sense. I can't cast a spell, so it's just uh, doing the A, which is bring up the ability menu. I was confused about why that one was coming up. Well, that actually makes a lot of sense. What? How much skill do I need to not have a penalty on my current shield? Let me go take a look at that. These 25 skill to not have a penalty, right? So quite a lot of skill. It's probably not uh, the nonsense amount of skill I can get with this game. Because I've just kind of... Oh, that's uh, enough transmutations, I think. Um, I want to get a little bit of transmutations. But at some stage, I need to get the fire and the conjuration. I'm just worried that I won't have enough XP in this game. Because I really want to get like a, um, invocation title. Oh, that's not working. Uh oh. I don't have that much invocations right now. Like you can see that I just failed my channel magic, which was not great. This guy doesn't have the repel missiles, does it? Got the lightning bolt though, which is kind of nasty. Uh, oof. 
Yeah, so I think they, um, I like the ones now that have all the spells. I think they choose one spell and they just spam the spell over and over. So if you get unlucky with the resist, um, it's kind of nasty. Because I guess if you get lucky with the resist, then it doesn't really matter that much. Because I don't have the resist electric. Um, hmm. That's an entropy weaver, right? It just looks kind of funny. Whoa, whoops. I use my quiver, which is not right, because the quiver doesn't actually let you quiver up spells in this game. Well, this version of the game. Because it does in later versions, which is why I keep on trying to use my quiver sometimes. Uh, oh, that guy's hasted, I'm just going to channel some magic. But I'm, oh, fail to use the ability again. I'm not really, like, building up the, uh, the piety, I think. I don't know, maybe it's fine. You see that actually said fairly low on piety in this, um, with Sith Mod in this version. Alright, I still 100% failed that fire, so I know I can put on, like, a smaller shield and stuff, but... It does seem kind of questionable. There's a dodgy channel magic. I think that's going to be good enough here. Maybe not. Um, I mean, I guess I killed that guy. Okay, that was good enough. And I got a book here, which is offering me false lines, leaders, liquid fashion, and portal projectile. No, I don't think those are the sort of spells I need. Especially given I already have, like, the um, portal projectile. Wait, it's shadow race? Oh, those are really funny. That's not how I was expecting that guy to look, but it is just a fat shadow wraith. Now, I think the shadow wraiths are, like, perfectly invisible, except it doesn't matter because they can see invisible. And it's wandering around trying to sneak up on you. It's got, like, a mute elemental damage, but hey, normal destruction to the face is all it took. Excellent, so that's Vaults of Four. What next? I guess I go to the Elven Halls, right? And then set of depths, and then I go to the depths? That's probably the right thing to do. At least I certainly hope that's the right thing to do. Oh, right, it's warning me about. It's what for some reason, Vaults uh, Level 1 seems to be the one that got the warning on it. Hmm. Alright. Uh, don't have perfect willpower, which is kind of what I'm worried about there. Oh well. I'm sure it's fine. Alright, let's head on in. So, last time you was like one pip of willpower short. Wait, I was three pips of willpower. That's not terrible. Oh, I have no resistance electric, but oh well. There's a lot of these mages around here. You can't tell what sort of mage they are at a glance, right? Because uh, you have to like, examine their spell books. Also, I'm using the wrong spell, but that's fine. I just go up and uh, zap this guy with something. Oh, actually, I should go to the spider nest. I should probably, I probably have enough food to get through the spider's nest now. Well, it's mainly about the fact that my spells cost less. More than the fact that I've got more food. Um, oh, also that was food. I should have got that. I can't even pick it up. Okay, I'll drop, um, drop the old shield, but I'm going to have to come back for that, I think, at some stage. Maybe. Let's look at the look at the cost here. Oh, it's still yeah, it's um still got like four pips of food use. I mean, the other structures was so like uh five, I guess, or maybe six or whatever that is. Oh. Almost have enough magic points. Come on.
Wait, is that a magic? No, that's not a magic shield. That looks like a magic shield to me. I think it might have just had a different sprite on it. Yeah, it's a plus zero shield. It's not magic. Huh. Uh, do I want a disintegration? I think I would grab that one. Ooh, enchant dump. I could definitely dump that on something. So I can either drop that on my... I dropped my helmet, I think. I don't think I see any better helmets than this one. Oh, so the recharge get really good. I should grab one of those. Um, I can drop this random ring of minus fire resistance. Another resist negative, but I think I'll drop it. Oh, I should put on my poison resistant here, shouldn't I? <laughs> That's probably a good idea. But I probably don't need the potential for magic. I could probably put on... Where is it? Poison resistance instead. Yeah, the recharging will probably end up going onto my healing wand at some stage, or my teleport wand, depending which one I run short of first. Hungry. I should just eat a jerky. There's no way I'm gonna find something I can eat. Um, what am I wearing on my head? I mean, I'll try the hat, but I'll probably just go back to the helmet. Oh, hat of willpower. Um, I'll okay, I lose one armor class. That's actually worthwhile, I think. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to be back up to three willpower. Definitely be good in the elven halls, but I think I might just wear it in here as well. It's definitely better than trying to use the rig and uh, use the potential rig instead. That's definitely the idea. Oh, hungry again. I don't think jerky keeps you uh, fed for very long, so I should just eat a meat ration. Good, I can eat the... Royal jelly, at least when I next need to it. I think I've got tons of stuff to identify. Uncharted, I mean, so I can either do my cloak or my shield. Uh, probably my cloak. Let me go check on cloaks. Yeah, probably my cloak. I haven't really found like any uh, enchanted auxiliary armor, so I think it's worth enchanting some up myself. Alright, hey, Azel, I'll just check that Azel's still about poison and stuff. Did I, oh, did I forget to put on the poison for this? No, I never put that on, okay. It's good, because I basically have no curing, right? Well, I should have got four curing now. I was down to one for a little while, but I guess I found, uh, found it again. Ah, oh, hell, it's a magic, because it's definitely going to need it. Uh, wait, do the demonic crawls? They don't even regen, do they? This much? Oh, I miscast my over destruction. Instead, I think they have fire this, which doesn't really help me out that much. But I was kind of presuming they had like both fire this and regen, but I guess that I guess they wouldn't have that. I don't think there was a version of the game like that. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Um, I'm getting hungry. I might actually eat right now. While I'm in a reasonably decent spot to do the eating. Yeah, I don't have to worry about Ragni too much. I start some more channel magic. I'm not sure if I need it or not, but we'll find out, I guess. Ragni wasn't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Okay, that's fine. I can just get some intelligence. Which should bring down the cost of these spells in terms of hunger. Maybe a little bit, but not hugely. But uh, first off, still 100% failure, unfortunately. Hey, Sally! How's this going? You come to find me still trying to get uh, an elf going here, and a uh, high elf. But they are alive! I made it through vaults. I haven't quite done the elven halls yet, um, but I'm just finishing up the spine desk. Because I actually left this because I was having problems with food, um, remarkably. Yeah, because food is definitely a thing in this version of the game.
All right, well, I've got boots. I think I even enchanted them up. I think it was my cloak that was only plus one. That's the only thing that I've got to try and get enchanted. Oh, why are you playing old version? I just wanted to play a high elf, so... Yeah, I just I had to go all the way back to 0 0.19 because that's the last version of the game that high elves. Uh, getting hungry again? Man, that's not ideal. Well, after I deal with these guys, I guess I'll just eat another ration, unfortunately. I do actually have more food. I've got some food, like, stashed in the lab, so that's not all my food that I've got on me. Alright, Jake, if I've ever won a high elf, nope, no high elves for me. This uh, should be my first high elf game. I don't think I've even won one offline either. Going to get the species one? Kind of, but I'm also, yeah, I just thought it'd be appropriate for, like, uh, win number 420, which is what I'm going for here. Oh, that made sense to play a high elf. Oh, the entry weave. I can actually just move back. Uh, oh, hungry again. Now these guys are edible, so I'm just going through so much food. There's only like level two of the spiders, so I've already eaten some stuff. I wonder whether I should just be like trying to dive down through here or not. Uh, oh, you get it now? Yup. <laughs> Why well, I'm playing uh, high elf? Because there's not a huge amount of reason to go back for playing high elves, right? That's one paralysis. Does so that actually exist? There's, there's, there's such a massive set of, like, ones. Um, some of them are probably less useful than others. There's definitely some less common ones than what I'm used to. But I was initially going to go with Phantasm, but I, uh, I'm going to have to do a late swap to Phantasm and try and get one Pip of Piety with this character. Because um, then I could get a green elf title to go with it. But that's going to be reasonably hard because I'm very heavily relying on Sith Mana here. Alright. Oh, not hungry again. None of these guys are edible, right? I don't think so. I just gotta have to eat the ration. I wonder what version of Feta 0.19 is. They use fruit for their abilities. Um, a lot of them. Otherwise, use piety. They want you to pray to turn... Corpses and the stuff. Um, I might just am need to drop my false lance. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know much else of them. I tried one earlier today, but I didn't get very far. I tried like, I think I tried like a sword character, which went terribly. I'm not even sure if I was meant to be getting strength or decks for them because the description doesn't even say for like a lot of things. So that was kind of confusing. Um. And I tried to, I freaking tried to archer, they're doing alright, but they, they're they getting kind of low in arrows some time. Oh, it's that one, yup. No, it's uh, definitely the one that likes fruit. I don't think that was around for very long, right? Because you... Um, usually the fruit will, like, eat their own thing. Oh, I can actually eat this dude. It's one of the few guys I can actually eat in here is the orb spiders. I gotta check these entropy weavers. Maybe I can eat those. I don't think so, though. Uh... Oh, hold up. That's an edible chunk of meat that just went flying off that entropy weaver. Alright, well, that's something at least. Oh, yeah, another royal jelly for me to eat. Wait, wait. Oh, what am I carrying around? It's probably something useless in here. There's... I probably don't need quite as much protection from magic. Yeah, I've got like two of them. I've got um three willpower without any of them on, so... Shouldn't be necessary. 
All right, Sith Mata, what have you got for me? I hate how the spell books, like, each their own individual thing instead of or go out, going into a library. This past or Shroud of Galabria. Bend space around the castle's body, protecting from the blows. Right, I don't remember that one. Rage attacks cannot be diverted in this way. Shroud is highly unstable, may fall apart. Yeah, it's, uh, it's alright, but it doesn't tend to last very long. Might just leave this book. I don't think there's anything I really want in there. Leave the Wand of Lightning. I haven't really been using my Wand of Lightning. Ooh, more recharging. Oh, just three recharging, which is great, because uh, I use those for my Kiel moves and my Teleport ones. So I don't get a Haste Wand this time around, because I think there is technically a Haste Wand as well. Oh, there's also the crazy... Oh. Whoa, it's a ghost. It's, um... Mark B3's ghost. They've got Fireball, Spellfall, Shovel, Blink, Summon, Butterflies, Orb of Destruction. Ooh, they're bad. Are they Fire this though? No. I'm bring out a box of beasts. I'm not sure how much that will help. I'm going to try and burn them up with some fire. They seem to be burning fairly well, which is really good, because they got some nasty things. Now nah, I'm going to have to channel some magic, I think. Get me going here, but this is alright now. Yeah, so it's uh, old enough that the ghosts just wander around the level, like they're not in ghost vaults, which is kind of crazy. Oh, there's another high elf? I didn't even check the uh, race. Yeah, they can do the potions. It's oh, magic, they actually exist? I probably don't need that too much with Sif Mata, but it's still nice to see one. You have to kind of spread out. Oh. Channel some magic, but this isn't perfect. I'm getting very hungry here. Uh. Oh, I'm going to have to quickly eat something. I think a raw jelly is reasonably quick to eat. Hmm. Maybe not as quick as I thought. But I couldn't really keep it going because I was like near starving or something. I'm hungry again. Uh, there was a pizza over here. I might go eat that one. Maybe. I did have a radiant. I think I even got some... Oh, actually, I should check my skills. Another really annoying thing is there's no skill numbers. So I keep on getting confused by that. Um, I'll get some cold rage and I'll get some fire. Yeah, so I'll leave skills just, like, going, and I'll be, like, trying to lead them to go until they reach their limit, but obviously there's no limit, so, um, yeah, they need a little bit of, uh, babysitting with the skills. All right. So at least a royal jelly here and a pizza for me to eat, because I I'm down to like all my last three rations that I brought with me, whereas it yeah, and then plus a few more that I've got sitting in the um lair entrance. I just kinda like to get through here with what I've got, but I might not. I should use my irradiate more often. I think I've got a decent amount of power on it now. I don't actually know what this version of a Radiant's like, but it seems actually pretty good, I think. Actually, that's barely contaminating me. I should be using that way more. Also, finally, some food. Alright, this is a really good find. Um, let me just go eat one of these, though, because I'm getting kind of hungry. No, because these actually seem to fill me up quite a lot. Like, there's uh, eight of them right there. There's actually three more. There's 11 of them on this level. Wait, did that wave just, like, appear out of nowhere? It felt like it did. Yeah, he's a, he's a pandemonium pizza. That's not even pandemonium pizza. That's just normal pizza, I think. Yeah, the webs uh, don't seem to appear until you get close to them for some reason. 
But traps and doors is not a skill, so I can't, like, get that to uh, reduce, uh, well, to see the traps better. So I don't know quite what's going on there. Um, can I identify this potion? I might actually be able to do that now. I can also identify the wads, but I might just do the potion. Oh, yeah, cancellation. That's what's happening. Um... I don't think I'm really using this lightning. I'm not actually sure if it's any good. But I've, I tried like a little bit earlier and it doesn't seem that amazing. But maybe I just need more skill. Oh, hey, Bei Shujen. She's summoning the dragon. So she turned into a dragon once I damaged her sufficiently. Yeah, she does. Okay, she does her normal things. Clearly, she hasn't been changed in some time. I don't have any resistance to that trick. Oh, there's yellow ones? Yeah, like the heal wounds and the teleportation. Those seem, uh, seem pretty good. Oh. Wait, my channel magic's gone, but I can't do another bolt of fire. Uh-oh. I think I can irradiate her. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, oh, I can eat her. Um, I guess she's not a spider. She's like a human that turns into a dragon or something. You're not even sure if she's entirely sure if she's human. I'm gonna do the Saki channel magic thing in here. Yeah. Uh, occasionally lets you cast a spell when you're out of magic points. Also, I don't want to explore when I'm out of magic points. That's a really bad idea that it never ends well. So for some reason, the explore doesn't wait for me to heal up because, um, I guess it just did it in this version of the game. Ah, it's an edible meat. I just saw the meat getting splattered everywhere. I got a little bit excited, but no, that's not going to help me out. Also, my fire one's better because it uh, costs less food to cast my fire one than trying to hit things with the opposite destruction. But some things are just resistant to fire, so it makes sense to uh, blow them up with fire. Or the opposite destruction, I mean, if they're resistant to fire. Um, I might actually tr no, I might use her the royal jellies because I think those are the least likely ones to get replaced in the future. Oh wait, ah, uh, there's some jerky on the ground. I should probably grab that one. Hide around the corner. Try to get the magic points back here. Okay, I've got a I've got like a jerky or something I can eat, right? I might as well eat that one. Just get rid of it. Because I don't think I've got any like mega stacks of jerky or anything. Oh, the entropy weaver did never call for me to eat. That's fine. And I'm hungry again. Yeah, jerky doesn't keep you going long. So I just eat a raw jelly. I think they keep you going a bit longer. In fact, that collection of royal jelly I found might have been enough to almost make up for all the food that I've spent going through this place. Um... Come on, just head with the fire. Only is that not dead with the fire? Oh, I'm hungry again. I'll just eat a royal jelly. And this is level 4, so I should be able to get my rune nice and soon, I hope. I don't know if the... I mean, the spider there seems like the one I'm familiar with. So I'm guessing it probably has pretty similar rune bolts to what I'm familiar with as well. 
and I'm not going to have too many problems with that. Oh, maybe the raw jellies don't offer that much food or something. They don't seem to be lasting too long. Although, that could just be because they go through food really fast. But I don't think they offer as much as the ration. Oh, hey, Zalt Trap. I just saw uh, Pierre next to me. I kind of like how the traps just sometimes appear next to me. I feel like almost with the sorcerer's malevolence, you need to have like the ones that you uh, just appear and you don't actually get affected by. That'd be kind of nice. Where you can just like see the trap and you can lure monsters into it and stuff. Like, I know why they got changed to not be based on, like, ones on the floor, because, um, people were trying to, like, I think, uh, void where, no, they were trying to stand on spaces that monsters had stood on or something, and avoid, like, the spaces that monsters had stood on. Oh, I might do my channel magic-y thingy. Divine magic thingy, whatever it's called, divine energy, I think. All right, what's this book? So we've got a uh, ring of flames. It's a charmed fire. A delayed fireball. Is delayed fireball any good? There's also a fireball here. Um, does this food have choco food? Cos? Wait, what do you mean? I don't think I've seen any jokers. Oh, what's... Oh, no. Ah, no. I read my teleport. That was an accident. That's not good. I haven't seen any references to jokers or any... Oh, there's a choker, though. Not that I can, uh... Not that it's specifically called a choker. I think it's just called a fruit in this version. Delayed five was just fireball, but you cast it for free? Wait, what do you mean? Cast it for free. Does it not take a turn to place down or something, or...? I was actually trying to read the book here. Oh, right, that's a lowercase w. No wonder I got that wrong. I think that's just a poison one that I wasn't going to use. Uh, is it worth getting though? It delayed fireball, maybe. Let's see if we got any spell levels. I got a few spell levels. I totally could pick it up. Oh, that's got a lot of failure on it. Uh, are you casting an advance and then you fired off for free later? Huh. I mean, I guess there's some, like, uh, just way you could make that useful with certain strategies, but it doesn't sound that amazing. It's definitely not a spell that I ever really remember using too much, but that's mainly to do with me not playing too many mages. Alright. Oh, ghost moth. Um, I gotta just try and, like, burn it up, see if that works. Okay, it does work. You can probably even eat it, right? No, it's mutagenic. I cannot eat it. Oh, you can see why it got removed? Yeah, that seems a little, uh, a little silly. Finish eating the royal jelly. It was delicious. Good. I do, in fact, like royal jelly. But a royal jelly, like, tastes like in real life, like, whether it's good? No idea. Probably is, but like, doesn't sound very good for the queen bee removing all the royal jelly from a hive. Oh, gotta eat another one. All right. This game is throwing so much removed cards at me. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Um. <laughs> Like, I feel like I'm meant to be trying on more various items, but I don't know, maybe maybe not. It probably would be the optimal thing to do, just try on a bunch of items, even if they didn't look that good, just to see if they were good or something. Oh, wait, it might have to radiate this guy. There we go, I've got enough magic for it. Wait, hunger again? I've got another raw jelly. Oh, I, I can't defeat this guy. I better just put on a... Well, not with my current state, I better just put on some invisibility. I don't lose all my magic points to it.
Ah, Hygri again. All right. I'll deal with this guy, and then uh, I'll deal with the Hygri afterwards. Oh, very hungry. Oh, you can wear ID everything that's interesting? Yeah. I mean, I wear... I don't know. Maybe just, like, feel like I'm not wear ID enough stuff. Um, because with, like, gear, I definitely... Wait, I'm trying to eat a thing, not read a thing. I definitely, with all the gear, I, I didn't identify it. I just put it on, see what it was. But he, um, I guess I, I, I mean, I had less plenty of gear just on the ground where I never tried it on, so I think that's probably why I've got so many. It's gonna radiate this guy, I think. Oh, there's some uh, downsides of Randards. Right, because with the Randards, you can get, the, I think I actually got one of this character, like, they contaminate one just randomly. Although it's actually good armor on this character, so yeah, whatever. Uh, can I just eat these fruit? Oh, the tangerine, the tomato, choco, and handful of dates, alright? Oh, I might as well just straight up eat the beef jerky off the ground as well. Fill me up that way. Oh, there's always a million RCs. Oh, remove cursed scrolls after the early game, though. Yeah, all right. I guess it's made common so that um you do get it in the early game. That's probably the probably the only reason it's really made like super common. Oh wow! I ran off and I shouldn't have. And that's Ambrosia. I didn't even realize Ambrosia exists in this version, but apparently it does. So I could drop the. I barely need that flight. I could probably drop that. I could drop one of these slave, but I haven't really been using them. And they're basically one of Charming, I think. They're just renamed. Oh, one of the reasons for removing curses, they didn't do much? Wait. Oh, right, right, right. So they're basically just there for Nash and Zari <laughs> at that point for a while. Yeah, I mean, Nash and Zari at least uh, had their own unique curse mechanic now. No, they kind of just uh, got you during the early game, but they also fill up an inventory slot, so I guess that's not perfect either. I just want to try the staff. I mean, it's probably not even that good. Uh, I don't actually need this protection from magic, do I? Alright, stuff cold, sure. Yeah, I mean, I use fire magic, so there's no point in swapping away from this. Hey, there we go. Second rune unlocked. Excellent. Uh Oh, Ashenzari needs to remove curse scrolls because Ashenzari used to gain piety by having curse gear, right? I remember that being a thing. Uh, I didn't play that much, but I remember that being a thing for the few games I did play. Um Yeah, so I guess the uh remove curse scrolls would be reasonably important in that case. Alright, well, I'm done with the spider nest, so I'll go back to the Elven Halls. I got, I uh, still got a decent willpower, I think. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Go. I can get food when I'm in the Elven Halls. I can eat an elf or something. Now I might eat a, eat a slice of pizza on the way over. That's a vegetable pizza, alright. Oh, I'm probably going to eat this guy, actually. Now that I think about it. Um, how am I going with food? Got one royal jelly. Might actually drop the royal jelly because it doesn't stack up with the stuff I've got. Uh, no, I'll keep it. I can, I can eat it. That's my next thing I eat, I think. I could, uh, to remove curse scrolls into curse item scrolls. And that's how you curse your stuff. Right, of course, you needed them to get rid of the... Yeah, well, that would actually use quite a lot of uh, remove curses, I guess. I forgot about the whole fact that you had to use, like, a remove curse scroll to actually curse up a thing. Uh, a nice layer one stash. Yeah, I got a little bit of a layer one stash going. But the inventory, there's kind of a lot of inventory pressure with, like, all the various things of food. And also just carrying around the spellbooks is not, not helping my inventory as well. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I got a little bit of a lab one stash going. Oh, that's not right. Chop this dude up, come on. 
I should get to full pretty quick, I imagine. Oh, what do air elementals do in this game? Do they do bolt and lightning, or do they do the, like, the short duration paralysis one? I'm actually not sure. I'm gonna have to examine one of those when I next see an air elemental. Whoa. Maybe some beefy deep elves in here. Like, this annihilator here. I should probably take care of that one. Actually, do they have multiple spell lists? They might not always have the same spell list. Um... I don't know, I'm gonna have to look at the next Annihilator and see, see if they always have Crystal Spear. Are those uh, Deep Elf Mages that have, uh, that have Banish? Right, because you get the Deep Elf Mages, you get all the various kind of Elves. In fact, this is back when, uh, I mean, this is a Deep Elf, right? Yeah, I think they do have a chance of Banish. Or the elementalists don't, uh, don't do anything interesting. Let's check this one out. It probably just does bold lightning or something. Or not. It's immune to electricity. It's extremely fast. Also, it's just a melee thing that's, like, extremely fast. Huh. Guess that's not too bad. It's got a bit of evasion on it as well, but I guess it's not, um, not as special as the uh, new air elementals are. I have something to enchant, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah, I've got a cloak. I can max that one out. How's that? Oh, the fire stuff's still 100% failure, really? How's that still 100% failure? I know I've got this big shield, but... That honestly doesn't seem quite right. Um, I might get a little bit more shield skill, but i got to keep an eye on these skills. Um, also... It's really important that I actually get the invocations. I should do that now, and try and get my invocations actually usable. Wait, this guy needs an orb of, uh, orb of destruction. And if I get close, I can irradiate it. I'm pretty sure this weapon still have all the resists in this version of the game. Oh, the basic deep elves used to have the wizard spell book, which included banish. Yeah, they, they've got like multiple ones, right? So if they end up with one of these, and one of these is banish. Wait, maybe not for this guy, but someone, there's someone where they have banish. Uh, I don't know, apparently not that guy though. Wait, is that a fruit? It's two fruit. Oh, what was that guy? Deep Elf Sorcerer, okay. Um... I wonder what that fruit tile is for. Is that like a snoz or something? I don't know, there were like some funny fruit in this game. Oh, got a... No, it's something I can't I familiar. Some nice... Some demon? I'm not into something, but some demon's interesting. I don't think I'll grab that one, but that's definitely interesting. Oh, a copper amulet? I gotta leave the amulet. If I want a magic regen one, I can buy one. I think it's probably the way I could do it. Uh, I was leaving the mutation. I think the mutation is not a good one right in this game. I think it's the removed mutation and the beneficial mutation of potions I want. At least I hope so. Oh, this is just post the rework for their spells. They have a slightly different spells. They don't have the banish. Probably still some guys with banish, right? Like the sorcerers or something. Uh, or demonologists almost certainly do. Oh, yeah, the demonologists. I'm pretty sure these guys have banish, right? They have banish with three percent, and they can summon some demons. But generally, they're not too bad. Uh, it's Hall of Blades, at, like, right next to me on level 2 of the whole Elven Halls here. I don't know. I should be, I think it's still 3 levels deep, because I know, like, in old versions, the Elven Halls are, like, way too deep. Oh, it's Elementalist. Does Awaken Earth, Paste, Repel Missile, Fireball, Freezing Cloud. Is Awaken Earth the one where it turns the walls into Elementals, or is that a different thing? I don't know. I'd say to use it, whatever it did. Oh god, another teleport, I get kind of short on those. And it's a shame I accidentally wasted those, like, because I make some a W and a capital W. I find the online fonts are a bit too close to some of their letters, unfortunately. Oh, I think it was like eight levels at one point. Right, yeah, they're definitely. I know there's at least seven. Um, but I thought there was like an intermediate between like having seven levels. 
uh, and three levels, but I could be entirely wrong on that. Oh, that was before you played? I think I did, like, get into the Elven Halls when it was super deep before. I think. I definitely played a version where it was super deep, I'm just not sure if I got that deep. And it definitely wasn't online. Oh, there's a number of people that have been to Elf 6, Elf 4, Elf 7, 5, 2, 1, 3, yeah. So Elf 7 looks like it was the deepest. Um, That's some tough mages. There's this dude. Death Mage. Twisted Resurrection. Cool Lost Soul, Vampiric Draining. Well, yeah, these guys really are doing the spells that I'm familiar with. Like, this guy's got a uh, Crystal Spear, Blink, yeah, that's what I'm used to. This dude's doing Twisted Resurrection, wait. Cool Down Damnation, I'm not used to that, having Twisted Resurrection. Radio, the one's next to me, of course. That's a sensible thing to do. Yeah, I think some of those guys are getting, like, resurrected or something. Uh... But I think it's, like, the current resurrect where they come back with... Like, they can't be resurrected again. It can only happen once. I believe it's like that, anyway. Alright, four chunks of light, I don't need anywhere near that much. Yeah, there's such a big difference. Is this book I need? It's got dark, oh, it's got shadow. Um, but I can't, like, I can't, like, divide X and use. I don't even think that's a thing. I need silence, I don't really need yards. There's an iron shot in here. I think I'm gonna leave that book and just keep on going with the fire, because I don't think I'm gonna have XP to go for anything else, honestly. Still 100% failing with the fire storm, really? I mean, I know I'm using, like, a massive shield right now, but that seems, um... Kind of brutal. Oh, do I even have a thing to identify? Got some wands. Well, I'll do like a wand of acid or something. It's only got four charges as well. It's not that many. I hear all the wands don't like stack up. They're individual wands. They have like individual charges. Kind of annoying. I would say I throw out an orb of destruction here, but I'm going to run the magic points, aren't I? So if I do the Sif Shadow, I could probably take out this guy. Oh, I missed. Ah, uh, that's not good. Uh, if I hide around this corner, I should be able to do the, the Sif cast again against this guy. Hey, they even turned into, like, chunks of meat. Excellent. What stacking was a great change, yeah. I don't think that made the inventory less annoying to manage with such a great change. There's been quite a few changes like that. Um, book of changes, that sounds like a shape-shifting thing. Let's take a look. Yes, yeah, blade hands, ice form spider, sticky, six of snakes, and uh, beastly appendage. That's the old um, the old trans uh, transmutation book, whatever it is. Back when sticks and snakes was still a thing. <laughs> uh... I can give myself fire, just a few things I could swap around. Alright. I guess agility potions do give evasion, so they're worth keeping around. Oh, I got seven brilliance now somehow? I don't think I need this book of dissolution. That was, uh, that's like control blink and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it cast more, unfortunately. Over oh, destruction, exploding enemy into chunks will be missed, though. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's probably the only nice thing about the old food. That's a ring of magical power. I don't think I need that right now. Uh, no, nah, probably not. I think I'm better off just relying on Sif for my magic points needs. That seems to be what a lot of Sif minor characters do. Oh, it's maybe for the uh, rune doors were transparent as well. Like, they have a really nice sprite for they're not transparent, but... Kind of did make sense to turn them transparent so the people that didn't know what to expect behind them would be able to at least see. 
It's really nice with ghost ones. Not that ghost ones even exist with this version. I guess that's strange. Um, oh, there's tons of emulation. I haven't checked those out. Uh, wait, I'll check out the stuff, but I'll probably not end up keeping it. Stuff of air. It's resistor electric. I might keep it, actually. I'll take it so it's a, it's a swappable resistor electric. Man, I was filling up my inventory again. Uh, probably the magical palace for something I can drop to grab the pizza. Oh, one of these things I'll summon a demon. I mean, that doesn't really matter. Who actually summoned the guy? Is that going to tell me? Uh-huh. Well, presumably when I kill one of these mages, the uh, demon will go away, right? Oh, probably even this mage. Um, just channeling, though. Just a normal channel of magic. Yeah, okay. It did, uh, did go away. Go check my hunger again. So they haven't really changed a lot. Uh, I mean, the Firestorm, if I ever got that cast, will be super hunger intensive. But, hey, at least it probably wouldn't take too many casts to kill things. So, like, that would be something at least. Um, oh, right, I've eaten as much as I can. I'm all full of elves. Sure, I'll check out the staff as well. I'll probably have to pick the air one back up. Um, let's see. So we've got a staff of death. I really don't think that's important. I might just drop it. I, I think uh, resist negative is just as unimportant as it's always been, basically, in this version. If I remember correctly. But, hey, it's been a long time since I really did any serious game in this version. In fact, this might even be, like, the furthest I've ever been in this version. I'm not sure. I think that guy spawned is so funny. Alright, well these are the top elves, so it looks like I've only got three levels to go through, which is kinda nice. I don't have to worry about like el endless levels of the elven halls or something. So I might just exclude this, go do the rest of the levels and come back to that. Uh Hopefully it's fine dropping the flight. I think I dropped my potions to fly as well, so it's not entirely perfect. Oh, it's plus six evasion. Um, that's almost only bound to the plus three protection. Yeah, you know what? I might actually keep that one on now that I think about it. Ooh, recharging. Nice. I got four recharging, which is actually quite a lot. So I've effectively got tons of teleports if I need them, even though it doesn't look like I got tons of teleports. Which is interesting, when I was protected from the miscasting of the strike, I still got, um, fog coming out. I guess it just stops me from taking damage. I keep on forgetting that I'm protected from the effects of miscast, because I don't think New Sif does that. I think that's specific to this version of Sif Mana. Uh, I can't enchant the stuff, so there's no point in grabbing the enchant weapon. I actually kind of like the sprite on these old death mages. It's kind of cool. Alright, so I can eat this guy. I don't seem to have had like any... Oh yeah, they do make the elementals. Hmm. Wait, does this guy make elementals as well, or is it just the other guy? He's a little bit closer than get rid of these elementals. Um, oh, is the fire not making it all the way through all these elementals? Oh, I'm probably going to have to teleport out. Hopefully not teleport in. Oh, there's the guy anyway. Although I don't have any magic, so I might channel some just in case it puts me in a bad spot. And it looks like... Wait, did I fail the chat magic? It's an like 8% failure. I guess I did. Oh, because all my skills are like drained right now. Huh.
But that just goes away from getting XP in this version of the game. That's what it uh, said when I looked at the description for it. It's just a dodgy channel magic. I think that's going to be enough to get rid of that guy. There we go. Alright, I should be able to radiate this one. Oh, I didn't quite kill it. I guess it was good enough for allow me to finish off with a melee attack with my Stop of Fire, because I do do a little bit with those. Wait, is that an artifact stuff? It can't be an artifact stuff, right? Right? Wait, when did artifact stuffs exist? Man, I want to pick up these scrolls and identify. I'm not sure if there's something I want to identify. I mean, obviously, if I want to be using these wands, I should try to identify them or something. Uh... Can I actually drop the, um, blame and hopefully that's not too bad. There's a rod of shadows? What on earth is that? A rod that weaves creatures from shadow and ethereal matter. It uses its own magic reservoir for casting spells and recharges automatically according to the recharging rate. It can have at most uh, 17 charges at plus 9 recharge rate. Okay. Weaves a creature from shadow and threads of abyssal matter. A more powerful creature that summoned with higher power. Um... I don't remember what this one did, but okay, I guess I'll pick it up. Is it telling me I can charge up with like an enchant weapon, or how does that work? Because maybe. I seem to remember there were like rods that you could charge um with an enchant weapon. Vaguely, but that I don't remember the specific one. I remember like the the what was it? The art fights at start used to have one. Alright, Blade Masters should be fine. I remember rods, but you don't remember that rod? Yeah, exactly. Like, I remember rods, I just don't remember. Wait, where is it? Huh? Did I do wield it or something? Oh, I probably had to wield it and then, like, evoke it or something crazy. Whoa. I don't know if it was worth retreating back there, but I had to retreat back at some stage. And... Do I need another teleport on my find here? Kind of low on magic, and I'm slightly wounded. Whoo! That summoned, right? It's a Balrog, I think. Okay, well, what's this dude got? It's got an uncursed twisted shot bow. It's got something else as well, doesn't it? It's got an iron rod. Um, sure. I don't think I'm massively interested in, like, an iron rod. Is that the one that's, like, it turned to Trevor Stones, right? I'm pretty sure that's the one. Unless I'm misremembering. I should eat some of these guys. I haven't eaten for a little while here. Because I've been too focused on escaping all these creatures to stop and eat. I don't even think there's any corpses here. Oh, it's a skeleton. Yeah, it's been too long. Oh, 99% chance of the firestorm. I mean, it's a long way off. But at least it's making some progress. I remember the first time I tried doing the Elven Hordes and I was like really surprised at how many like tough elves there were in here and I don't think I even survived. I'm pretty sure I died pretty quick to all the tough elves, but I did the wrong thing. I didn't pull them back. I uh, basically charged them to fight them and that was not a great idea, but that was the, the first time I ever did the Elven Hordes. Ooh, yeah, so much challenging magic, but it doesn't seem to be mattering too much with my piety.
I guess I think I'm running out of spellbooks to gift, because that seems to be what matters the most for your piety. Um, all the piety that gets taken gifting the spellbooks. Definitely still quite a number of guys left. Um, I'm going to pull these back just a little bit. Should be the same way. They should actually be slower than me, I think, because they got the boots of running on. To kind of increase the item, just increasing your move speed. No, I think they have helped me out quite a bit finding these roots of boots of running. Pack is full, let's probably find it, because then we eat the cell, falls on the ground here. Oh, it's an acquirement, that's probably what it's trying to give me. So, oh, right, the acquirements work differently. You know what, I gotta ask for... I don't need a book, I don't need food. Um, I could ask for armor, I could ask for jewelry, or I could ask for stuff. I might try asking for some jewelry, see what it gives me. Last time it gave me a useless artifact, which was kind of a shame, but hey. Um, I don't know if I want this Rod of Shadows, I don't even really know what it does. I got the identifiers. Um, I should check what I've got to actually identify. Maybe at some stage. Also, is that book of fire actually really needed? Ah, uh, ring of flames was the second tad, but I couldn't really cast it. I might just drop it. All right. So I got the like, healing potion. I got my fine gold ring. That'll be the one I got gifted. The fine gold ring. Try down set of poison resist. So it's poison resist still active because of intelligence. That's amazing. I mean, it can damage things when you take it off, but that's not coming off. So like. Yeah, <laughs> it's just good. And now I've got the resist electric, which is really helping my resist out. I mean, I could do a little bit more fire resist, but I'm doing pretty well. Oh, it's a deep elf master archer. Doing pretty well with the resist, I think. Because I got the willpower, I'm missing resist corrosion and resist negative. I could probably do another fire resist. But, I mean, these are good enough resists. Alright, but at least I feel like I made the right choice with the acquirement after what it gave me. Uh, let's get all rapiers of speed. That would be on the... What are they called? The, like the blade masters or whatever they are. Oh, I'm going to run away. I think I can. Should be able to outrun this guy if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm, I'm very slowly leaving it behind. I can just uh, run upstairs and radiate this dude that's following me and then I'll be fine. All right. Who summoned that? It was probably the Elementalist that summoned that guy. So it should die pretty quick. There we go. Yeah, I remember the, those um, Earth guys getting summoned for like the longest period of time. And then it got changed into... What did it get changed to? Like Lee's Rap Deconstruct or something? I don't remember. It got Brilliance. Wait, does Brilliance actually half the magic cost? Or is it something different than this version of the game? Because didn't it used to like do something different that wasn't quite as good? Uh, where is the Brilliance anyway? A potion which greatly increases the intelligence and magical power of one who drinks it, but I don't know if it actually has the magic cost. Um, I think it used to make it like, uh, yeah, like your spells a bit more powerful. I think that's what it's doing. <clears throat> but I mean, it's definitely something, but it's definitely not a... Not anyway like uh, what it does now with half magic cost. Unless you cast spells earlier, right. So you'd have to, if you had a, something like Firestorm that wasn't quite there, which was ages away from being there, you could drink a Brilliance and be able to actually cast it for a little while. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I vaguely remember that version of Brilliance, but it's not the one that I've um, used much.
That's all the strategies probably that have a hard time. Oh, wait it. Alright, any of these got bodies? It's got something that's not a body. Oh, it does have a body. It's got an artifact rig. So I can... Oh, I picked it up already? Uh, I guess I tried the, the compare with the evasion. So it's wizardry, fire resist, seven intelligence, and a willpower. I probably don't need the willpower, but like the rest of that stuff's pretty good. I need the fire resist. You know what? That's probably staying on. Uh, oh, 58% uh, with the fire storm. Hold up a second here. Oh, we're using brilliance to LRD down stone walls, etc. I guess, oh man, that sounds tedious, but I guess that is the thing. Hold on, I need a smaller shield for a little while. Um, Wait, these are ages away. Where's the close ones? I want a buckler, but maybe I could try a buckler. Yeah, I'll try, I'll try a buckler first, but I'll probably want to get like a medium shield. It just might, um, uh, I don't need that fire this ring anymore. Alright. I don't know if I do. Try it on. So, that tags my shield value, but 10% fell on the fire storm. Okay. Okay. I'll take that. I'm also outside uh, spellcasting yoga, so it should be on, actually. But I might just do spellcasting for a little while. Try to catch that one back up. No, uh, there's another rig here that I should grab, so I can drop the... Did I forget resist corrosion or not? I don't think I did, so that was something I'm missing. I could drop the... I uh, dropped the ice blast, I don't really expect that sort of thing. Or to cast some spell to kill off the fire, right, if you had nothing, nothing suitable. Um, I mean, that's the only one I can really take off. Oh, it's slow, resist poison, willpower, nah, it's useless. Uh, was there something else I wanted to pick up here? I don't know if there was. I thought I dropped something though, but maybe not. But also, I should actually be fire stopping people. What's the letter for that one? B for fire storm, alright. I also want to eat some people to try and, uh... Get my health, well not my health, my magic points back. Alright, let's try on this guy. Yeah, take that, a big firestorm. Oh, that has an animation on it. I guess the, the quicker animations is not uh, passed to the server or something. It's probably fine. It's just like playing on a slightly laggy server for me, so I don't really want animations. Ooh, blinking. That's like the third blinking I've seen this entire game. I feel like blinking used to be such a rare thing. I could probably drop the evasion rig. Um, definitely give me that blinking, come on. Oh, what did I pick up? A silver ring? That's... Nah, I want the blinking. I don't have a lot of those for the old run, and I can't remember if the old run's like random teleport or whether it's like actual proper teleport this time around. Oh, that's not it. There we go. There's a box of beasts? There's multiple box of beasts. I need a manual crossbows. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there's so many things here. A oh, manual of logbows. Um, minor magic's probably not that good. No, it's a mephitic cloud stuff. I think it's the starter one. Book of dreams as uh shadow creatures, darkness, silence. Okay, that's not that special. Don't think I need a fan if I've got one, but I do need to drop some items. Um, what I what I have to drop. Oh, I might just read the identifiers on like stuff. Um. I got an unidentified heal wounds? Okay. Shame we got two of those, because it'd be nice if they were stacked up. I'll do the paralysis as well. Uh, in fact, I don't know if I was really worth doing that paralysis. I'm not sure if I want to keep it around. Okay, what can I drop? I think Brosian Magic, Brilliance. Okay. Probably one of these spell books. I could probably drop this one, I think. I, uh, this is where you need multiple books to be. In fact, I might just drop the spell books because I kind of got the spells I was after, right? I don't care about the manuals. It's weird having the manuals fill inventory. Like, I, I'm so used to just picking those up whether I need them or not because they don't fill inventory usually, but no, not this time around. Um, man, so many items. I think, oh, it's going to be if I really want to pick them up or not. 
Oh, you think Blinky is about the same? Some games you just get barely any? I feel like every time I play an old version of the game, I get, like, no blinking. But maybe I'm just, uh, maybe it's just luck because I have barely played the old version of the game. Um. Uh -huh. I think the thing to do is drop my gloves, pick these up, see if they're any good. Plus two gloves, they give points of resistance for intelligence. Uh, they do radically corrode you, but it's probably worth it. I need the intelligence. I'm down to stamp percent failed the fire so I only even took a... Oh, look at that. The bottle of fire is no hunger. Oh, this right is way taken down, because I got so much intelligence. I'm a 48 intelligence. Yeah, I mean, all those items of intelligence made such a big difference. Um, I think I'm time for the depths, right? I feel like I'm doing fairly well at the moment, but I gotta be careful not to... Not to die still, I've only got 150 something health. I don't uh have that much. Alright, burn up that guy. I mean these guys aren't gonna survive very well because these are just dead uh, not even these are just dodgy creatures. What? Oh, I am going to the depths, so it's just taking a little while to load up. Who's summoning this dude? I don't know, I'll burn it, but I'd like to know who was actually summoning it. Oh, the bog out would be. Alright, I see. Whoa, okay. I better be very careful not to hit myself, but okay. Gotta, gotta keep that in mind. I do have a little bit of fire resistance, but it's clearly not enough. Oh, it's like... Why am I on fire? I thought Sif Mana was meant to protect me from miscasts and spells, but apparently I still end up on fire, so I don't know. How many of these dudes gotta have bodies, right? Uh, if I rest up, they might lose all their bodies. Oh. Sure. Miscast. Oh, don't know that spell is fine. I guess I tell him magic after all, it just seems a little bit silly. Um, what did I get down to? I know I still have some miscast. I got down to 6% miscast. Just not terrible. Alright, well I can eat a fire giant. Oh. Hopefully I can uh, eat that yet. Hey, it's an all. He's probably going to just left it to burn to death. Because this is fire storm after all, so it will set everything on fire. Um. Ah. Yeah, it does go through a lot of magic points, but I think this is going reasonably well. Oh, I need to challenge this a little bit more. There we go. What spells this guy got? Oh, it hit me with acid. So that's what I'm not resistant to. And I think if they use one spell, then that's like the spell they have uh, always. Um, I mean, obviously the next one would always have it. Uh, ooh, healing potion, what else is there on the ground? I mean, there's chunks of flesh. I think there was something else, there's a scroll of amnesia. I could probably get away without the scroll of amnesia. I don't think I've got anything that I massively need to get in a hurry or anything. Oh, wait, I'll just step back just a little bit so I can burn this guy without risking hitting myself because I've did determine that that did a lot when I accidentally hit myself previously. That's right, things like LRD off screen. I saw something trying to maybe LRD off screen there. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, hey, Bogart, I'll just run back, I think. Right, it's reasonably fast, but that's fine. I should still be able to get back to my staircase here. Come on, somebody's got to have a body here. Probably not. They burn a fire dragon? Um, yeah, I think so. And I do have a bit of extra food. It doesn't seem like I'm going through it super fast, so this should probably be fine. 
No. What's a, what's like a basic snake doing in there? It's always funny when you get like the super basic creatures like really late in the game. And these have a more of this old version as well. I think the creatures were kind of moved around to be in slightly more sensible areas. Um, Deep troll. Oh good, I can eat that. Hey, another deep troll. I can eat that one. Uh, I'll ignore the amnesia for now, I think. I shouldn't fire some of the basic bats, that's ridiculous. Okay, so there's a, there's a potential fire here. If I... No, I don't, I don't have a ring to swap for that one, so I'm just going to leave it on the ground. In fact, uh, one of my rings is already giving me fire of this, which is nice of it. Alright, well, someone's got to have a body to eat here. This one's got it. Oh, it's got a small jelly pot. And these yanks really fill me up because they, well, I mean, they're large creatures, so they, they have lots, lots of flesh. Um, fire dragon scales? Not really. No, I can't really get my cords and stuff by armor, I think. Oh, there's another jelly pot. Hey, at least I'm fighting the jelly pots now. That's nice. Although, I think I've got plenty if you actually count for the, the like, one they've got. This has actually been an incredibly slow game. I think part of that's to do with the fact that I'm unfamiliar with the uh, with this version of the game. Well, not that familiar. I've probably played it before. I don't know. I skipped a few versions. Might have been another version where I was taking a break from the game. But also the fact that the server's a little bit laggy. So yeah, this is definitely on the slower side for me. In fact, I've done 15 rune games in less time than I've spent on this one. Because I think I spent like 2 or 3 hours in the morning with characters that died. Um... Just a bit of a shame. And then that would leave like five hours or more. Uh, this is one character. Oh, hey, Sif Mata, what are you trying to give me? Crystal Sphere, Statue Form, Darkness, Silence, Core Sphere, Gels, Gravity, and Slow. I mean, Crystal Sphere is still an option. Um. For dealing with things next to me, but I don't think I'll get it. Also. I got a little bit more spellcasting, but I gotta stop with the spellcasting soon. Also, I might just get a little bit more fighting. That was six percent fail. I'm just trying to. Mm. Hold up, hold up a second. I want to try putting on a different shield, like a slightly larger shield. See if that helps. There's one. That was a rude buckler. That could work. But the, there's a noble shield and spider. I might go with that one. Oh, I mean, I got to fight my way through some dragons first. It's just an ice dragon. That's not going to stand a chance against a full on firestorm. Probably even vulnerable to it, I'd imagine. Uh. If I still seeing lair creatures in here, they're not going to stand a chance, so there's the shield, so... I'll try dropping the buckler, I'll just turn the bucklers around if I need to grab another one. Um... That's a 13 potential, yeah, 7%, that barely made a difference, I can go with that. Let's go back to the depths. I'm glad I didn't see a spark boss when I first went through the spider's nest, because I didn't have resist electric back then. And, well, now I'm a lot tougher as well, as having resist electric. I don't know if they're braids edible. Three haste is going to be helpful. Hey, more cure mutations for when I get to Zod, I guess. That's probably where I'm going to use those. Um, I should drop a fire storm on this wizard. Oh, no. I can just step back and drop it on both of them. I mean, that works as well. Nope, there's definitely an earth mage around here. I can see it digging through all the walls. 
Oh, I think it even got me on like a, yeah, it got me for a, a little deep from outside of sight. Kind of, um, sketchy. But that probably, the, probably the reason that got removed is that it wouldn't interrupt like rest and stuff properly. Um, because it would think that you would like be in a safe spot and ready to rest up, but you'd actually be in somewhere where you're getting LRD'd. So I can just kind of see why that got removed. Man, Firestorm is definitely, um, I think it's the same sort of damage that it used to have. Let's see. Oh, where's the list of damage? It says that it has a list of damage in there. Sure. But it's, uh, it goes up to like 80, 20, I think, um, when you get to 100% power. Which is actually, whoa. Look at that power. That's like almost capped out power. That's crazy. Oh, no. Step back a little bit before I fry that guy. Can't see any, like, worthwhile to eat cops in there, so I'll just keep on moving. I'm already full anyway, so it's not a big deal. Alright, well, the plan was not to do hell, so I'm not going to take that hell gate. Although, I don't think I've got time for hell tonight anyway. Oh, ah, there's an ogre. Let me go back to that one. It's probably still there. I can probably still eat it before it disappears. Oh, there's also a meat rash on the ground. I should probably go grab that one as well. There's uh, fruit and there's books. So let me just look through these. So that, not that. Um, There's Tornado, which is an air spell. Nice level one. That's a replacement for like... Uh, I think a replacement chain lightning, I think. There's Conjure Lightning, Deflect Missiles, Silence, Air Strike. Nah, those aren't what I'm after. In fact, I've kind of got what I'm after. It's like Cosphere. Okay, those are fine. Oh, that's the Enchantress, right? I see her. She should be fine. She's not gonna like Firestorm. Wait, is she even alive? <laughs> yeah, because she relies so heavy on her evasion, she just kind of died in one Firestorm. That's hilarious. I'm not ready to kill her uh, like a little limp right now. I just don't have the magic points. Alright. I should check out a, um, whoops, I can't butcher that right now, I could kill this guy first. I should check out, like, a uh, armor, wherever that is. Not there, not there. Oh, of course, it's not gonna tell me until I actually pick it up what it actually does, of course not. Um, I might try the shield first, see if that's any good, it's probably not, it's just a little buckler, but it is, um... Oh, plus two buckler protection, actually, that's, that's not bad, I might go with that one, actually. Okay, what else did you got? She's got a fairy dragon scales. Let's try that. Oh, wait. My contaminates when I take it off. Can I identify this? No, I can't. It might be worth just dropping an identify on that, see what it does. Uh... Oh, the power pips are not linear. It's like 150 to 200 before the last pip, so even 100 to 200. You forget exactly what. Right, so okay, it's not quite as much as I thought then. Um, what I actually need right now is some invocations. I need to get that up to 23 or something. Because I really do want to try and get the Fantasms going at the end, which is going to be difficult. When do I want to do that? I've got to get it... Got to grab, like, Fantasms somewhere where I can get, like, a little bit of, um... Uh, all those human cops, they should eat that. Somewhere I can get a little bit of piety, which means somewhere with corpses, so I can't just use a crypt for it. Um... Is Karen able to do vaults 5? I'm not sure. How many magic potions have I got on me? Two, not that many. Yeah, it's a problem with the last minute phantom swap, though I might struggle with the magic points. But at least I'm kind of up and running with my spells now. Well, that's positive versus next, I don't think I care about that. 
Uh, don't care about the non-artifact things here, so I really don't care about those. Gadgets? Did I forget that digging one? I'm not sure I did. I don't think I'll worry about those ones right now. And those are non-artifacts, I don't care about those. Oh, wait, I'm right next to that, uh, meat. I should go grab it while I'm here. Which, of course, I can't carry it. Oh, of course not. Maybe I should just leave it on the ground. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm leaving it on the ground. I can come back for it if I want it, if I need it. Um, I really just can't carry that many different kinds of rations around. And it's, yeah, it's a reasonable spot to have it. It's sort of between where, me and where I'm going to go. Oh, it's 155 to 199? Wait, 150 to 199? Is that the, the pep I'm on? Right, so I guess that's a it's fairly big range before I... um. Hmm. That's not too bad. Why don't I keep it open going inventory? I'm trying to auto explore, not open my inventory. I've already got a wand of acid that I barely used. I don't know, that one might be a better wand of acid. It's really hard to tell. I'm just back here because I'm trying to get my magic points back. Um. But obviously I've like attracted half the level of the noise I made, so it's not quite working. Do I just I might just do the the little Sif channel thing? I guess the minus cast. Oh. That might have been a bad idea. I might just do the normal one. Yeah, because the minus cast's not gonna last forever, thankfully. I'll still super high, but it's probably much closer to 150. Yeah, it almost only is, which is like, what, 75% or more, which is actually about what I'd expect. It just looks like so much higher when you show it as like pips that it's like all the way at the end. Yes. Ooh. They did Guardian Serpent. Wait, do Guardian Serpents teleport things around me? I presume they do. Just make sure it doesn't exist anymore. Because they can't teleport stuff around me if it's not alive. Um, I should kill... I should kill these two guys, I guess. I won't survive the fire. I thought, it, I thought for sure I would die walking through the fire there, but nope. It just survived. Yeah, I'm gonna do the dodgy channel magic. Hopefully that's fine. Oh, there's uh, more guys that probably wasn't fine. I'll do the normal one. That's what always seems to happen at this point when I try the dodgy one. It's like, oh, that probably wasn't a good idea. Uh, I think it's fine if I hit myself. Like, uh, it would be great, but I think it's not gonna be too much damage, thankfully. This game really likes its like non-linear pimp systems where they really kind of mislead you on what the actual value is because I know Piety does that as well. It's really frustrating with Okawaru like uh... uh... Actually I should like away from this guy. Try to... oh. <laughs> Try to like when you get to five pips it looks like you're so close to having six pips but you're actually like ages away because the pips of Piety aren't equal distances apart and stuff. That's with the new Okawaru where you get the gifts of the first birth of party and it always seems so much harder to get to. Oh, I'm already full. Never mind. And the the worst thing with Okawaru is like if you miss it by the end of like uh Dungeon and Orcish Mines and stuff, and you have to go into a lab branch. You're gonna have a really bad time building up Piety in a lab branch. 
and it could be ages before you ever hit five pips of piety. But Okawar is still a really good god. It's just kind of frustrating that it's uh, such a big difference between hitting the piety early and not hitting the piety early. And some of that just depends on when you find the god. Oh, I got a channel. I think this is going to probably take uh, multiple. Wait, did that? It didn't cancel up my um, channeling, did it? That channel just, I think, went away super quick on its own. I don't think it got cancelled. Alright, let me go check on skills. So I'm just getting the fighting. I'll stop the fighting on 15 if I manage to notice it reaching 15. Um, probably only a couple more enemies that should be there. Well, a couple more groups of enemies, not actual enemies. Oh, so we're going to try the new Okawari? Yeah, definitely. They're, they're not too bad. They haven't really got much worse. Um, so you get more items early on, but less late on. I'm actually doing really well with recharging now. It's filling up my inventory, though. I could probably drop the book. Oh, nothing to butcher, nothing to butcher. Alright, this is now the entrance to hell. I can tell because it's Cosinus themed, so it's definitely got to be an entrance to hell. Uh, I'll leave the vulnerability. I don't know, I've got a few ones it could be used on, but I just don't think it's that useful. Oh, what have you got here? An identify. Wasn't I going to use that on something? I can't even remember what it was. Fairy Dragon Armor, see what that is. Uh, it's got intelligence plus nine, but it's got minus fire resist? Nah, I don't think so. That's a book of some description, isn't it? So it's got... Excruciating Wounds, Anime Dead, Vampire Engraving, Sublimation of Blood, Calls for on Song of Slaying. Um, I don't need Sublimation of Blood because this character, because they have barely any health, and they can channel with magic with Sith Mana. <laughs> no, so that's not going to quite work. But Sublimation of Blood, I've had a few characters where it was, like, really, really excellent. Oh, it's a Book of Power with a Subtor, and a uh, Bolt of Magma and Iron Bolt. If I had have had that earlier, that probably would have been fine, but I've already got Firestorm going, so, like, I'm just going to stay with the Firestorm. Also, can I get my magic back, please, before I go exploring? Uh, right, now that it's weird seeing multiple vials of bloods, but they don't stack up, like, they all share the same, um, charge. I don't need a book of flames. I'm pretty sure I've had, like, one of those before anyway. This character technically didn't start as a fire elementalist, but they definitely went that way. I think I started as, like, a conjurer or something. The fun thing about, like, Deepo is that I can play whatever combo I like, because I haven't won any of them. <laughs> At least not online, anyway. And probably not offline, either, honestly. Oh, you can still wield chunks for sublimation as- wait, you can wield chunks of- wait. So it's not where you lose a little bit of health, it's where you wield chunks. Man, that would be super painful, like, having to carry this around, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it with this character. Right, I forgot that it used to work on, like, uh, chunks that you were carrying around instead of anything else. Ooh, hey, someone just followed there, didn't they? Hey, thanks for following, uh, B4CT3R14 underscore underscore. I appreciate that one. I feel like those letters, or those numbers might actually be filling in for letters, but I can't figure that out. Um, maybe not. Oh, Blazing Stones. I feel like all the books are completely different. It's still the Ring of Flames, which I think are replaced by the lower level uh, Flame Wave spell, I think. I need Potion Berserk. Oh, use your hit points if you don't have a chunk equipped. Yup. Wait, what did the Lamp of Fire do? I, I can't even remember what this did. I know there was like a trick to using it, but I can't remember. I can drop the ring. Um. 
I, I know there was like some sort of weird trick to using a lamp of fire, but yeah, I have no clue what it was. As Garrett doesn't speak that much in the evocation, so I might never find out. Uh, what am I even training right now? I'm just training the invocations of the fighting. I, I was stopping the fighting on 15, though. No, oh, don't, don't hit myself. Just target sensibly in here, please. Technically, I still need to identify, um... Oh, what have we got here? We've got a power ring I don't need. I can charge something. So I can either charge this shield or I can try and get a bigger shield. Oh, I might charge this shield. I'm probably going to stick with the smaller one because I don't think I'm going to get much more skill. I don't need the outlet. Book of the Wolf is like uh, discharging controlled blink. The spells or false lands portal protector. Right, I mean, that's alright with control blink, but I still think I'm getting much more skills. Um, I should draw something and bring, grab the identifiers. Right. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. I maybe, uh, might drop the agility. I think it does give me extra evasion, so, it, oh, maybe I shouldn't drop it, actually. I don't know, I think that's worth having. I just keep on forgetting to use it. I might drop the resist corrosion instead. I don't care about this ring, it's not an artifact. So, I've actually been really lucky with my rings, like, early on I had pretty much no rings, and now I've got amazing rings. A trick to life of fire is to use it in a corridor. Right, that's right. Yep, I think I'm totally correct with that one. Should I be faster than these guys? Don't I have boots of running on? Yeah, well. That was really bad, huh? It's actually, it's only like 10% faster or something. It's barely anything, so I'd have to probably run further if I wanted to out outrun those guys or something. Um, yeah, or you know it, uh, why not? It's super weird playing this whole version of the game, because some things feel, like, way tougher, and then other things just kind of feel, like, rather overpowered. So you can kind of use the overpowered things that you can find, and it sometimes works fairly well. Um... I mean, at least the Firestorm seems pretty good, but the, the mages definitely seem to get very good later on. Man, I see I got this fire storm on reasonably early, but that's mainly because I found an amazing ring, I think. What oh, fire storm? What? Not there. What we'll fire storm this guy, but I don't. Oh, ah! Give me getting the wrong spot. There we go. That's where I was trying to fire storm. Fortunately, it's not the easiest to take these guys out with a fire storm. Also, the blink doesn't have a target there. I've got an RC option to make that always show its target, but it uh, doesn't do it, because I guess there's no target for the spell in this version, which is totally possible. I know there's still a few spells that are missing their targeter, so you can never um, tell them to show their targeter. Oh, that's, that's a bunch of frost guys. Makes sense. It's guarding a Cosinus. Well, the Cosinus-themed hell entrance. They all lead to the same hell after all, but it's still one steamed up to coincide us. Right, got two more levels of depths to go here, and then after that I can probably go to... Do I want to go to the slime pits? It's always going to be the old school slime ending, so I should uh, recognize it, right? I don't think that's changed for ages. Um, I mean, recently it changed. But I'm pretty sure the old school slime ending existed for absolutely ages. And Firestorm's usually like really good against slime creatures. I just have to be careful not to get surrounded. I don't have to resist corrosion, which isn't perfect. But I still reckon I'm better off doing the slime pits than Volts 5. Uh Or you could probably set it to ward on use for a similar effect. Wait, for which thing? Oh, like the blank, right, set that to ward on use. Yeah, you probably could, actually. But I don't uh, care about enough about this old version of the game, because hopefully I won't be coming back to this for quite some time. 
A game with the food, and preferably not. Ah, uh, okay. The mutation potion is actually silly, but I will check out the boots. Wait, I already got the resist uh, electric, so I don't need that. But I was running, which is actually quite good. Oh, they uh, drain you and take you off, do they? They they go corrode. They're actually not that good. Oh. oh, right, they're stuck in my body. Sure, that's fixable. Yeah, they're like, like a little cursed artifact. Shame, because that would be heavily drained until, uh, that's heavily skill drained, right? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. 22% failed the fire storm for a little while. Ah, that's kind of sad. I mean, it's like gaining XP is going to wear it off, but still. Sixteen percent Yeah, I guess it's, uh, wearing off pretty quick, at least. How's a ball of lightning doing in there? I guess it's a lightning themed fault, but I don't think those uh, tend to spawn naturally that much. Yep, that's a miscast. Oh, am I going through? Oh, wow, look at that hunger. Yeah, that's fine. But I can eat, I can eat a pizza at least. And all that just because I got like a little bit drained from taking off a cursed item. That's a disadvantage of like trying an item. Um, sometimes it takes a bit to wear off the downside. If it's a cursed thing, well, it's got a bad effect on it. Alright, those are at all perfectly lined up to be burnt. Ooh, there's actually quite a lot of stuff here. Um, I know these guys do quite a bit of damage and they're immune to fire, but I think they're gonna die anyway, so I don't think I need to worry too much. Oh, that was a miscast. Alright, well, I don't want too many miscasts, but apart from that, I should be fine. Also, the draining's a lot lighter now. Let's see, 9% miscast. That's doing a lot better. Uh, it's still happening, though. I think I get down to 4% normally once I, um... Oh, that doesn't work. This guy's probably faster than me, too, so I can chat with magic. Once I get rid of the draining, I think he gets down to 4%. Oh, Oh, level 24? I guess my level's probably going to max out. I should definitely get some end for that up a little bit. Apparently, I also got some agility thrown in for free. Uh, I can just irradiate this dude if it's next to me. Oh, apparently the corrosion, the, not the corrosion, the, like, the, um, contamination lasts quite a long time there. Hmm. And I've got to remember, this version of the game, you can't really get rid of contamination with a potion of, uh, cancellation. I mean, it says you can, but it doesn't actually work. Um, that was actually fixed fairly recently. If you had to use the, kind of, give or take a random amount from you, with an average of maybe decreasing it slightly, but it actually got fixed in the trunk and stuff. Um, I probably just gotta eat another slice of pizza, I think. Although, I've got to avoid draining, so, like, the fire storm is less expensive now. And none of these guys are really thinking they can eat, unfortunately. I mean, I guess that Drake is. Oh, uh, yeah, I like, can't eat a gargoyle. I might as well just eat a... I've got tons of things. they got a, I don't know, royal jelly, sure. Hellogs and devs, interesting. It's kind of just a whole swarm of creatures in here. Don't know quite what the theme is behind that vault, but there's enough stuff in it. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to eat like another royal jelly. I'm, I'm not gonna run out of food though, I'll be fine. Probably. Uh, 
like we were ready. Oh well, I guess these things just aren't filling me up that much. Uh, soldier hand? I might be to eat that. I don't know, let me just go eat another royal jelly and the sun. The fact that this has just endless stuff that I can't eat doesn't help. Like this weapon and stuff. Oh, the soldier animal's probably a shape to which also means I can't eat it. Uh... Oh, I probably didn't need a proper channel magic. I probably could have gone away with that. Oh, actually, no, I shouldn't have done that. Half, uh, half one is probably a good thing that I did the proper channel magic there. I'll eat my last fruit there, but... Hey, there's a Storm Dragon corpse. I can eat that. I don't think there's anything else I can eat here. No, it's kind of slim pickings. It's mainly just weapons on the ground. Oh, now ration food is not the most satiating. And it certainly isn't. I think the uh, raw jelly is a little bit better than some of the other stuff. Like, the fruit don't do much at all. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna eat a ration. This is not all my food, though. I've got the food in lair, and I've got the food in the shop, so I, I can eat that and be fine, I think. Uh, I don't even remember what my cloak is right now. Also, I don't know if I've got a flight to actually get into this island. That doesn't look like I can eat. I can just walk around. So, uh, my cloak, I don't think it's that special. It's plus two. I'll try this out. I mean, it might give something worthwhile. We'll see. Might give a resist. Nah, it's plus one. Okay. Well, never mind then. Oh, uh, what's... Uh... Did I drop a ring of poison resistance? Well, that already on the ground. I don't think I dropped it. I don't think that I shouldn't have there. At least I certainly hope not. I am down to four percent of the fire storm. How did that uh, indicator go? It's on fifteen. I need it on twenty four. That sounds plausible. Although I'm probably gonna have to overtrain it just because I don't want to risk like some other skill overtaking it without skill targets. It feels like the titles are a lot harder. In fact, imagine trying to get some of the like ridiculously low uh, skills without skill uh, without like a skill target. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, the skill targets really did make a lot of difference in terms of getting titles. Okay, I'm gonna try the, I'm gonna try the silly cattle magic. Oh, wait, it still gives me minus cast and a miscast. All right. Fine, I'll just cattle magic, I guess. I mean, I probably could have taken it out with the next cast, but. I don't trust that to actually work properly. I'm just going to fire stop it. There we go. But again, it's like nothing to keep me fed in here. So I'm very hungry. I might just have to eat a proper ration again. I might have to go to the lab and top those up pretty soon. Because they're not looking the best. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Hey, it doesn't cost anything to do the wrong thing though. Like it's a uh, food cost is completely free. In fact, I think the food cost... Oh, menace. Oh, hey. Uh, I'm gonna start the channel magic, but I don't want him to do a silence. He does do silence, right? In this version, let's see. He's got a large shield, he's wearing an emerald ring. Yeah, he does have the silence. Firestorm absolutely slaughters him, but I don't want to be hit by the silence. Um, He's half dead. He's dead, good. I feel like Firestorm's got to be one of the most effective things against him, though. Um, because he's mainly relies on shield and evasion, so it just absolutely slaughters him. As long as if you, of course, you get the two turns before he puts on the sound, so whatever it's going to take to kill him. A grand grandma? I don't really care about that one. And there's a reference book on something. Got the spell of dead. Single tube is a brace, vampire grating, and conjure flame. Nah, it's not that useful. 
Wait, how do you these bogs and beans? Oh my god, I think each one gets used up, right? It's not like the ball floods where you need one. It's super weird seeing like so many of these evoke balls. So, wait, what's here? A bug? Something about weightlessness? So it's got ball lightning, lightning bolt, mephitic cloud, static, discharge, and repel missiles. Now nah, it's just like a basic, um, so it gets a mid level air one. Uh, guess whatever's behind that lava can, can stay a secret. Can I go down? Am I going down? Oh, I am going down. It's just loading. Come on, there's gotta be some dude I can eat here. There's a frost giant I can eat. What does this say? It's a soul eater. That's fine. Yeah, the fed has tons of chunks of flesh here. Hell the magic. My magic points are not my magic points. My piety's actually going down ever so slightly. Better worry. Um. Ooh. I gotta challenge some more magic. This is not quite right. Okay, I kind of want to make it back to the staircase, but there's a bunch of dudes in my way. That actually gets me back to the staircase. It looks like the channel magic pretty much channeled all my magic back in the meantime as well. But no, I, leaving the staircase there was a bit questionable, but I, I didn't realize it was going to get swamped. I was just going to eat some food. Lots of bows of velocity here. Alright. Oh, Shrike. I gotta take out the Shrike. That uh, shouldn't take too long. But it would also absolutely wreck me if it got next to me. Oh, there's another one? Uh oh. Um. It's not ideal. They're getting distracted by the clouds, but it's gonna be. Oh, I don't wanna put it that close to me. I wanna put it there. I'm trying to get like the. It's trying off between getting the Firestorm uh, Vortex guys near me. I keep out. Uh, um. Uh-huh. A little bit of blinking did the trick, I guess. Yeah, let's just go up. Damn, we don't get to enjoy all the food that's probably lying around on the floor, but hey. Oh, do not miss the arrow spam. Like the, all the arrows just lying on the ground. It's kind of funny. I guess it would make it more work if you wanted to, like, look through what's on the ground. Oh, I can eat a Cosmic Shrike. Uh, I can eat a Fire Dragon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure some of these creatures are pretty big and they should be a, well, it's really a feast for this character. The archers aren't quite as bad as they used to be. I seem to be able to survive those now. I think my uh, my shield hasn't gone up, but my like um, armor class has, so that helps at least. Probably my only defense has really gained over the course of this game. I mean, I guess the uh, bait has gained a little, but I haven't really tried any dodging or anything. Kind of gone full on glass cannon here with the whole firestorm. I think it's paid off, definitely, for this character. The firestorm's definitely killing everything. Fire storming a fire dragon seems kind of bad, but like it that does decent damage, I guess. It's gotta run. I need my magic points back, and it's not worth asking Sif Mata for them.
These guys are certainly making sure I can't enjoy my food in peace, although I do seem to be uh, finding the chance to, like, eat enough food to keep me kind of topped up with that. Oh, I might just go down another staircase, because that was probably going to get uh, surrounded by Hell Knights, I'd imagine. Yeah, this also looks perfectly clear. Probably because this, uh, I've attracted all the creatures across to the other staircase. Oh, that's not where I want that guy. Wait, did that Hell Knight just, like, blink out of there or something? I think it might have. Oh, I should run back to the staircase and just drop the occasional firestorm on it as I'm running back to the staircase. That salamander looks like so skinny. And I'll look at all like the, the modern salamander tile. Well, I guess it's the same color. It's kind of got the same idea. It's just uh, way more skinny. Oh, I'm hungry. Damn, I just uh, tell on this magic. Oh, it doesn't even work for that. Very hungry. Uh. I don't even think I can eat a Hell Knight, can I? Nah, okay, I'll eat a ration. I mean, maybe I can eat some of these Hell Knights, but I certainly could eat that one on the human skeleton. Yeah, I think they leave human corpses. So in theory, I could have eaten it if it had a left a corpse, which it didn't. Once I get down to my last ration, which I'm not quite down- Oh, I am down to my last ration. I should go get some more, I think. Whoa. It's not a Zot Trap. Um... I gotta channel some magic. It doesn't feel quite right to tell that in. I don't actually know if I'm carrying around the one to digging, which I probably should be. Let me go check on that one, see what ones I've got. I've got a paralysis acid, no. Okay, so I should get myself a wand of digging, and I should also... Wait, there was something else I was meant to do? Oh, what was the other thing I was going to do? I was going to get... Okay, I'll get a wand of digging. Definitely get that, because I know there is one. It's got 15 charges on as well, which is not too bad. Um, Oh, swap food around, that's right. I mean, fair at least I might be able to eat this guy, though. Nope, this has got maces and stuff. Uh... Actually, let's just go to, uh, go to the lair entrance. Then I should be able to do the food stuff. So we've got the, got the pizzas here. I just eat some pizzas. While I'm passing through. There we go, that's my meat rations. I might go drop the... Oh, I don't even think that ring. I'll just go grab the meat ration that should keep me going. There's so many missing items. Yeah, actually, I'm probably carrying around way too many of those. Wow, look at that. I don't even know what half of these do. Um, I don't know what the psychic spiders do. Um, I don't do very well with discord swords but because I didn't have enough skill. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, let's... Uh, was there something else to go to grab? I was going to grab a... I'm going to do with digging. Oh, six chunks. A shame. I've kind of already eaten some of my other food. Yeah, there's a ton of chunks here. Oh, well, um, digging is this one. I was going to drop some sort of wand to make room for that. I think I was going to drop the paralysis. All right. Go to... I can't even remember what... Uh, was that last level devs or something? I think it was like devs four or something. Yeah, it looks like it. Which should have the entrance of Zod, right? It's, there's all like five levels of depths or something. We'll find out very soon. Oh, Disco Swords is so good with high evocations. I've heard that people use it to clear ziggurats, but I haven't really heard that much else about it, honestly. Yeah, I don't ever remember like uh, doing that well with it, but that's probably because my evocations I never used to train. Oh, I haven't trained that much this run. I trained a little bit. 
but I don't think I've got the. Whoa. Uh. All right. I don't think I've got the extra XP to get the skill. Wait, that's that's the actual Frederick. He doesn't have an orb. He looks so wrong without an orb. Well, I guess in older versions of the game, he just didn't have one or something. Alright, uh, ooh. If there's a Cronian here, this could totally be my entrance to, uh, Zod or something. Why is there a confused orbs of destruction? No, I was targeting one of my orbs of fire, that would be why. Right, because enemies can totally cast well off screen in this version of the game. Makes sense, I guess. Oh, that's not even my fire vortex. I mean, fire vortex are, like, not even that bad, but... They do interrupt my resting. I oh, just irradiated, I guess. Just get rid of it so I can actually rest up properly. I don't think that all destruction gets anywhere. It looks like there's too many fire forces in the way for it to make any sort of progress. Uh, oh, so there's a ray invasion. Some sort of dagger. Hey, there we go. It's an end for me to eat. Uh, at least the sword. Actually, it's probably the. It was almost certainly the Ring of Invasion that I was asking about there, and I've already got like plus six Ring of Invasion if I ever wanted to put one of those on, which I won't because my other rings are so good. It's funny bringing up fog with like a miscast effect. I'm not used to that at all because I used to. I think it used to be like a huge list of miscast effects, and then it was made based on like the type of spell, so now. Um, every single spell does a way slimmer. Can I not eat these dudes? Oh, I can eat this one. Way slimmer, slimmer list of miscasts. Ah, uh, don't need the vulnerability. Kind of getting trapped in here by the fire thing. I kind of recognize this mod, I think, from, like, I uh, definitely recognize these statues that throw orbs of destruction at you from a more recent version of the game. Okay, it's good old Book of Ice. How do I get out of here? I have no fire resistance. I probably don't have to worry too much about the clouds of fire that spread. Wait, where's my... Do I know about the entrance of Zot? Is that right? No, it's the entrance to hell. Oh, there's a way down further. There's a fifth level of depths. That would be it. That would be it. I was thinking it seemed strange that I hadn't seen an entrance to Zot just yet. Oh, I should blow up uh, these guys. Can I use the, the sketchy channel magic here to get rid of those two guys? Is that a, it's a full of vampire knight. It is hasted. Wait, where did it go? Did it blink out or something? No, oh, just trying to like retreat it back so that like, I can get some magic back. I would have thought a giant would have slightly more meat on it. That one was a very thin giant, apparently. And it got, like, two meat off it. What else have we got here? Oh, that one's more like it. It's got five meat on it. Let's just go downstairs. Oh, I guess I'll let the auto explore finish this one off, but it really isn't that much left of this level. 
<laughs> right, level five, I'm pretty sure was the last level of the uh, vaults here. I do vaguely remember this one having five levels. In fact, I vaguely remember the dungeon had 27 levels and there was no depths. But that's been uh, even longer. Uh... But I don't remember like when any of these things were reworked. I could probably build this guy. I've got oh, I got an orbit structure that might do the trick. There we go. Now that you have a body, no point in taking for food. Then if there's no body, okay. That's actually not too bad. Now nothing that can't be fixed with a few fire sobs. Uh, I think I do a little bit of random blink. Yeah, there we go. What just LRD me? Was that a miscast effect? Didn't seem to do any damage, so yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I miscast it. Um, sure. A little crude index? No. I think my sophomore is definitely the right choice in here. All those guys are edible? Okay. Oh, this is back before the Juggernaut that uh, got marked as, like, permanently dangerous. Because uh, that's definitely a thing in recent versions of Cruel. They're always highlighted, even if you're a tough character. Which kind of makes sense, because they can do a lot of damage, but... It's oh, I'm nearly starving? Um... I guess I eat the bread. It can have the inventory room as well, so I guess it's not too bad. In fact, there wasn't even any corpses in there. But no, I've got like uh, 12 more rations. I feel like my character was a fighter into the game with like 30 rations or something. Whereas this character's probably not gonna have that many. Also, Helpies, they look funny. But I don't think Helpies even exist anymore. They're like Sin Beasts now, they drain magic with their claws. I try to remember if my fighting character even had a, like, uh, and it go mad at them, so I don't think they did. So that's just the difference between how much food, like, a uh, spellcaster goes with compared with the fighting character in these old versions of Cruel. Oh, that was edible, at least. I do have to resist electric now. I think I got the resist poison. Yeah, I'm missing the resist negative resist corrosion, which is fine. Ah, more guys. Pull them into this corner and hope for the best. I gotta use the sketchy channel magic, see how that goes. Uh, it's too sketchy for killing that one. I just gotta challenge some real magic. Why is my magic points like, uh, not my magic points, my piety just like permanently stuck on three pips now? Oh, I know why, Huffman, because I'm not trading spellcasting skills anymore. And you get most of your piety from trading up spellcasting skills, but because I'm trading invocations instead to like do my god abilities, well, actually for a title, but, um, then, uh,. Sif Mana doesn't like me getting more skill at god abilities. It's not a technically a magic thing. I guess that makes sense. Hey, there we go. That's my entrance is art. But yeah, I had noticed that my piety was kind of struggling. I was like, but I'm not even using it that much anymore. And it was a while when I was using it, but... I don't know if I can eat these wasps. Let's go take a look. They should be edible, right? No, it's not. I guess it's uh, still tingling with electricity or something. Uh, 
Uh, that's another shiny bugler, but I got a bugler of dead, and I don't think I can really do much about that. Also, I think there was another corpse there, but oh well. Could have been in it. Oh, a rude shield? That might be worth trying. Yeah, let's go drop the. I'll oh, probably don't need the dex ring. Where is it? There's a rude shield here. Let's give it. Oh. Let's give it a try. It's a tower shield of cold. No, it's brute shield of cold resist. I think I'm fine with the buckler of protection, actually. And I mean, it's probably the only one I can really reliably cast. Although I think I was okay at casting with the other shield. Uh, wait, I do want that bread. I must be completely out of bread rations if that did not pick up. Oh, where is it? It's like completely the opposite side of the map. That's a shame. Uh... Yeah, I think I can drop the tower shield of corners. Oh, what's that menu? Doesn't really matter. I've got my bread and I've got a dozen level, so... Uh... I think I go to the... Slime pets for this character. Hopefully, don't get mal mutated. I got a good chance of not getting mal mutated. Oh, I'm getting hungry on the way over. I guess I can eat the bread. I don't even know how edible slimes are. They don't sound that edible. Uh. So I'll probably go through like a little bit of food in here, but that's fine. The only thing I'm missing is the resist corrosion, but I don't think there's a good source of that. But I should actually double check that there's not a resist good source of that. Oh, there's a uh, cursed boots with the minus color of this. And then there's normal rings. Yeah, I don't, don't think I worry about it. Oh, I want to get my... Whoops. I want to get my magic back. Well, they're going to go upstairs for that one. I don't think they croak down with the corpse stuff that knows I can't eat it. I'm a bit worried about my lack of physical defenses with like rock slimes and stuff, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, I could probably eat a basilisk, right? No, I'm turn my insides to so if I try to eat a basilisk. I mean I guess that's fair enough. Don't want to eat one of those. Alright, next level. I just let these get a little bit closer. Just so I can hopefully get more stuff in each fire storm. Uh, oh, this is back when the corrosion was like really random, isn't it? Uh, not as mad because they don't have to resist, but it used to be, um, well now when you have a resist to corrosion, it will reduce how much corrosion you take by like 30%, whereas there used to be like a 30% chance of completely avoiding it. Which was kind of sad, because sometimes it didn't happen and you just got corroded anyway. What does Eye of Devastation even do? That's like a thing in the current version, I feel like this didn't exist for a while. Oh, the walls are burning my, oh, fireball seeds, that's really painful. I was wondering what was stopping me resting there. I was like, well, there's no enemies in sight. Uh, yeah, do one more fire stop and then I think I go upstairs. Right, these walls don't corrode you. They do actual damage, don't they? Which I guess is um, something I've got to be aware of. It probably doesn't really matter too much. I hate how these fireballs are taking damage all the time and it's not interrupting my rest. I mean, it wouldn't be too bad if it wasn't interrupting my rest. Um, 
His solution is just like some of the stuff. I don't think he's too bad. Yeah, like he summons a little eyeball of paralysis. I gotta remember those eye paralysis ones instead of the um what are the new ones called? So the uh They're not paralysis new ones, they're like uh fragile. I don't even know what they're called, but they, they put fragile status on you. Alright, next group of guys! Oh, there's just one dude? <laughs> oh, sure. We can deal with that. I'm hungry again. Yeah, when, when there's nothing to eat, you get hungry so fast. I think Slime Fist has always had five levels, so I'm gonna presume that there's five levels to this. That's my last fire so before I have to go up, but that's not too bad. Gain a tiny bit of Sith fighting, but it's not huge. Alright, I'll bring these guys up. How is my skills going? So I've only barely got uh, indications of my high skill. Alright, that's not too bad. I'll still keep it going because I don't trust the other things without a limit on them. To not like, um, whoops, that's not quite what I meant, but I guess it's fine. Not like overshoot the invocations. It's probably fine getting some more of the spellcasting stuff. Oh. That's brought out the execution. I'm gonna challenge some magic and just get rid of that, I think. I it was the Zot Trap that brought it out. What is this dude? Oh, the death slime! I can't even remember what those guys do, but um yeah, that's the death slime. And it's tag makers rotting. Oh rotting is a thing in this game. I just managed to avoid it so far. That's where your, like, uh, mag tails get slightly drained and you have to use a potion of curing to bring it back. Which I've probably got tons of by now. Alright, well, last level of the slide bits here. Oh, that's a mole mutated guy, but it's not going to stick around for very long. I probably made a ton of noise in there, so I'm probably gonna draw in a few more creatures. We'll see. But the boss starts in the center of the level, but is like totally happy to move away from the center, given that I make uh, enough noise. All right, well, let's eat another ration. I imagine going through a decent number of those rations. I just get rid of the mob mutated guy, obviously. It probably can't even mob mutate me right now because where my um, fireballs are, but I. Don't trust those fireballs, he's not just to move somewhere it can bomb you take me. I don't think those eyeballs can confuse me, um, the yellow one there. Hey, there's the royal jelly. I'm gonna dump a fire storm on the royal jelly at the moment. I might have to go to a different staircase though. This might just work. Royal jelly is definitely dead. It died in a raging inferno. My last fire storm, so I gotta go up after this one, but I think they killed everything. Yeah, I think I can just go straight back down the staircase, because, oh, there's a, there's a few more guys come along. Uh, I can just radiate this guy, it's whatever. I don't know if I should have left that staircase, it's probably not a great idea, but uh, it's fine. Should probably head back to it though. Um, oh, I should eat another ration, these guys aren't dropping any corpses. That's probably going to be enough rations though to get me through this entire place I imagine. So, more things, I guess. Um, yeah, I can see that guy spitting acid on my fireball seeds and stuff. Oh, did all the walls are spared when the side creatures died? Oh, I thought it, was, it used to just be like some of them, but apparently it's all of them this time around. 
Ah, uh, the flirting glow robe something. Um, so well, I can identify it actually. I might as well see what it does. It's a uh, cold resist willpower to end. That's pretty similar to my current one, isn't it? Cold resist. I mean, my I doesn't give uh willpower my current one. I got to see invisible somewhere else, right? Uh, yeah, I do. I got my Hamlet. So I don't currently need that one. I mean, it's all right. Oh, I should probably grab a potion of flight, right? No, I might drop this, unless I happen to need to see Invisible, that's not that useful. Um... Did I ever go to a bigger shield? I don't think so. Which means I don't need that charmed armor right now, but I might just... Oh, what do I drop? I can drop a book. I can drop a grad grimoire, and then there we go, pick it up. Oh, that's a water teleport, I should probably pick that one up as well. I mean, I'm actually pretty good on the teleports right now, but I reckon I should probably pick it up. That's probably not stacking. It's going to be super awkward. Oh, I can probably just leave the flight. I mean, I haven't needed it so far, right? It's obviously not going to be a gem in here. Gems don't even exist right now. Um, I can go identify. I mean, I should do the water teleport, but also oh, two charges. I should probably use that one next. Plus five leather armor of uh, willpower to enter the sea invisible. But again, it's not really something I need. I care about a glass wand, probably not. I probably should identify this ring though. So it's a uh, fire with this will pile six decks that allows you to fly. I really should be carrying around the ring of fly. There's just no inventory room for it. Oh, I might drop the two teleport wand. Sure. If I need more teleports, I can come back for it. Can I carry the bread? Uh, that he ate it good. That's what I was trying to do. That's just cost rot pain. No, it doesn't matter. Don't need the amnesia. I think I can get out of here now. Which means I should be able to go head into the lair at any point. No, not the lair. It's on at any point now. And I probably should. I just try to think about when I swap my gods. Um, that's all at the moment. But I gotta get one pit for piety, which is not a lot, but it does have to be an area with corpses. Uh... Hmm. Actually, I've got tons of magic mapping, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive down through here, and then I'm gonna do the last level, in fact, maybe do the last couple of levels, um, then I'm going to swap gods, and then I'm going to come back to Zod. I think that might be an idea. Hopefully. Hopefully not a terrible idea. Nope, that's not right. I see there's a fire, so I'm still got a smiley awkward targeting on it, where it tries to target a creature, even if that would get you. Ah, one more magic point, come on. Can I eat a cloud? I feel like it'll be mutagenic, right? It can't be, can't be edible. Surely not. That's not a great staircase. Um, oh, hoo, hoo, that's some damage going up that staircase. I might just, uh, no, I don't think, I don't know if that's the best spot. Oh, I don't think I can eat. I need one of these. I need a meat ration, but it's not ideal. Wait, is that a white draconian knight? It's back before they were just blind draconian knights. Yeah, it looks like the draconians might be random colors to assigned to each job. Yeah, well, hopefully I can eat some of these corpses, but I'd be kind of scared off everyone with the corpses by more creatures coming along. Hey, there we go. I can eat a chunk of flesh. Nah, I blew myself up, unfortunately. Uh, light rating's probably fine. Let me go check. Yeah, 7% miscast, though. Probably fine. 
And roll the magic points here. Let's, um... Can an electric golem open the door? Yes, okay. Should blink away. There we go. At least, uh, step back. Wait, is that corroding me? That doesn't sound like something they do anymore. I think it might be with us, uh, bolts of electricity. We got lightning bolt? Wait, how did I get corroded then? Oh, I have an item that occasionally randomly corrodes me and just happens to trigger on both, uh, both bolts of electricity. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, because I think it's like a 1% chance of something to trigger twice in a row that can happen. Something's tail slapping. It's definitely a draconian if it's... No, it's not. Was it tail slapping or tentacle slapping? Dude doesn't have a tail. It's probably tentacle slapping or something. Ah, it's a shadow dragon skeleton. Don't get to eat that one, I guess. How do I get poisoned? I guess the initial, um... Head from the cloud of poison thing does something to me. Man, I'm not finding any food. I got down to eight rations. I hope this is fine. I mean, I don't have much more to do after Zod, at least. I might be able to eat a cage little draconian in here, but it's, I'm really struggling to get to their bodies to eat them. Uh... They don't even have bodies. That's gonna make it even harder to eat them. Okay. Can't remember which color Draconia was poisonous. It might be the green ones. Well, no, not the edible anyway. Uh, I'll just go upstairs, try to get a bit of health back. Um, oh, really? Another ration? I'm going through these rations way too fast. I've gone through multiple rations. I haven't even gone through a level. The I barely like scratched this levels on. Um, maybe I just need to dive down the level just to maintain the rations. Oh, there we go. There's a couple of things I can eat. Pumpkin Crane Skeleton? Sure. These corpses might be a bit old by now. Hey, that Gold Dragon Armor looks kind of funny. I definitely prefer the new sprite for the Gold Dragon Armor. And I can't eat it, of course. Um... I feel like it can, no, it might not be an electric dragon either. Let me go check on that. You can eat a lot. Oh, we can't eat it. You can eat a lot of the dragons, it seems. Oh, yeah, just that green draconians that I'm unable to eat. Fair enough. Man, it's so hard to, like, recognize these, uh, what jobs these draconians have when they're uh, not the colors I'm expecting. Yeah, like, I can see the shifters because they have a bunch of purple on them, even when they're not, like, a draconian shifter. Like, a purple draconian shifter. Um, some of the other ones are a bit harder to recognize. How am I going with the invocations? Not terrible. Who's fast to be? I might just use the sketchy channel magic. Oh, it's not good enough. Um, I could do... A little fireball of the guy. There we go. That did the trick. All right. So the sketchy uh, channel magic. Although I'm not sure if it does anything when you've got like enough magic points to cast the spell anyway. I think it doesn't do anything then. But it's probably still not a good idea to leave it sitting on. Oh, it's just a chart weapon. I don't need that one. Nope, no corpse, okay. I gotta try and uh, go downstairs here. Yeah, hopefully the staircase is a bit better. Always oh, got a haste potion. I've got four of those. That will definitely help once I get to the Zot 5. I feel like I'll be using a ton of haste potions in that one. And maybe on the old run as well, because I don't have a lot of blinking. I might have to do like one blinky or something. 
Uh, yeah, I am down to one blinking, which is crazy low numbers of blinking. I was doing to the dark, I'm probably gonna have to go up. I almost killed it, but yeah, not quite. Okay, well, I can go back to uh, the staircase, I guess. Ooh, desk orb. Um, it was probably a good idea to get my magic back before going running away. Knowing that I was likely to run into things like those death cops and that sort of thing. Alright, so I should burn the rest of those ones up. Oh, come on, I just want to... Look at the ground here. Now they seem to have corpses. Is that what it's called? The yellow draconian. I should could definitely go read my magic map. I've got like eight of those left, so it's not going to take me too long to get through. Um, well, actually, no, I'll never get through those, but like. Right. I sometimes like I should go and try and figure out if I got an amulet of faith so I can try and get a fantastic title at the end and I can continue to troll my piety a bit more precisely. Uh, I want that Moth of Wrath to move next to me and berserk me up. But it's fine as long as there's nothing else around. I'm pretty sure I can win on a case of Moth of Wrath in a 1v1 fight when I'm berserk. But I'm not exactly known for my physical attributes here. I don't think he's like edible. Nah, no, definitely not. Uh, 26 on the invocation, that's about to max out. Well, kind of, it's actually still got one more point to go, I guess. I could just take that down staircase if I want, it's not a bad idea. Oh, I might have discussed there. Alright, well, take the recharging gold, I've got six of those. I haven't needed to use my ones to teleport in forever, I haven't really needed to teleport in forever. So I'm kind of managing to build those up. Is this dude edible? Hey, it is. I just don't exclude. Chop him up. I don't know, it's really like I was pressing all sorts of wrong buttons there, but eventually I managed to chop it up. Got a body, does a body good. Oh, fortune to flash even. Definitely enough to keep me going for quite some time. I actually kind of like the animation on the um, firestorm. It's just uh, slightly annoying that it takes a bit of time. But if you could still do an action while it's still going, it might be all right. Uh, I don't think that's generally how this game tends to work. All right. Yeah, because this game kind of just handles things one at a time. Anyone have the corpse that's the one on this direction, I think? The other one definitely doesn't. Hey, it does have a modeled corpse. Oh, this is a random tree? It's a uh, lucky for that tree to get up for a firestorm because it must be pretty close to being hit by a firestorm. What's this item? Gold. Huh, oh, sure. I actually know this. I don't think I really want to buy it. There really isn't. I got like 5,000 gold or something that's standing there in case I ever find something I want to buy. Oh my gosh, wow. I mean, I guess these draconians are actually dropping a decent amount of food each one. Uh, unlike earlier, where they were absolutely not dropping anything at all on the first level. Yeah, I mean, if the Draconians keep on dropping food at this rate, then I'm completely fine getting through here. But if they keep on dropping food at the rate of the first level, the result that I'm gonna run out. Okay. Well, maybe gonna run out. 
not good enough. I'm probably going to get it in a second first over the special god ability. Alright, how's it going? Uh, 26.4, it's so close to maxing out, and then I wanted to worry about it ever again. Oh, come on, let me rest up. There we go, that seemed to work. I hit a, I hit a Zod at some stage. There's a, there's a guy I can eat, so chop it up. I don't even see anything there. Oh, well. Oh, the red Draconians are the... Oh, there's another Draconian. I probably could have eaten that. But there's a couple of Draconians that are the edible. The red and the... What are the red and green, I think, are not edible. I guess yeah, eating a fiery draconia is probably a bad idea. It would just kind of burn on the way down, I imagine. I care about a book of death. I really don't have time to learn more spells. I'm good with just fire stopping people. Right, well, that's not too done. I can go down to the next level of Zot here. Uh, drop the magic mapping on it. Yes, I'll just try going down again, see how this goes. Drop the magic mapping again. I might try and clear out this level though. Oh, there's a meat ration, that's kind of nice. I've been slowed, but... Oh, oh, I'll try going upstairs before I do deal with this guy good. Something died. I got some more intelligence. I'm up to 50 intelligence. Which is pretty amazing. How's the fire sword power going? It must be pretty close to maxing out. Oh, it doesn't really budge because of the weirdness of those perps and it not being quite even distance apart. Oh, I can't eat that without mutating myself. Well, rather mutating myself, I think. I don't know about inventory room, but I definitely want to pick up this ration. Yeah, oh wait, meat rations is the one I'm carrying around, it's uh... Bread rations, I think I got all the way through something like that. I know I definitely got through one of my entire stacks of rations. I just need to step back just a little bit and I should be able to kill this dragon. Should be fast to me, I think, right? A sub dragon sounds like it should be fast to me. I, I remember those guys being fast, um, at least in later versions of the game. That almost certainly hit it, right? I don't know. Didn't need to notice, maybe I did. Maybe it was too far away. It was probably too far away. It sounds like it would, like, notice a storm of fire going off. Oh, that's good eating. Seven chunks of flesh on that one? A two full to fully eat it? Wow, okay. I don't have much magic points, but I should be able to do something before I have to retreat. Uh, try irradiating both of us. Oh, not quite. Close though. Oh, I'm gonna have to channel magic. There's no other way I can kill this uh this guy. Yeah, these uh these death gobs are kinda nasty. In fact, it's the old death gob sprite, which looks kinda funny. Nah, it didn't die, just irradiate it. That'll get rid of it. Hey, must implications. Okay, so I wanna get uh, a little bit of fighting. I wanna get a little bit of conjuration and a little bit of fire magic. Yeah, that should get the chance better than Forbes there, and hopefully they allow me to put on a better shield. Uh... Although it's a uh, little protection one that's maximally charged out is actually not bad. I guess almost dead. I like, always could just sit in those forces until it died. Um...
All right. Nice. Plenty of plenty to eat. They get nice and gorged again. Do I completely clear Zod 5 or do I just try to clear enough? I probably just try to clear enough to make things work out. That sounds like a plan to me. Especially since I've already like maxed out a level. I mean, I can get more skill by trying to clear more, but I don't think I'm massively impressed with getting swarms of fire and it's like, I don't need this brand weapon. Oh, I could grab these fruits. I don't know if I can grab these fruits. I don't have the inventory space. That's a uh, fire resist man. No, I don't think I can really swap with the fire resist. Um, Willpower rig that we've got there. And, oh, it's flight though, so I think that's why I was keeping it around just in case I needed a flight or something, but I don't think it's worth swapping. Uh, in fact, my party's beginning to zoom up now that I'm actually training the correct skills. Well, the um, magic skills, because that's what a, that's what Sith Mother likes when you trade the magic skills. Yeah, that makes sense. That's a pretty slim dragon, only one meat on it. Kind of crazy how, like, bearable these creatures are. Like, often they just have nothing, right, because they don't leave a corpse. And then even when they do leave a corpse, it's pretty bearable. Alright, well, I'm done with uh, level 4, so let's just go down to level 5. Oh. Public Guardian Chip, that actually looks right. It's like the color I'd expect all those to have good. Dead. Oh. Ah. This is unfortunate. Nah, it's gonna... It's gonna basically be it, um, stuck next to me, isn't it? Oh. Should I just be able to take it out with a radiate? There we go. Okay. Oh, Custo. Bring it upstairs. I'm gonna try to blink. Oh, come on. Give me a little bit of. Is that enough? I guess it's fine. Okay, well, Lily Slab would drop some mobs of fire. Oh, there's Necro Mutation. That's actually a spell. That's right. It's the Necro Transmutation. It's eighth level. The Summon Hydra, Spellboard Shovetor, Aura of Abjuration. I didn't even realize that was a spell. Huh. At the same time as Yars, I kind of presumed that Yars was like a replacement for Abjuration or something, but it seems that it was not. It seems they both exist at the exact same time. Ah, oh, getting hungry. Um, probably just gonna have to eat something. Yeah, I'm getting very hungry. I mean, these guys might have some food, but I'm just going to eat, like, a little bit of fruit. Take the edge off it. Uh, mm, I don't know. I might just go up, but, uh... I do have a lignification potions. I might use one of those against this guy and give myself immunity to torment. Or does he want me when I try drinking the lignification potion? That's mildly scary. This guy is fairly resistant to fire, though, which is a little bit um, scary as well. Yeah. Might have had a child some magic if I don't get out tree form soon. Alright, well, I got a ration, I'll just eat it. Um I should uh where's my I should have magic mapping here just for this level. I got like five magic mappings or something, I got four extra ones. Wait, where are the traps? It doesn't tell me. It doesn't tell me about the traps. That would be such a sensible thing to do. No, that's definitely something they got changed in the future version of the game, I guess. In fact, I don't even know if I've been zoned in zoned until like zero point uh one five zero point one six kind of era. So I didn't get my first win until quite late on, so. Yeah, I don't actually know what to expect in Zot, but I presume it's going to be similar to normal, except for the fact I don't know where my traps are. Uh, 
means I guess I just gotta like eyeball which side to go down once I actually get there. <laughs> Unless there actually is no traps, which would be awfully nice, but I doubt that's the case. Yeah, okay, should be able to deal with a lich. Yeah, it's gonna die to the fire sob. I don't think they massively like fire resist or anything. Oh, there's lots of liches. But again, I got fire so it's gonna be fine. Whoa. I don't know, Ice Fiend gets summoned by... Is that summoned by a Dread Lich or is it summoned by an Ancient Lich? Wait, that's the wrong one. Hold on. I want to be doing the proper channel magic here instead of messing around with the Minus Cast one. I'm guessing it was just summoned by a normal Ancient Lich and then Ancient Lich and Dread Lich are probably the same thing in this version. It's going to be my guess. But let me go look at this guy. Yeah, you can have tons of different spell books. Right, I see. Oh, well, that didn't work. Oh, that uh, put me straight into some guys. I'm just going to have to channel some magic, I guess. Alright, well, it's going to... I guess I'll check for corpses. It's going to go down another staircase, though, because I think they're all surrounded by something. I can't even remember what I'm surrounded by at this point. Probably doesn't even matter, I should just take another one. So many guys for a level that I've already completed. Oh, I gotta challenge some more magic. It's fine. My piety's actually recovering, despite all the challenge of magic. Wait, don't, don't target myself, that would be mildly silly. I mean, it just does kind of make sense that there's like an invisible thing sometimes, um, and you just want to attend everyone in your general vicinity, but I think I do too much damage to myself to really make that viable with this character. Oh, right, I'm full. I guess that makes sense. Uh, means that the ambush wasn't too bad. It might have cost me a little bit of party, but it replaced my... Hunger, at least. Oh, it's the old, uh, the old, old little, um, Orb Guardian sprites, so that's something that's different. And the old Orb Zot, uh, sprites as well. Not Orb Zot, I mean, it will be the old Orb Zot, but the old, uh, Zot Trap ones as well. They look kind of silly. I got Chain Lightning. Oh, it's 8th level, right, because I, I got turned to a ninth level spell, the, the... I can't even remember what the, what the ninth level one was called. Electric one got removed. Still don't need a crystal ball. I oh hey, this is not trap. I see plenty of uh crystal balls this time round. But I don't think I found really any other robs. I think it's always just been the crystal balls. Alright, gonna reveal the traps to me. Ah, it's a not trap. Oh, there's even like a like a spear trap or whatever it is in there further on. Oh, so it's not trap on both sides? Come on. I mean, I can't go over Zot trap. It's just kind of disappointing. Alright, well, I guess I'll start with the first side. I tried. I gotta try one of these brilliance potions, because I haven't really done one. See what it does to the fire storm, but it's 1% failure. It doesn't really make much of a difference to the power. Yeah, so it just kind of made it, like, less likely to fail, I guess. Alright, I'll, I'll do some channel magic because I don't want to run out here. I still gotta run out here, aren't I? Gotta try and throw in as many turns as I can where I'm not actually casting. Let the channel do its thing, but it looked like a channel will be up just fine. Oh, I will like defy. Let's do that. I do have a cancellation, I've got at least one cancellation, I uh, actually got exactly one cancellation this time round. Um, I should channel, definitely. The brilliance is not going to do the trick.
Terry and Draconi could get me with Quicksilver and get me out of this as well, but hey, that's not likely to happen, I think. I'm still tree. I'm a hungry tree. And so I'm a fire. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop or snag at some stage. Hopefully I can take out the normal fire first. No, probably not. I just eat the bread. It's a bit of a shame. I'm gonna eat that right now, but Otherwise, I'm going to run out of, um, run out of juice to keep on fighting that guy. The good thing about the Firestorm is it brings out the Fireball Seeds, which means the Orb of Fire doesn't really tend to be able to mob mutate you. Oh, that must be set off some sort of trap or something that summoned that in. Oh no, it was probably the Ancient Lich summoning from off screen because it could see my little uh, fireball seat. That makes sense. Fine, I've channeled some magic. I feel like there's less traps, but that might just be because I'm really bad at seeing exactly where the traps are. There could actually be a ton of traps here. Oh, there's another robot fire. Well, stop the shadow magic, but this should be fine. You can just sit in my fire as I tell off a bit of magic. Yeah, take that orb of fire. Use fire to fight fire. It really does work in this game, uh, using fire to fight fire for some reason. I mean, it's the fire only said do it because they stop things getting to you. Um... Oh, 200 health? I guess I'm trading up quite a bit of fighting. This needs to be helping. Yeah, and no, I guess all the fire storms down to 3% failure, so that's making some slight progress. Is that a lychee? It looks like, I think it's a fruit of some kind. Or in fact, four fruit, as it turns out. Oh, what is that? Is there like a electric golem? There's a cloud. I'm getting hungry. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna have to eat something very soon, but I guess I can fire some of these guys a couple of times. Yeah, I could probably just eat like a fruit. I don't think that takes too long. And that will keep me going for a bit. Alright, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say I've got a chance to like eat some proper stuff now, but nope, <laughs> I'm still in combat, but I think now I've got a chance to get down a proper ration though. I want to keep up with a fruit for like emergency in combat food at the moment, I think. That looks like an awful lot to me. I'm not gonna pick it up right now because I got a mess of titles before I go pick that one up. I'll probably hopefully get myself an amulet of face as well. Okay, that's, uh, that's enough of this level explored. Oh, I have to go over to Zot Trap to get out of here. That's fine. I have to go over, over it again to get back in and stuff. But uh, that's just what I'm going to have to do. Oh. Oh, wait. i got to go over that Zot Trap again. That's kind of annoying. That's fine. There we go. That should explore with some electricity. There we go. So, what I need to do is I need to find an amulet first, I think. Do we have a face? We do have a face. It's for sale. Let's find it. Got money. Um. That's, a, that's probably the closest one. Yeah, let's go get it. It's in the Orcish Mines. Then I'm going to go to the temple and I'm going to change gods. Well, probably the temple. I'm not actually 100% sure where the, um, Fairdaz was. Then I have to get like a bit of piety, which I'm probably gonna do with uh I don't know how I do that. That's actually hmm. Why is there that has some living creatures that I can go kill? Oh I should take that guy for a corpse, but oh well. I can't, like, sacrifice food to fantasm or something, I don't think so, but I can't use that for the abilities. There should be a face in here, theoretically. Face, there we go. 
Um, do I really need that I did fire anymore? <laughs> probably not. Man, I can probably drink some of that beneficial mutation as well to hope for the best. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to try see what I get. Feel mature. Oh, nature's experimenting on me. Okay, so I've got a evolve. Some days it's terrible for damage. That doesn't really matter. Okay, that doesn't really improve things, but I guess it's all right. Um, if I actually missed a little bit of this level, apparently I have. I think I might be to eat these guys. Oh, that one had a corpse. At least it's cooked as well. After that firestorm. Okay, well, uh, what I want to do is I want to go find, uh... Fed has... In the temple. Sif Mart is not, like, gonna like me a bad thing, but at least I got a few, like, potions of magic, I guess. Um... Yeah, this isn't ideal, but it's just gonna have to be what I do, because I want to get the... I want to get the title for it, having one pip of piety. Uh... Currently fungal, which isn't quite what I want. So I'm gonna go do Vaults 5. Um, hopefully this is fine. And I've got some potions to help me out with this. Uh, oh, that's right. The warning's on the wrong level, of course. Don't know why, but apparently the didn't like whatever I put in my RC for file for that. Uh, eat a ration. Connected to magic field subdued. I was meant to be evolving, not, uh, try a cure mutation, not devolving. Yeah, well, that's fine. An escape hatch? No, we don't. I, okay, I want to buff up before I go down, so I want to buff up with a brilliance, which probably doesn't help that much. I want to buff up with a haste, uh, agility, invisibility, and I probably need a teleport before I go down as well. Alright, well, there's no time like now to use all these buffs up. I don't think I'll stand out to this place, so I'm definitely doing the teleport method here. Whenever that wants to trigger, I might just blink back from these guys just a little bit so I can drop another firestorm with these guys. Feels wrong not having, uh, not having some way of getting back my magic points, though. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to pray over all those corpses, um, to make them... Yeah, because I got the, got the fungal bloom that I can do. Oh. That might not work with the fireball seeds up, I'm not sure. But anyway, like, after combat, I can, like, fungal bloom things for a bit of piety, in theory. Oh, but I kind of trying to bruise you off a little bit of magic points. Okay. I've already got to get to one pip of piety. I technically don't have to get the rune in here, but I'd like to. Oh, come on. I'm going to have problems with these magic points, aren't I? I have a green elf. That's, uh, that's where I want to be with my title. Um... So, at some stage, I need to get the rune and get out of here. Uh, I mean, I can kill a few more things, I think. And decompose their bodies, but I don't want to get too much more piety. Oh, also, I'm probably going to have to climb most of this level just to get, uh, get out of here, to be perfectly honest. Oh, I'm going to get so hungry because I'm turning all these bodies into stuff, so I'm just going to eat a ration. Out of magic again? I mean... I'm worried about this without the magic all the time. Well, the fireballs these got this game right. Yeah, they do. Um, oh, fighter, drink another ambrosia. I'll even let like uh, do as much as they can for me. Problem is, I'm like really noisy here whenever I cast a firestorm, so it's kind of attracting and um, more guys. Ooh, that was a lot of contaminate on that miscast. 
Ah, uh, no, come on, don't rub me out of... I mean, I've got two magic points, but that's not a lot. Oh, that's not working, unfortunately. Ooh. I think I drink one of these magic potions, but this is actually not ideal. Um... Oh, wait, I don't want to... Oh, no, the radiating that gets a terrible idea. What do I do against the guy next to me? I guess I just uh, blink back, but yeah, radiating that guy was really bad. Oh, this is kind of a worry. There's so many things coming along. I'm kind of worried. Um, Do I have, like, a bolt that could take it out? I mean, I got an orb of disruption. Probably not going to do that much, but it might do the trick. What? Uh-huh. Again, I'm out of magic points. Like, this is not working. What do I have to like, conserve some magic points here? I mean, I have one second to zap myself to, to heal me. I might as well zap myself with a little bit of that and get my health up a little, little bit. Um... Gotta use that last magic potion. Robbins doesn't get me that much magic points. Okay, I'm gonna spend a, I think I'm getting malmutated from my um terrible amount of uh contamination I took. Yeah, I've got minus two decks, which honestly isn't that big a deal. Um Ow. What ones do I have? I'm not even that skilled with my ones. That's why I keep on, like, healing myself up with these. Um, I mean, maybe degeneration? 8% to beat his magic resist? That's pretty bad. Acid? I don't have much of that. Uh, I don't know if that did much. Phantom Mirror? I can beat itself up? I'm not sure it's that good at beating itself up, and it's not. I don't have a roots or anything. Um, I might do a box of beasts. Okay. Um, that could spiders. I mean, just trying to delay it getting to me. Might do a little bit more healing on myself as well. Uh. Throw another sack of spiders at it, but I'm just not sure that's doing that much. Oh, what do I even do to take it down? Okay. Yeah, it's throw some more acid at it, I suppose. Kind of drained right now. I'm hoping that's not hoping my skills too much. Oh, 40% fail the degenerate? Mm, that's actually kind of bad. I don't have a lot of drained damage stuff left, do I? My creature are doing a little bit of damage. I could just heal myself again. Nah, no, this guy's recalling. Dangerous? Wait, how dangerous is it to cast my old, uh, fire sword? 14% failure. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, I can do one more of these Ambrosia at least, although I'm kind of out of those ones, which could be a problem. Yeah, I feel a little bit stupid. Uh, that's probably fine. I'll see what else I get. Don't find nothing too bad with my mutations. Oh. Ugh, of course. Gotta like, go through the warning every time now. Uh, I feel myself wasting away. That's probably fine. I've lost the contamination. So I think I've survived like the initial shock of this level. Um, Even if I had to use every single source of magic points, which is a bit of a worry. But I'm not sure what I... Uh, hopefully I don't need those on the old run. Oh, Sif Martyr's Wrath did something to me? I don't know, it didn't seem to matter too much, thankfully. Any of these guys I can eat? I don't know. Wait, do I want to be eating them, or do I want to be... I want to actually be Fungal Blooming. There's nothing to Fungal Bloom, I think. Well, that answer that, I guess. Ooh. 
I'm still at forty percent. Um, if I irradiate that guy, get myself too contaminated. I gotta move down just a couple of steps. Oh, actually, I can shoot another orb of destruction at it. The nice thing about the orb of destruction is it's like somewhat silent at least. Like some of the things I'm doing in here. Um, oh, I really don't have the magic points here. I mean, I'll do a bit of brilliance, but it doesn't help that much. I mean, it helps my cast chance at least. What else is there here? I mean, it's lignification, healing, agility, invisibility. I mean, at least the firestorm is reliable. I guess I drop a firestorm on this guy. Um... I just got to use my sack of spiders, so hopefully fight this guy. I don't want to do so well. Uh, Bug or blue, I don't think it's left, but there might not be anything that's left right now. Ooh, more guys, okay. That's still wanting a stem that failure, right? I could probably use some more brilliance potions or something. Um, I'm gonna make my way to this corner. And then I'm gonna try and make my way to the center, I think. And try and go up the staircase. Oh no, I miscast. I'm really badly contaminated again. What just happened to me? Oh, scales? I I'll take uh, shield value. Oh, it's a shout? I mean, I'm already pretty noisy. That's probably fine. Sif, uh, Sif made me feel dopey. I see. Yeah, it's gonna get drained down a bit, isn't it? Yeah. Full magic drain could be a bit of a problem. Yeah, but that's a Sif wrath thing. Yeah, uh, the questionable thing they do for titles. Oh, man. Magic stuff being one of those, of course. Doing false five being another one of those. Come on, this dude should just die, right? Oh, maybe not. Might just need one more magic point that I could be able to take it out. Very hungry. Well, I got a got a meat ration. I just want to get out of this place. Um, that would be nice. I don't even think I've got like the blinking to uh, like blink out of here or something. I don't have much blinking. Man, I've only got one blinking, which isn't really enough for the old run either. Um. <laughs> Bug or blue in case there's anything there, but I don't think there is. Alright. I can't even remember what my cloak is, but I'll try this one out, so I don't need that glowing ring. That's pretty silly. My cloak is in fact plus two. This cloak is plus two cloak of poison resistance, two dags. I mean, it's two dags. It's three dags. Ooh, I've actually been drained tenant right now. That's actually a bit of a problem, isn't it? Ooh. Hold up. That's a shapeshifter, I might just back up. It shouldn't stay in the elephant for too long. Yeah, now it's like a mod for something. That's definitely something I can deal with. Man, hungry again, it's draining on my end, I think, is what's uh, making that suffer. Oh. Do I ever want to probably want to make this shapeshifter shapeshift? Hey there, Roger! It's good morning for you! Yeah, it's uh, certainly been a while. I need to go to bed pretty soon, but... Uh... Oh no, an eye giant. Hopefully that should shapeshift soon. I can't go too much further this way. That's actually a problem with what that shapeshift to get to. Oh, wait, my bag of spiders gave me nothing? Okay. Well, I guess I'll mirror up this guy. Because it uh, appeared on the wrong side of me. There we go. Should be able to kill the spider. Uh, well, you've come to find me doing questionable things for Tidal, uh, Roger. 
Yeah, definitely. Gone to Vols 5, even though his character shouldn't have. Still playing uh, version 0.19. Uh, yep, this is the same character, probably, even. If you saw me having a somewhat successful high elf conjurer, that would be this character. Yeah, it's been slow progress with this character. Oh, I feel dopey again. Oh, man. That's rough. That's really rough. Also, I didn't kill this guy. I forgot about, like, Sith Mata, uh, Pen, uh, Rath, waiting my end. Hungry? Oh. I really do need to get on this all, bro, because I'm, like, running out of food by staying in here. Oops. I think I do have some food, like, stashed somewhere, but still. I'd actually have to get out of here if I want to access my stash, right? I don't want to bloom these guys. What I want to do is I want to go, um... I want to eat them. I can't eat them? Oh, I'm hoping to eat this one. Oops, that wasn't quite right, but I think I killed both harpies anyway. We still have corpses by the time we get back. That'll be uh, the something nice. Oh, contaminated again. Yeah, it's just my intelligence is too bad, although I think a little bit of intelligence came back there. Any of these guys got corpses? I don't think so. I feel clumsy, that's probably fine. At least it's not in drain. And it's like there's an actual mutation as well. Uh, I feel less energetic isn't the best, but it's, uh, it's whatever. Alright, well, I'm actually really running out of food here, aren't I? Yep, I'm hungry again, okay. I see how it is. I can. Oh, we're contaminated again as well, man. This is this is just evil. Uh. Wait, why is my attack spiders not doing anything? I I I probably read too many recently. I think it's probably a limit on how many I can read in a row or something. It feels like it because I did read a bunch of them. Um, all changes to the cosplay website propagated from GitHub to the website probably overnight, so all set for the tournament? Excellent! I'm gonna have to, gonna have to look into that one pretty soon, but that sounds excellent. 40% oh, failure now on this, um, Firestorm. Yeah, that's making me very hungry. That's my last ration. Hold on, I gotta get out of here. I gotta drink a haste. I'm going to head for the staircase. I'm not going to let anyone stop me. Even that type of snail. Alright, um, so what I need to go is I need to go to Dot 5. Um, oh, is that the right place? Oh, it probably is. I go to get the orb, and I need to do the orb run, but that's the hard part, right? You do an orb run with some badly drained ends and stuff. Oh, Firestorm on the sky. I don't know if it dropped a body or not. Ah, uh, Hornet Corps? Wait, it's Spring Corps as well, maybe? Oh, wait, hold on. I need to go to that. Oh, I should have gone to Larry and got my food. Uh, oh, I should have done that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we can do that right now. I'm not too far from that just yet. So I got some pizza. I got some, uh, fruit, but I don't have much else. Um. 
bread ration and folds. I probably should have grabbed those on the way up, actually. That would have been an idea. Let me go grab them right now. There's the contaminate. Alright, well I can eat the orcs as well, so it's uh, going out of my way to go through here kind of doesn't matter because I got engorged anyway. But I should grab the food for the orb run, so I need, um... Can I just grab everything? Got the money, right? Uh, one, two, three, four. Oh, come on. I want to be able to pick these up, okay. Well, I can drop the... I can drop these ones that are out of charges. I don't think I'm going to bother with recharging them. I should probably recharge the healing one they've got, though. Just keep the nets. I can get rid of the identifiers. Alright, well, it's a food. Um, one of these I can probably... No, I can't eat it because I'm full. Got the faith, right? Wait, where's my envelope of faith? I thought I bought Faith, but I don't seem to have it. Um, I might drop the Berserk Rage. Alright, well, let me check for Faith. I might have just left on the ground. That would be kind of sad. Oh, it's sitting right there in Shoals too. Wait, there's one in Orc too as well. That's his Uncursed. I might go to the Orc too one. Yeah, that's exactly where I bought it. Oh, wait, I went to a vaults one. Doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm trying to get out of the vaults, maybe? Yeah, I think I am. Um... I'll keep the nets, okay. I don't need the uh, brad weapon. There we go. So I can grab the... Grab the face. Go to Zot 5. Come on, that now I should be able to do my old run. I've got everything set with this character. Whew. I got uh, both sides have Zot Traps, so I'm gonna uh, go over one of those. Dex Drain is probably fine. Alright, um, what does the orb status do? I don't know if I can do a control blink or not, does it say? Pick up the orb, pandemonium lords are not amused, let's get out of here. I think that's basically all it says. Uh, explosion engulfs you? Sure, doesn't seem to do too much. So I should say, go to dungeon zero. I will worry about my magic points a bit, because I don't really have a lot of ways to stop these guys, um, or get back those, if I need to. Because I used all my, um, Ambrosia and stuff. Yeah, pretty thoroughly went through everything they could give magic points in Vaults 5. Those Kaku Demons look funny. I do have digging on me. I made sure I bought some digging a while back. Um, it can be quite helpful with the orb run, just digging to speed things up. Also, that's not quite going to the right level. It doesn't really matter, though. I have to fire stop these guys, I think. Uh, I'm gonna just do an orbit destruction on this guy as well. Alright, so dungeon level 6, dungeon level 5. Definitely low on magic points, but I'm making some progress. Oh, there's the exit. There's also a pandemonium lot in front of it, which is a bit scary because I need to lose some piety. It's, uh, it's fast, but I can also be fast as well if I drink a haste. How do I lose piety? Uh, okay, what have we got here? Sunlight takes hunger, so evolutions? What does that do? Cost piety, though. Turns plants and fungal into stronger species. Upgrading fungals requires piety, while upgrading plants requires fruit. I need some fungi then. I don't have any fungi. 
Can I kill this guy? It's not resistant to fire. I mean, I gotta have to, I think. Ah, no. Hold up, I should have my brilliance on. It doesn't help too much with the magic points, but it does something at least. Man, I hate all the pandemonium lord guarding my exit here. Wait, it's going on for fire. It's going on for uh, fire storm as well, it does too. Oh, this isn't going to work. Hold up. I should start a teleport on myself. I know I'm super like close to the exit, but... I can't actually kill this guy. Oh, maybe I can. The teleport's going to take a long time to go off, though. No, I can't. I'm out of magic points. And I can't gain more back, so that's a bit of a problem. I should recharge my healing wand, because that's um, one of my few sources of healing. Ooh. How long does this teleport take to go off? I'm a bit worried here. I really don't have any... Uh, no, I don't have anything for magic points right now. Hold up. A phantom mirror? It's like my friendly one's behind, isn't it? Mm. Where do I need to be? Uh-huh, I didn't go that far. I kind of worry because there's like no way for me to gain magic points back. Um, I don't want to just end with the cultivator title. That's so disappointing. How do I lose some piety? I mean, I guess I can try the amulet swap just that last second. Hopefully this works. Oh, was that really quick to put on? That was super quick to put on. Okay. One turn. There we go. Green elf. Let's get out of here. I'm not sticking around a moment longer than I am to here. Green elf is exactly what I want. I'm a high elf of feathers. Hey, so let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's win 420 right there. Oh, thank goodness. That was such a long game. I was trying to get it done in like 4 hours, 20 minutes, but it ended up taking me 8 hours, 10 minutes. So it was way slower. And it was only a, that's like one of my slowest 